All right, what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Um, let's continue the scythe run, dude. I'm pretty impressed with the scythes, actually. I, they're they're quite a bit better than I thought so far. Uh, where do, what do we do? We've killed... We killed Fire Giant. I think that was the last Remembrance I killed. And then I guess... I guess we'll go to Millennia now. Might as well. Already in the snowfield. <sighs> Release Shadow of the Earth Tree early? Yeah, surely that's my uh, decision to make. Obviously. Favorite Scythe, Ash of War? I don't know, dude. I think... Uh... I think spinning weapon is hilarious. I think it's my favorite, probably. But all the ones we've been using are pretty good. But yeah, spinning spinning weapon is hilarious, dude. But Mikola's Ring of Light is actually pretty impressive, too. Uh, yeah, we'll finish this easily today, and then we'll probably... Um... Maybe... Am I going to get blasted by this guy here? I might. Please don't hit him. That's a brutal throw. Okay, that somehow worked. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a shame there's only four of these scythes, dude. And it'd be like if these weapons just had also a gore phobic. Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. If these just had a good R2, they would be pretty solid overall weapons, dude. They just they just don't. Josh won his 2v2 bingo by beating Moog and Millennia. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Like in a practice match or something? What's up, Gino? What's up, chat? Machino, hi. Destroyed. Uh, JP, thanks for the 8-month prime sub as well, dude. What's up, decomposing? Dual-wield scythe run? Yeah, I'm not sure how good they are dual-wielded. I think they're probably better one-handed, but... I don't think they're, like, trash two uh, like dual-wielded, but... Not sure if that's the best. Uh, Zig, how's it going, dude? At a doctor's appointment right now. Like you're in the waiting room or something. Josh and Zoodle versus Kata and Pup. Yeah, I mean, maybe maybe we should be practicing too, but kind of don't really feel like it. <laughs> so I I don't know. We'll we'll see. Let's go to Moonlight. Everyone was having skill issue with Millennia. Well, that's expected, right? I mean, most of the people in Bingo, they... They just haven't fought her as much. So... Like, especially, like, since they're practicing for Bingo now, like, Millennia is a very complicated boss that you kind of don't just learn overnight, I feel like. So, like, if they're practicing hard for Bingo, and, and like, for Season 2 mostly, right? Because that, that is where I think people started to really pick up the practice in Season 2. Um, like there's no millennia on those boards, right? So there's no reason to practice her. And like I, I think, like they've all done all remembrances runs, I, I assume, but I don't know. Especially in bingo, when you're trying to do things fast, trying to fight millennia efficiently is like it's it's a lot harder than fighting her like and just winning, you know. Because when you're when you're doing like the safest strats, then it, it, it's like fairly straightforward. But you can you can really like you can shave off several minutes on that fight if you fight her like in the best way. And 
yeah, it's a lot more complicated. Especially, especially with like the different weapons too, because you kind of have to know what each weapon does to her with like the hit stuns and stuff. This guy walking so slow. Yeah, every hit you take is time loss. Yeah, that that is that is true. Like I guess. Uh, wait a second. Okay, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of smithing eights around here, but I kind of can't remember. I think this is one. Whoa. That's one. I wouldn't mind grabbing this 10 here. I'm going to get the grace first. Yeah, this is... Uh, it, well, it, it, they're called Reapers in this game, but yeah, it's Scythe only, basically. Do I think Reapers are better than Daggers? Mmm... Maybe, maybe. I don't know, dude. Best not ever. Fourteen months of pure bliss. Love you, BB girl. I, I think, I think, I think so. I think scythes have more potential than daggers do. Probably. Really? <laughs> what the hell? That's dumb. How could he not get out of that? God, that's stupid. <laughs> uh, the Char, thanks for the 14 month resub, dude. But yeah, I think it's it's kind of tough though because no, I think sites are better than daggers, dude. They've they've got to be better. Like I'm just thinking on on some of the main bosses. What like for Fire Giant? What would I go in? What would I rather going into him with? Let's say like a Reduvia or the Grave Scythe. I mean, just the base weapon by itself, if you didn't swap Ash of Wars, then probably Reduvia, but, but that's not what we're talking about here, so. Oh, he did, Woody. Interesting. He farmed it? <laughs> Good lord, dude. Let's go on his ass. Look at that range. Uh, I think I'm I think I'm hitting the roof. Yeah, I'm, I'm hitting the... Ah, oh, it's so annoying. I just want to see if I can pick him off with this. Oh. Oops. Here we go. Okay, what is this formation, dude? Here we go. Okay. Smithing eights. Is there one in here? I don't, I don't know if this is one, but... But it's a somber nine. There's definitely some smithing eights up next to the the hugs. And maybe is there one down here too? Really? It poked in the head? <laughs> uh, but the char thanks for uh, thanks for the 14 month resub dude if I didn't say thanks for that. I actually I think I did that time but I I can't remember. That's the talisman. Maybe they're just all over here. I it, it's hard to remember. Maybe, There's so much maybe. stuff in this game. I'll give you the best nut It's very ever. hard to remember where things are. Uh I don't think there's anything down here, but Like, there's for sure one behind that mage. It, 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 like, if not more than one, actually. Oh boy, please don't.
I probably missed some. Okay, I have five, and I'm at plus... Oh, I didn't swap the Ash of War or anything. I have plus 22. So, I need a lot more. But I cannot remember <laughs> where they are. I got some in Snowfield. Uh, I guess Far Missoula. Ugh, really? I want to go. I want to go put a. I feel like I want to go put spinning weapon on this thing, or maybe I should use the wing scythe here. We could. Well, um. Yeah, we could go to the yellow tunnel. That's true. I'm just gonna pull up Map Genie, dude. I, I just can't remember. I did I had a really good I had a really good route for this. At one point in time. Well, a decent route when I was doing that that like Asmongold run. Okay, so I got these three. Oh, I didn't get this one. Yeah, I forgot about the tree one. Okay, so I actually guess I did get the ones all, that are all here. And there's quite a few more in Hallowed Tree. I, would, I wouldn't mind a plus 25 for Millennia, dude, but... Uh, how's it going, Spongejet? Yeah, we, we could just go to the mine. That, that might be what I end up doing, I guess. And then I guess actually next to... Uh, next to Theodoric, there's a somber ten, right, or is it a smithing ten? One of the two. I think it's a somber ten, and there's the smithing ten is the invader. I suppose I could take out. Would probably be pretty easy when we have like Angel's Wings, Ash of War. Oh, Somber's the... In Are you sure? Maybe. I don't know. I, I might as well fight Theodoric. See how this build does against him, dude. Um, probably... You go Frost or not? Probably... Uh... They're pretty resistant to Frost, so... It's a wet floor. I guess I have to go like this. I, I do want to dual wield, just... Ah, it's so annoying you can't buff the left hand. It's so dumb. Ever going to do more P PvP in this game? Like, probably eventually, yeah. I'm sure I will. I guess maybe I won't use the Halo Scythe here. I, I don't know. Oh, damn, dude! Why? I was totally expecting a crawl there, and he just didn't. So scuffed. Well, this is kind of melting him, though, huh? Ah, <laughs> there's a stun. Wow. Yeah, just blasted. He's not dead yet. Simple. 
Uh, I will get the white mask as soon as I go to Mogwin, which will... Yeah, like... Well... Oh, okay. I guess it is the other way around. Yeah, let's go into the yellow tunnel. That's probably the simplest right now. Just to get the rest of our eights. And there, there is also... Are, are there tens in there also? I feel like there's a couple somber tens in there. Yeah, pretty simple, dude. On, on one of the tankier boss in the game, like, probably... In terms of, like, just overall effective HP, he's got to be top... Probably, like, top five, right? At least in terms of field bosses, for sure, but... But, yeah, this spinning weapon, though, is, like... Really damn good, dude. Surprisingly really good. How many... Maybe, maybe... So, yeah, we just need four more. Not ever. Just also, yeah, it's not even plus 25 anyway. yet. That was only Did plus, uh, so 22. Far. Whoops. Uh, thank Fishy. Thanks for the 15-month resub. Thanks, dude. Yeah, the matches have definitely gone our way so far, but... You know, maybe a bit of luck. But we played well, but then it doesn't hurt to get a bit lucky sometimes, you know? On DSC Remake so bad? Uh, yeah, I do too, man. And, like... I think out of all the games, that's the one that definitely deserves the remake the most. You know what? I think on my, on my, uh... Asmund Gold No Hit Road, I'm pretty sure I actually did come in here. Now that I, now that I'm doing this. I'm fairly certain I did. What level character bring in the DLC? Probably either 125 or 150. 150 is a little high, but I just, I want to be able to use anything. What's interesting is that the scythes, they, like, against these miners, they, um, they, like, stun them every hit. Like, you just R1. I, I'm not sure if, you know, I don't know if other weapons do that or not. Uh, okay, wait, there's, isn't there one somewhere? Maybe I grabbed it already. Maybe there's not one back here. I thought there was. Yeah, I totally came in here on, on that run. I don't think I dropped down this way, though. The Dirks has 25,000 HP. Is that... That's a lot, I guess. Quite a bit. Really? It doesn't... Fuck. Oh, dude. I'm really surprised that doesn't stun him. That's kind of what I was... Like, I was spamming him just because I was thinking it was going to stun him. But it just never did. Well, not like stagger, but just... I don't know. Ah, how did I die to that guy, dude? Insane. So to use the Halo Scythe on him. Whoops. Uh, the build, I mean, we just have all the Scythes. And I have, a, like, mostly Dex. That's, that's it. Maybe I should actually kill these guys still, because they might attack me. Let's see, does the Halo Scythe? Yeah. Dude, the Halo Scythe is insanely strong. Okay, more sombers. Oh, just kidding. Those really looked like sombers right there. Okay, two more eights, though. This is a ten. Okay, we have enough eights. 
Are there any somber tens in here, or is it only smithing? I thought there were, and I thought there were two, but maybe I'm maybe I'm just misremembering. I guess I, I might as well kill the boss while we're in here, right? <laughs> I, I mean... May as well. Oh, the rare pickaxe drop, dude. Oh, there's a stone here. The rare pickaxe. I actually really like that weapon. I think it's really good. Too bad it's so annoying to get. I I, I don't think they do uh, Mamelosa. Low sight stun lock. Just can't like can't even do anything. Classic. No, I wonder if... If... Like, all the bosses that can be crouch-poked, I wonder if just spamming them with Halo Scythe also, like, just unlocks them. Okay, let's just, uh... Unless I should maybe... I don't want to swap my Ash of Wars first. Maybe, maybe upgrade, right? Before we fight the boss. I need more blue back. Yeah, we did. Like, the, the reason this run's taking s some time is because I'm just killing all these extra bosses because I can. Oh my god, and I can't even go back and upgrade, dude. That's insane. I gotta. <sighs> gotta go up the elevator. Walk outside, and then I can fast travel. It's so annoying. We need a patch that changes this badly. Wait, where does the stake go to? I wonder where that stake goes to. Sword dance? Yeah, sword dance would be fine here, but... I, I, th I think just... Like, range is good on Estelle, so... Let's also, let's also, I'm going to go kill the invader in here for that somber 10. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I think it, it's simple. Like if you, if you are next to the grace, you should be able to fast travel. Like it's just simple or, or anywhere near the entrance of the cave. So like, you know how you go down the elevator and then there's usually a little area where the grace is. Like, before you fully enter into, the, like, the tunnel part, you should be able to fast travel. Like, until you get actually into the cave. It just doesn't make any sense why you can't. Alright, how will this... Dude, like, this is actually really solid. Like, for NPCs, it's it's one of the best things I've used on them. Okay. It just, it makes them so easy. And they can't even heal. So it's not like they waste your time. And then it bleeds. Like, the bleed buildup is, like, respectable. Because it's a double hit, right? So. And I'm pretty sure it's a true combo. Although I've seen, like, when I was testing it on Vike, he was getting out of it. So I'm not sure what was up with that, but... Okay, plus 25, dude. There it is. So now, let's go fight Loretta. I think I went to the wrong one. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. I, I don't know. Like, I think... Again, I think uh, Halo Scythe will be really good for when she runs away. Because on the Reddit, like, there's no... 
There's nothing you really can do when she jumps away. Like she just does it, and then... I, I think Phantom Slash could be solid here, or Sword Dance. I mean, all these would be solid, I'm not really sure. I was gonna go with Cold Infusion, but it's gonna decrease our damage a bit. Let's try Phantom Slash. I, I kind of feel like Phantom Slash... Do I go Frost? I'll, I'll just go Frost, dude. Fuck it. I think Phantom Slash might... Do those, like, micro stuns on her. I'm not sure. I should have, I should have leveled up more Endurance. So that I can put on better armor. Or, like, <laughs> better looking armor. Because I, like, I look so fucking weird. Got the, like, edgelord helmet with some noble robe on. Yeah, Loretta's resistant to frost, but you can still proc it, so still good. Look at that. Oh, and my guy even missed. When do I do it? I was so fucking lucky that I, like, I would have died easily to that. I think on this attack is probably where it's the best used. Oh, and I... You know, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of Phantom Slash. Hold up. Not sure if I'm the biggest fan of it. Nice true combo also. The all hit run is happening right now live. I, I, I just, it, it feels like it's very awkward to use it. And I can never quite get the hits off properly. And I don't know. Maybe it's just a skill issue, dude. Perhaps a skill issue. I'm going to get more endurance. We have so, like we have so many levels on this character because I've killed so many of the extra like huge bosses that give so many runes. And now I can... Go with this one. Yeah, we. I guess like we ha we really haven't used the normal scythe at all here, but the the reason is because it's basically the exact same. Like the way you would use that is the exact same as the way I'm using the grave scythe. It's just the grave scythe is the one I have upgraded. Like that's that's it. Uh, where does the name Gina Machino come from? Uh, it came from a nickname I had in when I was younger playing hockey. <laughs> so that's where it came from. Well, I, don't, I don't know if Grave Scythe is just better. I think they're both basically the same. Grave Scythe is less deck scaling. More... More... Like quality, I guess. I'll, I'll, I will upgrade the other one just to see, though. I'm. I. I don't know how. I wonder how good Halo Scythe is on Millennia. I've. I've never tried it. Does she... Oops. How much does she resist holy? And I have... I, I have actually tried... Loretta Slash, which is the exact same as Angel's Wings, I assume, and... 
It, the the follow-up is actually too slow because you would think that's a really good Ash of War on her with like the double hit and stuff. But the follow-up's just too slow and she dashes out of it. Which is kind of a shame. Because what, what you would almost be able to do, I think, is do like maybe a tap R2 into that and like that probably is a combo. But it, yeah, she just gets out of it, so. All demigods resist 40 to holy. Yeah, maybe that's true, actually. I've never actually thought about that. Not... D does Redan? No. Not him. Right? I think holy's fine on him, right? Although I don't actually know. Oh, he does. Okay. What about Rikard? But, but like, is Redan... Redan's weak at a fire, right? Or, or is he, like, 20 and everything except for Holy? Oops. Maybe, maybe... So they actually are 40, all ever. 40. I guess I could check very quickly, but... Sounds believable, I guess. Uh, big dog, thanks for the brand new prompt stuff, dude. I guess th this is what I think. I think that they were thinking that holy's so strong for where it's meant to be used that if they made it also simultaneously good on bosses, then it would be too broken. Like maybe that's what they were thinking, right? And and it's also I guess it's probably some lore reason, but I don't know if the like gameplay reason is you know I I don't know. Elfman, thanks for the 1,000 bits again, dude. I appreciate that. What do I think about the parkour in Elden Ring? Like, you know, you mean stuff like what I'm doing right now? I think it's good. I think it's nothing crazy, but... I've never actually thought about it, but... I think they do a... It would be cool if there was maybe a little bit more, but... Bam. I think it's I, I I like the jumps that you can do. It's it's kind of that's not something that's really been a part of Souls games that much before. Like it has in in a few circumstances, but not really, not really like going up. I guess right. You can go down, right? Like the branches in Ariandel and the, I don't know, like the Great Hollow and all this stuff. But you're you're never going up, which in in this game. You go up. Sometimes. V rarely, but sometimes. So. Um, what's the build here? So we're going to try spinning weapon. Let's go spinning weapon. I'm very curious about spinning weapon here. Probably cold is good. <laughs> you go up sometimes. Um, I guess we should be getting some bleeds. Make a save so that I can... I want to test some stuff out here, maybe. a lot of damage right there. Whoops. Fuck. Classic mid-roll. Okay, tap R2 and R1's good. I need to remember to use spinning weapons somewhere here. Ha! 
<laughs> okay, there's no way that was safe. It's certainly here. It's so weird. Like, see how I... You can crouch while using spinning weapons somehow. Here? That... Oh my god, what? How did that happen? So... I wonder... Okay. Can you use it when she's, like, charging towards you with that, that dash attack somehow? Oh, fuck. I didn't knock it by that. Shit. That was so lucky, dude. Oh, my God. This is so stupid. Yeah, I don't think it's so good in this phase, probably. <laughs> like, that was so dumb. That was the, like, most scuffed fight of all time, but she died so fast still. Okay, that's why I made a save, though, because... Okay, so it, it looks like spinning weapon... in phase one is good. Phase two, she just cancels out with a kick, I guess, right? It's a little bit hard to control because my character like turns. Yeah, the normal scythe moves that's maybe a little slow. The slowest R2 of all time. God, look at this combo. God damn, dude. How do I, I don't know how to do it because it like, it's automatically turning me towards her. You have to keep holding forward on the stick. Maybe she can't get out of it. Oh my god. And you know what though? Maybe I just haven't fought Millennia with like a upgraded weapon in a while, so I don't know. It does kind of seem like she's getting blasted here though. Your strength. It, it's good. It's obviously good. The <laughs> I mean. Okay, I do want to just try, though. Yeah, hard boss fight, dude. When you just do that. Just constant bleed and frost happening. Um, any, like... I do want to try spinning weapon. I also, I want to try angel's wings. Just to, just to like, make sure that I was right about that. <clears throat> that ash of war. Yeah, spinning, spinning strikes. It's insane the the damage potential with this stuff, dude. It's just definitely spinning weapons a little awkward there, right? Because you're like, <laughs> um, you have to. It, it's weird to aim it. Is the the main problem? Oh. Let's just tank it all. Okay, so that's that's a little rough. You probably like 
don't know, spinning, spinning, uh, spinning strikes. I think it's, it's decent early game, but I think it's just, it's outclassed by spinning weapon, dude. Like, because they do a very similar thing. And, and spinning weapon just seems better. But maybe maybe it's all it's about the follow-ups on her. Okay. Fuck. No, she just cancels out of it. Okay. I don't I don't think spinning strikes is so good here. Yeah, well, yeah, Sword Dance. I'm going to try Sword Dance. I think Sword Dance would be pretty good. It's more like Ash of War testing on Millennia than, than Reaper testing. We, we can do one fight without any Ash of Wars just to get just only the weapon. Yeah, I do. I, I wonder if... I wonder how much damage that crouch attack does. How long does it take for a video like to come out after the run's done, you mean? Or what do you mean? Do you watch anime? Not, not really. Yeah, that follow-up is probably useless here. Yeah, it, it doesn't, like, it would be insane if Sword Dance comboed into an R1 or something. Which it does not. It's definitely not bad. Ooh, that's pretty nice right there. It's certainly not. Wow. <laughs> the frost just adds so much damage. It's certainly not bad at all. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut. Uh, ever. Unmedicated Theory. Thanks Should for the seven month reset, dude. And yeah, when you get that frost proc, the damage just goes, like, shoots up. Wow, it's so spammable here. It's bleed. There's another frost. I wonder if I can... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's that's pretty nice. Like that's certainly cleaner than trying to use spinning weapon here. But okay. Um, restreaming from Twitch to YouTube? No, it's it's not. No, no, no. I'm streaming direct to both. Okay, l one last one last thing. I want to try Angel Wings here. This is now. Keep in mind, this isn't actually. I'll, I'll swap the tier. This isn't plus ten. Also, and I'm I'm too lazy to go get plus ten. Oh, I'll just go get it. Fuck it, dude. Yeah, we can try Power Stance also. Yeah, you know, I think I'm just used to doing so little damage for, like, practicing for bingo and, and doing some other stuff on her that... Like, I think my um, perspective on the damage on her is a little, like, skewed, maybe, slightly. Uh, Stormcaller, I already know how Stormcaller works on here. It's, it's decent, but... Dodging Waterfowl point blank is basically misdirecting the way she launched at you. Yeah, basically.
Uh, I didn't swap the tier. Yeah, and, and we have like a really strong talisman set up and all this stuff. But no, this is this is good. Like the the frost plus bleed combination is obviously insanely good because the base bleed buildup is really high, and then progging frost obviously makes you deal more damage. So. All right, just let me see if what I was testing with Lorda Slash is correct here. Yeah, when I was trying Loretta Slash, like I said, um... She was able to... Oh. Ah, uh, just too slow for repost, I guess. She was able to get out of it, but... He hasn't so far. She can't, actually. I don't know why. I thought she was getting out of it when I was testing Loretta's uh, Warsicle. Oops, I didn't Physic here either. I went and swapped the Physic, but then I didn't. Oh, wow, that's too slow. That's really not good. Also, just to make sure, it's not preventing her heal, right? I'm dead. Like, it's supposed to... prevent Estus usage, not actual healing. Okay, that is fast enough. So maybe, maybe it does work here. Actually. Okay. It's okay then, but I, I, I don't mean... Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best. Uh, Andriga, thanks for the seven month prime sub, dude. Okay, and then we'll we'll just do a normal scythe fight, no Ash of Wars for the last one, just so I can see how the fight is straight up. I wouldn't mind light rolling, but. I wouldn't mind light rolling just to see, like, the, the actual way this would go. Alright, here we go. I still have Sword Dance on, but I'm, I'm not going to use it. Sword Dance is quite good here, though. I'm really not sure if... So R1, R1 is fine. At least it has that. But it doesn't have... R... Tap R2 and R1. Not sure about fully charged R2 into R1 either. Let's see, does this... Surely this is good. It's too slow. <laughs> That's crazy. Because, like, ultras can do that. But this can't.
Yeah, if only this R2... Like, it's so weird. Why did they speed up the fist R2s when the scythe is in the game? You know? Like, fist, fist didn't need their R2 sped up. Man, it's kind of chunking her down, though, with the... Decent hits and stuff. Again, we do have a good talisman setup, though. Okay, yeah, that's... Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's not fast enough. That's too bad. What, what's another... Uh, other weapons that they can do fully charged R2s and not into R1s, I guess, would be... Um... Like, great axes are the same. Like, great axes can do fully charged R2s, but not into R1s, but... Like, some of the faster weapons can. And it is, like, actually really good when you can do that. Okay. What am I going to do for under K followers? Uh, probably nothing, to be honest, but... I love this crit. It, it, like, maybe it's just nice that there's a critical animation that isn't the same as all the other ones. Yeah, I think I think basically here you just do spam R ones. But yeah, someone was asking if I knew the Volcano Pot Cheese. Yeah, I do know about that. There's a few ways you can do it still, I'm pretty sure. Oops. Oh my god, that wasn't even close. Save. Well, I don't think Sice are trash on this fight. Um, but the Yashivor is obviously, you know, the way to do it without status effects like i guess you can't every scythe has status effects so but without status effects they'd probably be quite bad here but luckily they all bleed anyway so it doesn't even matter i just i wish that r2 was probably... How much faster would this have to be? It would have to swing now. It, it would almost have to be twice as fast to be decent. And he, like, even then, I don't think it would be that strong. But it would be it would be at least usable at that point. Yeah, it would have to be basically twice as fast. I think. Or like half the speed. Okay, um, I guess Farmazula or Rykard? I think Rykard's going to die very quickly on this, but we just need to do some preparation first on him. What do you guys think? Rykard now? Let's, do, let's go do Rykard. Um, so let's go to West Capital. 
I, I'm just going to go, I'm going to get, actually, no, I'm not going to use Millennia's Great Rune. I, I was going to, but we're, we're going to go get the Swaddling Cloth instead. Swaddling Cloth should be more than enough to regenerate us, because we're, we're probably going to be trying to use Spinning Weapon. Although, use Millennia's Rune. I just don't think we need it, and I, I'd rather Godrix. So, classic Rikard jinxing. No, I, I've I've done these runs enough now where I know what I need to do for Rikard. Crimson Whirl. Well, that only lasts for like 15 seconds, doesn't it? That's the fight lasts a lot longer than that. Okay, so this boss is immune to statuses except for sleep. So, not going to go with the bleed build. With Halo Scythe? Um, it would be okay in phase one. Phase two, it just, I just don't think it would be enough damage. Let's go with the quality. Yeah, Black Blade. Oh, yeah, we could, we could get Tornado first. Um, and I can't see anything. We could get Tornado first. But... I feel like... I don't know. I feel like Tornado is not really using the weapon at all, you know? I guess... Would you, would you be building a bleed with it, though? Never actually thought about that. Would you use Tornado and Bleed? I guess if you're hitting with the weapon, it should, right? I would assume here... Just use, like, Sword Dance. Here we go. By Apostle. Oh, my execution. Oh. I wanted the cool execution on him. But see, yeah, this Ash of War does. He tries to dodge it, but he just can't. Excellent timing on that. See, simple reaction dodge, dude. It's easy. we go. Finally get to use the follow-up. Nice. Look at that timing. It's beautiful. Oh, it's too easy, dude. Yeah, it's, it's really a shame that this wasn't the main boss, you know? Holy shit. Because this boss is really fun. On my first playthrough, I, I actually really enjoyed this boss. It was kind of fun because it was like, okay, I killed the first boss, which I thought was like the actual boss. And then I was like, okay. And then another one showed up. I'm like, holy shit, dude, there's a whole another one after this? And then, you know, I killed it. And I was like, okay, now I'm done. And then, <laughs> and then I wasn't done. Like, what the hell is going on here? All right, Swat and Cloth. Um, I suppose... We could go activate Millennia's Great Rune. I'm going to be going there anyways, but you know what? Fuck it, dude. We might as well. I probably shouldn't have got the Swaddling Cloth then, but... If 
follow up attack makes you invincible? Well, no, it's just that noble hit that I got that I got hit by. It doesn't deal damage; it just knocks you back. So it's a good idea. Like if you're trying to kill noble quickly, you just tank it. Like do a big attack and tank it. It's, like there's no reason not to unless you're doing no hit. How hard or easy is this build? It is. I would well, it, I don't know. It's hard to say. I would say it's pretty easy though. When you have a weapon like the Halo Scythe, you can cheese a lot of bosses with it. So. For field bosses, this is a great weapon, actually. Because, yeah, most of the most of the non-main bosses are not super resistant to holy, and then some of them are, like, extra weak to it. And then if you get the right buffs, and right, if you get, like, Sacred Order and Shared Order and stuff, you will never have an issue with any undead boss again, basically. And yeah, it's good for, like, stunning, stun-locking bosses also, just out of nowhere. So Halo Thighs is really good. It's too bad it's farmed, though. Really a shame. Is it not, Princhu? I'm I'm fairly certain it is. I'm pretty sure Hunter highlighted it and was gonna make a video out of it actually. How are you I've really missed all these? Uh, what did I use in my first playthrough? I used the cross naginata with, um, I think a pike. That was my, like, most used weapon combination. Although I also used, like, this Y-hander and I used, um, I'm sure there were other weapons I also used. Got trolled by Gilligan, gave you a 10 centimeter ladder. What is that? Is that not big enough for you, dude? I think I think the first playthrough is highlighted print you though. It, you should be able to find it somewhere. No, I didn't use Moonveil. That's on Godskin Peeler. Hmm, I think it's all right. Like Tornado is a, a decent Ash of War. Um. The one thing I don't like about this is the R2 is weird, I think, right? Or, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if this R2 is as good as the other Twin Blade R2. But no, I think I think the Peeler's a decent weapon, though. Like, yeah, just coming... Like, being able to get Black Flame Tornado early is probably the main reason for that weapon, right? Or, like, the main good thing about it. But I'm just... I'm not sure if it's as good as the other Twin Blades. Because yeah, the, the good thing about the other Twin Blades is that they... You know, you can power stance them and stuff, right? I, I, which, healer you can too. But they have like an insanely hard hitting R2 as well, which makes them a bit more versatile than just like jump attack power stance weapons or something like that. Um, you know, I guess the fastest way to Volcano Manor would actually be to go die. Okay, dude, I guess I'll take this route. We got to switch the, um, like, we're not really lo losing a rune arc either because I need to swap to Millennius. Although I should probably do that after I kill Noble. This, this, Noble's not going to have a chance against this dude. You know, um, I guess Sleep Grace wouldn't do anything. I, I was just thinking... I was trying to think of if, if I could really use it here, but... You can't really use Sleeping Grease with Spinning Weapon, right? Because you just... <laughs> like, I don't know. You just wake them up immediately. Oh, you can on Gideon, really?
Which scythe combo would I use maybe, for maybe for what? I'll give you the best nut ever. Um, lame is crime. Thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. Over oh, freeze champions. I think Halo Scythe is probably. I think Halo Scythe would be probably decent on them because on NPCs you can like. Like Fuse Champions would actually not be a problem with this weapon at all. Or with the scythes, because you have, first of all, Angel's Wings. Which none of them heal, but it does. Probably should have taken more damage than this. Uh they don't heal. But yeah, so so for the Halo Scythe, like they're gonna pre-dodge. Like they're gonna input read the actual like weapon animation and not the projectile right so you can catch them with that with angel's wings you can just like combo them very easily with like a really solid quick ash of war and then you would also have like sword dance which would be good and so like you would definitely have some options with these i, I don't think it would be a hard boss at all with a scythe I think it'd be quite easy, actually. So I can activate the Great Rune now. I do like the effect that comes up on the HP bar. Maybe, I, I don't know. Yeah, it also makes your heals worse, which is kind of funny. Double slash good on scythe. I, I haven't actually tried it. Maybe I should go get that. Where do you you get that from Kalid, right? Uh this run is certainly not hard. Well, not like I don't know. If you, if you were to try this like if you did a first playthrough and then you tried to do scythe only, like it would basically just be Wow, it's just fast enough. It's just a playthrough of the game, right? Like there's nothing really difficult about this. It goes the boss. I'm so shocked how good spinning weapon is. It's kind of insane. I thought it was a like I, I thought it was a meme, dude. Maybe maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Okay, one thing I don't have a lot of is flasks, but I shouldn't really need them for Rikard. You know what? Another thing we need to actually we're gonna get to the boss, but another thing I need is. I need armor with better poise so that I don't get micro stunned by the lava. Like that is that is the most important thing about this fight. Uh this is this is base like new game cycle. Prime so. Uh Russ, thanks for the 3 month prime sub, dude. Welcome back. I always do runs on base NG cycle. Like unless the only reason I don't is if I'm doing an NG plus seven run or the extra health on bosses and usually it'd be like level one no upgrade or something like that or like it's either that or I'm doing some like big marathon but like any there's I, I never do higher new game cycles because in my opinion the game the game is balanced for the base new game cycle and that's kind of how they intended it to be so doing runs on the higher new game cycles like they have more poise and like things work differently so it's not that it's harder it's just that it, I, I don't think that's how the experience was kind of curated to be on base NG cycle, basically. So, yeah, they, they do, uh, Cinnamon. Like the R ones are actually really surprisingly good. They have a lot of hits done or whatever. So, like I was saying on the miners earlier, when I attack the miners, they they can't do anything with the R ones because they just get. They, they just can't do anything. They just get stunned every hit. And I'm not sure if, like, not a lot of weapons do that, I don't think. But may maybe they do. I don't know. Nice resolve on regular scythe is amazing with the charge R2. Well, I, I think Aziz was saying something similar to that. I, I, I can try it. I can try it when I go to upgrade. But I, I'm not... I'm not convinced at all that that would be a good build. Not convinced at all because 
Even the, the, the normal Scythe R2 is so unbelievably slow. Uh, the bingo's going okay so far, except for all the, like, you know, side stuff, but the actual matches have gone well. I think both of our games we won 13 to 7. So, like, pretty comfortable wins. To this point. I will need some more runes, probably, for the True Sentinel armor. Just more, maybe some more endurance. Level 115, though, like, it's so easy to get to such a high level in this game, man. Just go, just go into Snowfield and kill a couple enemies, and just like that, you get so many levels. We haven't, we haven't even gone to Farmazula yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm just here for the tree sentinel armor. Maybe there's a better armor set to pick up. I, I'm not sure how much... This would be nice to figure out for these runs, I guess, but I'm not sure um, like how much poise you need to tank through one lava hit. All I know is that this one for sure has enough, but there's probably some... Wait, why didn't she break? What? Oh, the Lionel set. Yeah, maybe that's better. Yeah, because I have the grace right next to Lionel set. That's let's let's go grab it and and just see. Fifty one poise. You think so? We should just test it. We should just test it so I have the number, and then for future runs, I don't have to. Like I can optimize the armor set because I'm sure there's like an armor set I can just buy that has enough or something. Yeah, Lienel's definitely has more poise, but it's also heavier, right? So, I don't know. Dude, there's all- Dude, you know what? I'm, I'm so stupid. I'm fairly certain on other runs, I've used the uh, Commander's set. Which has even more poise. Which I, you just buy here, I think, right? Oh, Knight set from round table is 51 poise? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just used the, the Veteran's armor. Anyways, I've already got... Let me see this knight set, though. Fifty one points is enough for the light hits. Like, for the lava hits? I guess let's go see. I, I mean, this ugly armor, but let's go see. Yeah, Tree Sentinel is, is pretty cool. Um, Frost is good. Bleed is good. I am wondering if I should go get a like a rot grease, but I'm sure Frost and Bleed will be enough. Okay, so in terms of talismans, swaddling cloth, and probably just go with uh, less dew. I could even get the regeneration tier stuff, but. So, phase one, I normally just. Of course.
Phase one, I normally just fight up or straight up because it's pretty straightforward, so. I'm gonna save all my blue for phase two. And it's surprisingly fast enough to get R2s off, apparently. Yeah, Rikard is super weak to Frost. Proc's quite fast. I don't know why I'm rolling that direction, because I'm stupid. If I'm not mistaken, his resistances do reset ah. in phase two, so... You don't need to, like, save the procs or anything. Is there a, an amount of poise that you can reach where you can tank the lava, like, numerous times? That's a shame, dude. I was I was hoping the spinning weapon, like it makes sense that it's not that great, but I was kind of just hoping it would like hit high enough to reach him or something. Maybe if I get around to his leg, it'll be good. Like, that's kind of where you want to be. Yeah, spinning strike probably would be better actually. Yep. There it is. so it is good it's very good 
I just had to get over here. Which is what I was hoping. Simple, dude. Simple. I was very quick phase two. Like, when you know how long this fight can take, <laughs> that, was, that was a pretty quick phase two. Yeah, see, that's what happens when I come into the right card fight actually prepared. But it is nice. It's nice that this armor does work. Like, that is really good, actually. But I, I'm very curious, though, about... Um, I'm curious about getting enough poise to, like, tank through another lava hit or something, if that's something you can do. I, I don't know. I don't really know too much about poise in this game, so... As you might expect. Alright, Gelmir's done. Alec Tree's done. The only place we have left to go is just the main bosses. Like, the, the final bosses, so... We need 101. Well, that's... I mean, that's pretty easily attainable, so... Yeah, just get bull goat, and it's not like that's super far away, right? You get 7.3 million for killing all bosses in the game. That... Really? That doesn't sound right somehow. Like, that'd be surprising if it's actually that low. But maybe you're right. Like, I guess, I, I guess so many, of the, like, the early game bosses just give, like, 3,000 runes, right? Which is basically nothing, so it's only... Oh, yeah, we can go kill Moog. Whoops. <laughs> I, I can say no to her, right? You're right. Let's go to Moog first. Very good point. Yeah, maybe that is about right. But, but yeah, normally, like... Well, okay, Elden Beast gives 500. Moog gives 420. Millennia gives, like, 4, what, 60 or something like that? And then who else gives a lot? Like, Malakev gives maybe 100 and something. 480? Dude, this is going to be crazy on Moog. Like, he, there's no chance he sees phase 2, right? I assume that number's right, though, because I assume you don't just, you didn't just pull that out of nowhere. <clears throat> like, I guess, I, I guess... I'm level 118, which is very far away from 150, and I have Maybe killed quite a few of these big bosses. You, you know what? I just realized I never went ever. back and killed Estelle. Whoops. Let's go kill Estelle. Uh, Ellie, thanks for the brand new Prime sub. I appreciate that. Let's go blast Estelle. I'm gonna use m only, mostly the holy weapon here. Oh, you know, but th that's not counting all the, the rune pickups, actually. So, like, the all the runes you get from bosses would probably add a, like, decent amount. Right? Yeah, we can put Sacred Scorpion. Um, and then probably just that one, I guess. just like I was just a fraction late right there whoops how's it going on prison what's up dude I just think Estelle is a boss that 
when you're using ranged weapons, it, it becomes so much easier. Maybe, maybe I'll be the best nut ever. Holy shit, this boss is so bad. I'm not fighting this boss again. Oh my god, I didn't... I actually didn't know it was that delayed. Oh, and I died from it. I thought... Why did I think... I thought all the Estelles, like, showed up there, dude. Or, or like, I thought you would... You saw all the, uh, like, the purple teleporting thing in the sky. I just didn't see it. Well, because I, I looked up for a while and I didn't see anything. I was like, okay, it's not doing it on this one. And it was. Yeah, that, that one's much quicker. I, I didn't realize... Like, I, I have fought this boss a few times, obviously. But I guess not that many times. I've never noticed how much slower it is. Going like. Not so clean. 120 gap. I just forgot I said I was going to fight this boss, so. So I did. And I regret it. Some reflections as well. Why is there a second Stell in a random cave? Well,. It actually, it actually does make some sense that there, there could be more than one, right? Because it's supposed to be some, like, fucking alien thing. So. Maybe, maybe I, I think it makes sense that, it makes sense that there's more than one ever. Estelle. Like, there's certain bosses where it makes no sense that there's more than one, I think. Godric and Godfroy makes no sense. And it's very lazy, clearly. Maybe, maybe... I'll and be the best not ever. I think the the ancestor spirit is like, I just I don't know why there's two of them, but for that one at least, I could see I could understand it. I think right. They're brothers. No, Godfroy's meant Godfroy's meant to be like the uncle or some shit like that, right? Oh, I guess is it? It's kind of. I guess this really isn't a true combo. It's surprising. Isn't, like, in PvP, is that not a true combo? And, and, Vike, Vike can get out of it also. So I, I'm not sure what the hell's going on with it, but. Oh, it's not a true combo. Oh, I see. Okay. It's one of those. Like, I think Dragon Halberd has something similar then, right?
Uh, Matt, thanks for giving it a sub to uh, Moses and Reflections. Thanks so much, dude. Um, I probably should have gotten this grace here. Maybe, maybe... Practicing bingo this week? I, I guess I might. Ever. Uh, Henfi, thanks for the brand new prime sub, dude. I might. Yeah, we, we wouldn't need we wouldn't need the white mask anyways, but I m might as well. I mean, although it does kind of interfere with our drip a little bit. I'll just swap it on for the boss. Um, really. I'll just fast travel, I guess. Yeah, white mask gives the same buff as Lord of Blood's Exultation. Which is like insanely strong, obviously. I honestly I, I don't understand why that is in the game, even. Because I, I think from a balancing perspective, out of out of all the status effects that can be procced that you would want to give a buff like that to, like, why would you give it to the one that you can repeatedly proc without having to reset it? It's the only one. I just don't understand. Like, so I can understand poison and rot having it because it's like you get the proc and then you get your damage buff, but then the proc, like, keeps going, right? And so that's, it makes deadly poison pretty good with that sort of setup because it, you know, it resets in 30 seconds, which is only 10 seconds longer than the buff lasts for. And it, like, it makes sense and it's kind of cool like that. So you can make a choice if you want deadly poison or not. But with bleed, like, you don't think about anything. You just do it. And then they don't even get one of the frost for some reason. So, which would also have a cool consideration with the fire reset. Right? So you could, you know, proc frost and then reset with a fire weapon. Get the... 20 seconds of buff and then and then reproc frost again like it just like that's a lot more of a I don't know what how to describe it but it's just a lot more engaging than just procking bleed and just getting like two 20% damage boosts for doing nothing basically madness can be procked repeatedly Well, have fun procking madness on the boss in this game. <laughs> the, like, two bosses that can be procked with madness. Maybe it's... How many are there, actually? I guess, like, three, maybe? Four? Um, yeah, I just, just all bleed here. But no, I, I just, I, I meant out of the four main status effects. Not including sleep and madness and all those ones that are like death blight. Playoffs going to be best of three? Uh, for bingo, you're saying? I highly doubt it. Mimic, other Mimic, Gary, Esger, Hatches, Gideon. Okay, so I guess there's a few. But but yeah, that's not that's not really what I meant. Ah, <sighs> what's like we're in another situation where I don't really know. I guess we just keep it as is right now. I mean, you know what's funny too? We also have the uh we have the shackle, so Say goodbye to Moog. He 
just don't go phase two right away. Oh, look at this damage setup, dude. It's perfect. You know what? I was talking about Comet Azur earlier and like how it's totally like a brain dead strat, how it's like, you know, it's pretty interesting for something like that to be in a game like this, but you can also do this, but to be fair, this is still more complicated, but the fact that you have the shackle really like you can just use the shackle and then run in and then <laughs> like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's stupid. Goodbye, Moog. That's what happens with bleed builds on them, dude. I do wonder if you were to do a level one run, would this be one of the easiest ways to one cycle Moog? Probably. Because the, there's like, he would easily still die to that, right? Common is a product of, of infinite FP. That is definitely true, yeah. That's certainly true. A scripted Moog with Reduvia at level one. I mean, this is definitely proccing faster than Reduvia, right? It's got to be. Especially with the Blood Flame, you probably don't even need Blood Flame. Probably just slap on a Bleed Grease, and that's, <laughs> that's that would be enough. But yeah, I, I I would I would guess that a level one Moog Moog kill with this setup. And, and keep in mind, we didn't use Flame Grant Me Strength. We didn't use Golden Vow. We didn't use Howl of Shabri. We didn't use anything like that. We didn't use Commander Standard. Just Physic and just some Talismans, basically. So. So, I, I like, I would imagine at level one, you're easily. Like, the, the kill would be probably the same at level one if you're doing stat boosting and stuff. Uh, new to the game, but can you beat the game without smithing stones? Do you mean like all upgrades or do you mean, I mean, either way, yes. Very, yeah, you can. Flame shredding crack tier does boost blood flame. Are you, are you asking? It, it does, yeah. Cause blood flame gives like 50 fire AR, but it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go to my way to use the flame shredding tier with it. I was going to say very easily, yeah. I was going to say that. Uh, this is not an arcane build, actually. I don't know if a... Uh, like, I don't know if an arcane... Like, an arcane build would work with this, but I don't... I don't know. I like Blood Flame Blade on, so going with, like, an occult of fusion maybe, doesn't maybe. make sense. I'll give you the or a, a blood infusion. Ever. Like, maybe that would make more sense if you were just kind of, like, killing all the enemies and you wanted to proc bleed on little enemies and stuff. And just, just not have to worry about buffing it. Uh, Pro Zen, thanks for the brand new sub, dude. I kind of think just... I think almost everything in this game is just OP as hell, dude. That's what I think at this point. Although, this is kind of the first weapon class I've used of all these that it's like actually just trivializing the game. Because the, the daggers were, were cool and they were really fun to use, but it wasn't like this. It certainly was not like this. Uh, do I want to use frost here? I think frost is good. Yeah, it, it wasn't it wasn't like this.
Would a cult with arcane? Well, a cult, you can't put blood flame on. But in terms of like raw damage, then that might be the, the highest you can get depending on like your stats and stuff. Buff stacking is OP. I'm not even, I'm not stacking buffs here though. I, I'm using talismans, but I I purposely don't use, like, okay, I'm using, I'm using the physic and I'm in this, like I'm using weapon buffs. So those are the two buffs that, that I, I am using. I'm not going out of my way to get like all the stuff that you could get with like howl and, and all that stuff, like the like short duration, high stacking damage buffs, all that stuff. Really, this is safe. Oh, instant phase two. I've got my own spinning weapon on you, Apostle. Fuck. Bye. Oh. Yeah, it's just like it's it, this, like, see, this is what I was saying, like, this is the first setup we've used on these weapon only where it actually is just making a joke of the game. First one. <laughs> it's so funny, dude, actually. Actually so stupid. I, I would love to do a no hit run with. Probably I would use the scythe. I'd be very interested in a no hit run with this thing put on spinning weapon imagine sleeping this boss like here, here here's the here's what i'm imagining you sleep the boss they're both sitting next to each other right so they're like relatively close you sit in the middle do the spinning chain do the spinning weapon hit both of them and like and and then you get a one cycle that way could you imagine How funny that would be. Although I'm, I'm actually not sure if that would would one cycle because weapons that rely on bleed kind of don't one cycle as easily, which makes sense because they can't proc bleed when they're killed. So, well, they can, but it just doesn't actually do damage. But it probably would one cycle. Like if, dude, you know what I just realized? This entire time I haven't been using the thorny cracked tier. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god, the entire time. The most broken thing on this build, and I just haven't been using it. Whoops. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go kill Platzidus Axe at some point. He should actually be able to withstand this build decently well. Maybe. I'm gonna be curious how fast it procs the statuses though on him. Like I'm still gonna go with the status build. Yeah, I've been missing up. I, I've been missing so much damage, and I have like I, I just have the faith tier in <laughs> right now. So like just some random tier. I I totally forgot I grabbed that. Cause it's cause I grabbed it yesterday, and at the start of the stream, like I didn't equip it, so I just forgot. Oh, that's actually kind of a shame. But, uh, I mean, it, it would have looked the same anyways. It's just it, the numbers would have been even higher. Well, the way it works, Lank, is that it's the same with Fire Giant, where the, the bleed hitbox is too high in the air. Yeah, Thorny is the, I, Thorny is the most powerful version, if I'm not mistaken, of the multi-attack buffs. Yeah, game of the year. Exactly, dude. Yeah, <laughs> it's actually so funny. But yeah, that's how it works. It's just the bleed proc is too high in the air, and then you just don't get it. You don't get the buff. We're going to do this skip, because luckily I don't need the stones here. There's, there's like It is nice doing these runs where there's only a few of the weapon class, just because it gets so expensive having to upgrade so many weapons. Like with the daggers and, and stuff. 
Uh, I think I think for Placidusax it is near his head probably. For for Fire Giant, I think it's at his torso. And and yeah, just horrible design. Like totally an oversight. You can do Rotten Wing plus Millicent plus Thorny. That is that is true. You can do that. In this case, though, I'm not sure if it's like I guess technically the Wing Sword Insignia would like Wing Sword Insignia goes to what, 12%? Which is higher than Ritual Sword, but I, I'm, I'm not sure if 12% is correct, but I feel like it's something like that. Oh, oh, is it 10? Okay. If it's 10, then yeah, no point in using it, I guess, because we get, what is it, like, is this 15 or is this like 12.5? I, I don't know. And then this one, I be, is this the same as the other one? I feel like these are both the same, but I'm not sure. This one is 20%, but for shorter time. Like, maybe on this boss, it actually makes sense to go... Hmm. You know what be interesting? Just, like, trying to go... Like, no statuses on this fight, but just straight up damage here. I, th I still think spinning weapon... Or, yeah, I think spinning weapon still the play. Oh, Jar's 10? Okay. So, so basically, my point is that, like... All of the, um... I don't know. They're all similar, so I don't really know which ones to put on. What... I, I feel like I should go with a weapon buff on top of this. Where... Where do you get, um... Where do you get... I haven't used this since my first playthrough. Uh, Electrify. I assume this is in the capital, right? Dragon Cult Prayer Book. And that's this knight over here, right? Let's try it. I, I haven't used it since my first playthrough. Well, actually, lightning's bad against him, though. So maybe not. Or... Uh, son is home maybe, sick. Maybe. Walking in the living room. I'll give you the best Watching me excited. He found someone good playing Elden Ring. <laughs> How's it going, Texas? That's pretty cool, dude. Son's a legend, man. I'm happy I, I caught that message, dude. Uh, Lord... Lord the Gun. Thanks for the... Or Lord Death Gun. Thanks for the... For any prime stuff, dude. Uh, what I'm doing right now, I, I want to see for Placidus, I just want to see what I should use. Y um, you know what? What if I went Craig Blade on it? Oh, so he's probably pretty resistant to Slash, right? I think he's weak as against Pierce. Yep. Oh, he's actually equal to all, so I could I could use Electrify, but maybe... Do you guys think I should go Cragblade or Electrify Armament? Let's try Cragblade. Oh, wait, no, I can't use Cragblade because I want Spinning Weapon. Okay, never mind. I want Spinning Weapon pretty badly there. Because it's just... It's such a quick way to ramp up your damage, right? Jellyfish Shield? Well, we can't use Ash of Wars and Jellyfish Shield unless it's a Shield Ash of War. DLC is going to add eight new weapon types. I'm not sure if it's eight, but it's it's a lot. It's it's very interesting. I I haven't um. I don't think they've ever added new weapon types in a DLC before. We were talking about that the other day, so... It's gonna be insane, dude. There's gonna be a lot more of these types of runs. That's for sure. Twitch is tweaking. Is it really? What, what's going on on Twitch right now?
Well, I, Miyazaki said the number. I just can't remember if it was six or eight. Like, he, he, in an interview, which surely was real, he actually did say a number, so. Which is wild, right? right? Like, I, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine at this point how huge this DLC is going to be. This Ashivore is so good, man. Dragon Cult Prayer Book. And then, honestly, it's probably quicker to just go from the... Well, I don't know. I'll just go from here, I guess. What the Collector's Edition? I have not. I wonder if I... I wonder if that statue is still available. The... The, uh... What's his name? I can't remember the guy's name. Oh, yeah. Mesmer. Yeah. A huge Mesmer statue. Electri armaments based on your seal scaling. We can upgrade a seal. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the the, Yeah, this is a build that ever. I haven't really gone much with in, in this game before. It's an insane build in Dark Souls 3. It's just slapping on Lightning Blade with like a plus, you know, like a plus six seal or something like that. and Or whatever. Talisman in Dark Souls 3. In this game, I, I, I don't know if that strategy is as effective. But maybe we'll see here. And we do, we do have, like, an amount of faith, right? 32 faith's not nothing, so... Wouldn't Gravel Seal be the best? Um... I don't know. I am my apologies. Do you know how it came? Well, the shatter it is here by the matter, and so the urge. Oh, you are free. I would Let's just see if it does anything good, because I feel like I should put a buff on top of it. Oh, very well. Heresy. I guess I also didn't even have to go to Muriel for this. All right, so which seal would be the best with my stats right now? Does anybody actually know? Retreat seal needs 40 faith. Well, my stats, I have 32 faith, 35 strength, 62 dex. Only skills with faith. You can go God Slayer. I think I need more uh, Stone Swords, though. I'm just gonna, like, honestly, it does not matter that much. Like, the difference is probably gonna be just a, a small number less than 100 anyways, <laughs> so. It is not gonna be a big difference. Well, I, I, I'm gonna be curious if this deletes him, because what's been carrying this run for the most part is the crazy status effects, right? And... How, how quickly the status effects can ramp up our damage. But in this case, I, I'm sure we're probably still going to proc bleed, even though he's got like 1,200 resistance to it or something. Um. I guess we go to EG now. It'll probably still proc him because it hits so much. But I'm just curious how much damage we can get without needing all the status effects on it. Like, 
Like, plus four is even probably enough, right? Oh my god, it's smithing stone? Dude, how is it a smithing stone? I thought it was somber. Ah, oh, bro. I don't have the bell burnings. I guess we can go get them, but... Just go get it really quick. It seems like a seal that should be somber, man. <laughs> like, I don't know why I thought it was. I was I, I, did I use that on the incantation? No hit run, I wonder. Not sure if I did. My int is at very low. 14. What level am I? I'm level 124. So quite a high level, actually. Probably the highest level that I've reached in one of these runs so far. I would seal even matter for weapon buff. Well, it, it's because it scales off of the seal, right? We're going to do this nice little skip in here. Because I think I already have the, uh, I already have the other bell bearing, so. Surely I'll hit this first try. Whoops. I did not hit a first try. Do I actually stream Minecraft or... Uh, I haven't streamed it in a bit. Like, in a couple weeks, but... Oh my god, what? Now this is slower than running around, since I missed this twice. Brother. Maybe my angle's bad. I actually, I've practiced skip a lot, and I haven't really missed it ever. There we go, I think. I practiced this skip a lot for bingo, dude. Because it saves like 15 seconds or something. Yeah, we should, we, we should restart the Minecraft server thing, I think. Especially now, like, I think one of the problems is when we started it, there were a lot less people that were, like, whitelisted to it. And so, you know, like, things got done before people even got on, and then, like, it's not as fun when things are done immediately, right? So. Or, like, everything's done already, I guess. See, look, this miner can't even do anything, because I'm just... The R1s take him out. Yeah, with a new update, that could be cool, yeah. That's a good idea. Also, uh, Naki, thanks for the brand new Prime sub, by the way. Please reach him. This R2 is just so slow, it's insane. Yeah, only one world. Probably, I probably won't do hardcore either. Like, just reset it. Just hard survival. Simple. Um, okay, smithing bell bearing we got. We'll just get to the plus 12. All this, dude, all this effort for like an extra 50 damage, <laughs> like that we're gonna get. It's not gonna be a lot, probably. Maybe more than 50, but... Maybe, maybe... I'll give you the best nut ever. Thanks for the very pug content, dude. Listen and grab. Like, plus 12 is fine. Uh, Sayo, thanks for the six month prompt sub, dude. Welcome back. Is it worth NG with the DLC drop? I, I think so. I'm definitely not. I would, I would highly recommend playing it on the base new game cycle. Dude, you know what? Probably the, the finger seal was actually better. Like, finger seal is actually pretty solid at low faith.
Probably Singer, Finger Seal was actually better. I, I was grabbing Godslayer because I, I, for some reason, I thought it was a... How does Vike's Dragon Bolt compare to... Electrify Armament. Oh, they're both the same? But then this one gives you... I, I forget what, what else this does. Makes you weak to lightning, which is probably bad. Just do both? Uh, I assume you can't do both. I guess you actually can do both, but I probably won't do both. Interesting that's like a two-in-one effect on that thing, though. All right, let's go kill Plasidus X, then. You told Finger Seal? Yeah, I should. I probably should use Finger Seal. I was just, I just thought God Slayers was somber because I'm stupid. And I, I really haven't done incantations in a while, so. Yeah, I'll do a Converged Mod run. Like, there's the update. I've been wanting to play it, but there's a lot going on right now, so. I probably won't go White Mask, because Bleed's not going to be the main focus here. We have a quality infusion on this. And we're going to just try to get raw damage and see how much raw damage this can put out. Cuz we've been going with stat we've been going with statuses most of this run, like for basically everything. So Somber seals weigh 0. Oh, really? Okay. I mean, how many somber seals even are there? Urtree seal and Golden Order Seal. And what else? Oh, Dragon Communion. That's right. Dude, I I should have I should have tried to get a stun. You know, what? I'm going to reset the fight. I should have made a save, dude. I okay, here's what I'm going to do. Get a stun, spinning weapon on his head. That's the plan. Um, spinning. I don't. I don't think spinning weapon does much poise damage. I, I'm not sure the amount though. Probably depends on the weapon. I'm gonna make a save here. Extra says six poise. I I really have no idea. It's definitely not it's not a significant amount. Okay, I'm gonna make a save here just so I don't have to run back if I mess this up.
Okay. So, plus has 150 poise, I believe. Or is it 160? I think it's 160, actually. And I think this Charger 2 probably at least does 30. Probably like 33 or something. Maybe it's 36.3, I don't know. Fuck, you didn't stun. A heal? Heal again? Shit, dude. Okay, I mean, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I could, if I fit in a repose in there, that would have been probably pretty insane because I had my damage all ramped up. Yeah, this is kind of blasting him. I'm curious if we're going to get a bleed proc, though. No. Uh. Oh, we did. Look at that, dude. <laughs> Look at that. The laser skip. Dang. A, like a clean laser skip, too. Yep, that's pretty impressive, actually. It's pretty good. Same build on Malekith? Well, he's so weak to the statuses, though. I gotta use status on him. Right? Well, I'm going to go... I, I think I'm going to go Frost and Bleed. Uh, Luke, how's it going, dude? Electrify on Elden Beast? Um, you know what? Elden Beast is a fight where I'm probably going to want to have both sites upgraded. Like, one for Radagon and then... Like, one with, for Radagon with Frost and then... gonna fight this guy why not I cannot believe that was fast enough <laughs> bleed just kill him because I can Uh, Radagon is weak to fire, yeah, and and Frost is decent on him, so yeah, maybe we go Flaming Strike. There's not a lot of damage. Fuck, dude. Whoa, was that a... I wonder if that was a bleed proc or not. Actually, like, perfect on this fight, too. It's perfect, because it, it's really good at hitting his body. 
destroyed. All right, time for Gideon, dude. Angel's wings on Gideon. I'm hoping we don't kill him so fast that, like, I, I don't think we will. I think we're going to see him not be able to use the flask, basically. Like, I'm not sure if he's going to go into the animation. But he shouldn't be able to heal, which is, like, the only thing this weapon does, basically, but... So yeah, we'll, we will, um, I think I'll upgrade the other scythe for Elden Beast. Like, one of them we'll use on Radagon, and then the other one on Elden Beast. And we, we could try to go with, like, an R2 build at some point, but we, I just know it's bad, so there's not even a point. Like, th these are not R2 weapons. That is for sure. Like, you can just, the R1s on these are actually really solid. Which is nice. They have the good hit stun. The sprinting R2 is really good. Sprinting R1 is pretty good. Jump jump attacks are all pretty good actually too. So jump attack build would not be bad. You know what? Maybe we should try that somewhere. Jump attack power stance build. Like go get the jump attack coat. Probably pretty fitting on Horolu to go with the jump attack build actually. We can try that. Uh, I don't have the holy tier in, but it's probably fine. Yeah, we we try a jump attack build on on Godfrey. I think that's that makes sense. Okay, so start to say with a charger too. Backstab. And now do this. Now you can't heal. Do it again, and oh. You can't heal. Yeah, like, I, I really think on low damage, like, let's say you're doing a level one run and you're fighting Gideon. I think the scythe could be very useful there. Like, level one plus zero because you, could, you, you just don't get a heal. If you just keep up with that Ash of War, he just can't heal long, so. But yeah, in this case, we just deal a little bit too much damage, so. It would be hilarious if NPCs tried to heal and they couldn't with this thing. And they just get, like, stunlocked by it or something. They just keep trying to heal. I can't heal because that, that's what this Ash of War does. Like, that's that's the main part about it is that it prevents a uh, flask usage. Which, it, like, that's so... That's really strong in PvP, right? That's actually really good. In PvE, it's, it's not so good, but it's not useless. It's niche, but it can be used on things. Okay, so I'm gonna go... Um... What Smithing Stone Bell Bearing did I... I didn't get this one. Okay, luckily I got the Grace at least. Murder Gideon with Bolt to Grand Sacks. Yeah, with Gideon, like, he's a little bit too weak for normal builds. If it's a decent build. I, I, the, the Albinoric pot, Rathmel, is the one, I believe. Albinoric pot, which I've literally never seen anybody use, but... I, I, I don't watch a ton of PvP in this game, so maybe people do, but... It is cool that a weapon has that effect on it, though. Alright, let's upgrade the other... Other scythe. We're gonna go with the jump attack build with it. I think, um, I don't know what, what kind of setup, like, maybe we just go double bleed, double frost. Where's Millicent? Uh, she's in the grave, dude. Wait, where are we at on this thing already? Plus 12. She's in the grave. Here we go, plus 25. I didn't know there were items that legit prevented flask usage, but to craft so many throat invaders. Yeah, I mean, a lot of 
you know what? A lot. Of, I, I I don't know if people talk about it a lot, but PvP in these games, so much of it comes down to just knowledge of certain builds and items, right? Like so much of it comes down to that. Dude, I feel like spinning weapons still insane on Godfrey 2. So we'll, we'll just go, we'll go double bleed, double frost. And, and, and so now we can see the numbers. So this is, yeah, high dex scaling. Like in terms of an AR comparison, actually, right now, like the Gravesythe is better with my stats. So it, oh, wait, yeah, okay, Gravesythe is better. And probably just because the base damage is higher. But they're pretty, they're pretty similar though, right? So, like for no hit, I, I don't think, if you were to use a scythe, I don't think there's anything wrong with going with just this one. Like, there's not... Because like, this one's farmed, obviously, right? Bogart Roar offhand? Y yeah, you're right, actually. That's a, that's a good call. Very good idea. Do I already have it? I guess I don't. Good idea. Yeah, you can use Black Flame Tornado on sites, which is very interesting. Sorry, buddy. I'm just shocked at how good this Ash of War is. It's kind of insane. I thought I thought it was a total meme, dude. I thought it was a total meme. Braggart's Roar. Um, and then we'll go cold. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this is good here. Frost is decent on this boss. Bleed is, I think, a bit worse. So yeah, we'll buff with this in the offhand, which gives us just more damage and more stamina regeneration. And... Oh, 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 oh. Um, I need... The coat. Have I tried the unique version on the staff? I, are you, I have not. Like that's the Ranala one, right? I, I, I don't even know if you're trolling or not. Like, how could that be good? Yeah, he is weakest to lightning. Also, that's true. But we'll just go magic. Magic's still fine. Put Claw Talisman. Yeah, I do have Claw Talisman, which I will grab. So so probably I'll swap out the Warrior Jar, even though I really think Spinning Weapon's still probably insane on him when I'm strafing around his double axe. But I will swap this one out for Claw Talisman, which I did grab earlier. I just haven't used it yet. Like they, it, this is a solid jump attack. And I'm not gonna lie, I was I was practicing the skip for bingo, and I just couldn't get it. I've done this skip several times before, but I don't know what's wrong. If I'm, I, like I just couldn't get it somehow. It's weird because sometimes, sometimes when you jump. You just, it feels like you just go way further. Like, notice how there, I, I get, like, caught, caught in the air. I, I'm not sure if I'm hitting a stalagmite or not. Then when this works, you go, like, you just don't stop in the air. Like, there. Like, okay, I did it properly that time. I just kind of misangled. So I, I, I think it's hitting the stalagmite, but it's really hard to tell. Yeah, see that time you just get stuck? I don't know. I should practice skip for bingo, though, in case there's, like, a NPC boss square. I'm pretty sure I'm just colliding with something at the top. But there's, there's, probably, a, there's probably an actual good path here. Oops. Like, you'd think more to the left, right? But I don't know. Maybe there's like a, 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 you weave your way into 
the stalagmites or something. More to the right? You're like you're saying I'm supposed to jump more to the right? Okay, actually that was kind of close. I did collide with them, but maybe maybe like slightly more left. Sounds idea of bare fist, no hit and no death. Well, okay, not no hit, but no death I probably could do. What the fuck, man? This is what this is what was happening. I I just couldn't make it, dude. And I have done this skip like several times before. I did on my all boss no hit, although I did use Hand of Millennia to be fair. Yeah, Hunter will cut this all out, dude. I like this is practice and practice for bingo and you know, I don't know what else. Like, is there a, a correct line here? <laughs> Make this a full segment. He probably will, dude. He probably will. Let's go recycle, by the way. Are you sure it's more to the right? I'm going to try right at this angle. Nice one. <sighs> yeah, jump. Okay, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's That's what I've always done. You run up the right wall and then you jump more left. But I wonder if there's like a good lineup. I think I'm still hitting something. Is it? I I just you just die in the air, dude. Or maybe like here. Light load. I don't think light load matters. <laughs> Not even close. Oh my god, man. It's so scuffed. Probably, like, in... In bingo for right now, I'd definitely just run around, because my confidence at the skip is at an all-time low. But... Jumps at certain different. Wait, jumps are different with certain loads. I I feel like that's not true, but uh, sure. Let me try light load. I guess. I didn't. I first try it. Looks the same to me. What What do you mean back jump? jump backwards what what do you I don't understand what you mean there's really a difference between the jumps that that sounds not true at all but I've never noticed a jump between or a difference between the jumps Okay, magically, I made that, that time. Like, it just, it seems so scuffed because just, like, there. It's like, yep, I just randomly go further. I don't, I don't get it, dude. Like I said, I should practice it if I'm going to actually try that in bingo at some point. I, I'm just going to memory grace, I don't care. Yeah, first try. How's it going, Spectre? I, I'm going to try it again, actually. Um...
I just, I don't understand this cap. I just don't get it. Okay, that time if I had angled maybe properly, I would have gotten it. See, like, how does that not make it? That's what I don't understand. Because, like, I, I thought I ran on the wall a bit. It's got to be a little bit further, I guess. Yeah, just use Torn, dude, obviously. God, this is such a garbage. Like, I, I just... This is such a garbage skip, dude. It does save a decent amount of time, though. Hint of Millennia makes this easy, yes. Now I can't even jump because I'm trying to do it too late. <laughs> Anyways, I guess maybe, I probably shouldn't be practicing this right now, but... I did mean to practice this before this weekend. I just don't understand. I just simply don't understand. Watch the clip on how to do the jump. Okay. Yeah, so they didn't run into the... Like that, from that, it looks like you could do a static setup pretty easily, right? I'm pretty sure it is the, like, you're getting caught, though, on the, on the collision on the top. Let's see, if I do this and I get, like, slowed up in midair, though. Yeah, okay, it was just angle, I guess. Okay, hey, that makes sense. That's why, I, maybe that's why I've had, like, a mental block on the skip for a while, because... Because I, I, I used to do it more consistently a while ago. And probably because I wasn't trying to, like, run into that corner thing, you know? <sighs> but why did, like, why do I get slowed up that time, though? I guess it's just based on the... I don't know. This is why the skip is so fucking weird. Maybe it's that when you time this cr properly, you're slightly lower, and then you don't collide with the thing on the roof, maybe, right? Yeah, you just slow midair. Like, you must be colliding with something. That's that's why it's uh, this is such a scuffed skip, dude. You just, you just slow down in midair. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Yep, there it is again. You get a boost from the waterfall collision. That is certainly not true. No, I think it, it must just be jumping later. It means that you somehow don't collide with whatever's up top there. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting my scythe caught on the roof. Uh, Kool-Aid TV, thanks for uh, giving out a sub, dude. What a garbage skip.
<laughs> it looks so weird. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I don't know. Uh, Matt, thanks for giving us up to Neutron. Thanks, dude. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I'm still colliding. I, I really would like to figure this out, though. <laughs> like, ah, man. I would quite like to figure this out. Although we're nearly finished this run, so. Yep, slow down maybe, again. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, Schmidt, thanks for the brand new sub. And also, Meatloaf, thanks for the brand new sub as well. I'm curious, what if I, if I jump from over here? Like, did it look like I slowed down in the air that time? I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe... Yes, I still slowed. I, I, ever. What? Why is that happening? And then why the other time does it not happen? It's it's just bizarre. I, I don't understand. If I jump from back here, does it still happen? It does. So maybe it's not colliding. Maybe it's just some weird jump thing. Is what I mean? Unless the collision's way lower than it looks here. <laughs> yeah, I need... Dude, I need a glider to get down there. Like, I would, I would even just like to understand why this works. You know? That's what I... I don't care if I get this consistent. I just... I would like to know why this works. When you jump in the water, you are slowed down. But I jumped off the rock, though. Oh, yeah, I mean, I guess, un unless this is what happens with jumping in this game. Like, I, I don't know, dude. Well, the skip is just so you don't have to go around. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. I don't know. Well, I, yeah, we need the elytra, dude. I, I'm going to try. Like, if I go outside and jump off of a ledge. Does that also happen? Yeah, Millennia Sword does work, yeah. I, I, I think it does, doesn't it? So, if I jump off up here... Like, doesn't it look... It kind of looks like it happens. That time it didn't. I don't think. Or, or punch. Okay, that time I went way further, right? It's 
uh, really? Just punch? Simply punch? I, I doubt it, but let's just see. I, I don't, but what I'm trying to figure out is like, why does this happen? Why is it different sometimes? I mean, I did go pretty far there, actually. Frame rate? Pos it's possible. Nope. I should just, I should just save and load the location here. This would be a lot quicker. I don't understand this at all. <laughs> Oh, and then magically this time, like, this time I magically glide through the air. Oh my god, it's insane, dude. <laughs> I just, uh, I don't get it. Oh. Like, when it works, you just glide through the air. And I, I don't understand. Yep, this time I don't. This time I don't. I don't think it's an... It, well, oh, the ceiling's boosting. I don't think it's... I don't... I don't... I, I highly doubt it's anything like that. It almost just seems like... It just com completely inconsistent, dude. I do wonder if anyone has the skip 100%. I don't think I, I don't think the punch does anything, to be honest. Just sometimes you glide through the air and I don't get it. I'm I'm doing the same thing every time. I'm not jumping from a different spot. I'm not Doing anything different. Sometimes you glide into the spot, and sometimes you don't. We are to the right of the... No, I, I don't think so. I don't think... I think it's the water? But I was... We were testing it outside, though, without water. I'm fairly convinced this is, like, something that you can't control. That's what it feels like at this point. Because I... I don't know, man. Had better success when you're trying to figure out that running towards the right wall, get a slope jump. Yeah, like I said, what it looks like to me right now is that there's some weird inconsistency with just jumping overall in this game. Which I've never actually really noticed. Like, now that I start thinking about it, I think I've noticed it, but... And it just magically works sometimes. I don't think blocking does anything. Like, the spot at which I'm jumping off isn't changing either. Like, when I'm making it versus not making it. It just sounds like sometimes you just go further. So weird. Okay, well, anyways. I, I'm, I'm, I think... This is clearly something that's beyond just jumping from a certain spot here, right? In in my opinion, that's what it looks like. So let's go fight Godfrey. <laughs> we just spent like 20 minutes testing that. <sighs> okay. Let's see how this jump attack build does here. 
Not sure. I, I highly doubt we're actually going to proc bleed, but... <laughs> That's so bizarre. Yeah, we need a jetpack, dude. You're right. That would be consistent. Alright, jump attack, scythe build. Ooh! That's a large hit. Oh my lord. Oh yeah, dude, I didn't even do the buff. <laughs> what the hell? Um, okay. Maybe, again, maybe I'm just used to lower damage and I, I'm not remembering the damage numbers of things, but... I mean, that was a lot of fucking damage, dude. So, okay, well, clearly this works with a jump attack build. <laughs> clearly. Is this boss weak to slash also? I, I don't think so, but maybe. I think slash is maybe in, like, phase two is good or something. That's probably helping. Yeah, l no Golden Vow and no Howl here. Which is the... Cra I think that's the crazy part. Like, we're not even using the kind of, like, staple buffs that make things broken as hell. Whoa, how did I go underneath that? Bro, that hit right there was so huge. <laughs> oh my god, that was a huge hit. I, I didn't even have Ritual Sword on for that hit right there. That was Frost and Bleed and I don't even know what else, but... <laughs> that, was, that was almost a 7,000 damage jump attack right there. Jesus, dude. <laughs> that was that was really big hit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This game is so broken, dude. Uh, anyways, something tells me this will work pretty well on Elden Beast, but we're probably gonna want to move away from the frostbite. So I think. I mean, do I go flaming strike on one and then like lightning on the? other? Can you put Lightning Slash on these? You probably can, right? Or maybe you can, and maybe that's only swords. I'm just gonna go get it, just to see. Wow. I... I'm... pretty impressed, but maybe again, like... I don't know. This is almost kind of reminding me of the, uh, if you guys remember the big, like, subathon I did when Elden Ring came out. And I had, like, the cross Naginata build and stuff. This is kind of reminding me of that. It's just we're missing the seppuku. Because we can't put it on. Um. Okay, I guess it can't. It's unfortunate, but we could just put a lightning infusion on. Oh, I don't have the. I really didn't get the wet blade? I really didn't get the wet blade. Um, I can still go get it, right? Or can it just not go on spinning weapon? Yeah, because I did get it. That's kind of unfortunate. I feel like that's something that should be able, able to go on this, but... Okay, yeah, I did. Um, alright, for Elden Beast. 
and Radagon. What is the play? I really want to use Spinning Weapon. So I guess maybe we will. Spinning Weapon and then maybe Flaming Strike on the other, but Flaming Strike on Elden Beast is probably not so great. Well, I don't want to use Tornado because... It's not really... I don't know. I've already used Tornado enough and it, it's, it's solid. Uh, Norbro, how's it going, dude? Let's just see what happens with this. I don't know. A okay, magic and thorny tier. Let's just see what happens. Or I guess we, we can just put a non-fire infusion. Like it'll decrease our damage on Radagon. We can just go quality instead and then maybe put a buff on it. Okay. Simply, totally just decimated. You know what? Maybe I'll just go... Hey, okay, screw the buff, I guess. Not terrible. Definitely think jump attack, like, I am I should have been using this earlier. <laughs> the jump attacks is actually really good. Just pull out all the brutal attacks you have. I'm probably pretty close to the wall here. Like, if anything, you can just use spinning weapon to ramp up your damage and then start jump attacking or something. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's so annoying. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is an insane setup, dude. Oh my god, no way. Oh, he's just the, the master of the stalling. There we go, dude. I should have been using those jump attacks probably more. <laughs> those were those were kind of insane. Is there anything else that I should do? Like I think we've cleared everything, dude. All the main bosses. So I don't really think there's anything left to do. 
Yeah, it was, it was like the yeah, it was like the power stance halberds, but I, th I think this is better, dude. It's, it's just like a faster jump attack, I think. Or maybe it's about the same. Could you imagine like this the jump attack setup on Morgoth? Who's also weak to slash? I I guess that's the difference, right? On one hand, you have you have slash damage here, which could be very useful on certain things, whereas the halberds, I think, are just standard, so. Spinning weapon is just from raw gear, yeah, so you could get it just killing Margaret, and that's it, and you can get it. I would love to write a no-hit with the scythe, actually, just to see how strong that can be. But man, like... <laughs> these were, yeah, this is like top tier, actually. Top tier build, dude. I think I I might do a no hit run with the the scythe. I I'm I just I would love to use spinning weapon on something and out of all the weapons to put spinning weapon on like a scythe is probably one of the best ones, right? What what else would be a good option? I guess if you can put on twin blades that's probably good. But which one would you put it on though? There's no innate bleed twin blade is there that you can put it on? Yeah, cross naginata but I feel like the damage of that would be lower. Like, I'd, I'd prefer the Scythe moveset, probably, to that. And then, people also mentioned the, uh... Uh, the Flamberge. Now, that's one, like, maybe that is better, actually. I could see the Flamberge being better. It's probably it's probably a very similar result. Like I'm not sure how the poise damage works on that Ash of War, but but Flamberge you would think probably has higher poise damage on it if it does, which could be useful. Uh, but yeah, like where obviously where the build would struggle is Elden Beast. But if you're using a weapon like the Flamberge, then then it wouldn't. But anyways, I mean the sights are. If you need to bleed stuff and slash damage is good, we have to go back and see that that hit that I had on. Uh, on Horlu there. That was one of the biggest hits I've seen. Will look back upon us and I have to see that again. Oh, look at my insane character. Of Man, I, I sound like a broken record, but the sights were significantly better than I thought they were going to be. Like, you could probably go back to yesterday at the start of the run. And... Also, you know what? I think the first attempt, we, like, headshotted him on the opening or something. Look at that. Or maybe I got a double hit. Because look at that fucking damage, dude. And I think this one was also a double hit. Look at that. And then we get a frost proc, and then, like, <laughs> the damage is just so insane. And then... Yeah, see, like, this time, the initial jump attack wasn't nearly as high damage. Like, so I think it was either a headshot or a double hit. Used to plus zero. Yeah, I, dude, I might be. I actually might be. It'd be kind of funny after all this if... I don't know. If, like, every build is like this. But, but the other weapon class runs were not like this, though. Like, look at that, dude. I mean, <laughs> that's a big fucking hit. That's a huge hit. Wait a second. Was there even a bleed proc on it? I thought there was, but... I don't know if there was. That might have been like a, a headshot or something. Or I don't know. I think it could have headshotted him. No, dude, th there wasn't even a frost proc. That was, <laughs> I think that was just a, a just raw damage hit. Oh my god, <laughs> that was just a seven thousand damage hit, dude. I think it was just a like a double hit plus a headshot or something. Look at that, dude. <laughs> I mean. That's insane. 
And I need to reiterate, that's without that's without Red Feather. I didn't even have Ritual Sword on because I lost health. It's without Howl, without Golden Vow, no Flame Grammy Strength, no Commander Standard, nothing, dude. That is just the Physic and Bogart's Roar. That is it. Like, probably the Bleed Talisman isn't even activated and the White Mask isn't either. Oh my god, that's crazy, dude. Like, there's, there's probably the first hit. That's, like, what it should have done. But then we got a double. <laughs> and then it just... Like, this is probably the... That, that's probably what was meant to happen. So that's, like, a huge headshot. Our, our you know, multi-hit talismans are all ramped up at this point. So, like, that's probably the hit was supposed to happen. And then there's just another one. Jesus, dude. Wow, that is that is so satisfying. <laughs> oh boy, that's funny. Yeah, his head is lower because of the grab. Yeah, I, like I'm fairly convinced it's a double hit headshot. <laughs> that's so funny, dude. That's actually so funny. And the move set is good for getting headshots. Like, you really swing them high up. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's that's going in the intro of the video, that's for sure, dude. Right there. Man, that's just beautiful. Yeah, I like you already know. You're if when Hunter makes this video, that is that's the first thing you're gonna see right there. <laughs> oh man, that's good. Yeah, if I if I had the buffs, he he instantly dies to that. That would have been so funny to see. Like fucking 8,000, 9,000 damage hit. Oh boy. What a fun run, dude. The sights are insane. They're actually insane. Oh, uh, what did I miss here? Uh Ali Baba, thanks for the brand new prime sub. And uh Tayon, thanks for the brand new prime sub as well, dude. Jesus. Well, is there any any other boss that you guys can think that would be good with these scythes to try out? I think I've already basically tested maybe, everything I wanted to. I'll give you the best nut ever. Uh, I saw Bree doing it, Paul Vanya. I'm not. I'm not sure if, how much I like it to be honest. Like it's it's pretty cool, but it's insanely slow. Uh, friendly Taoist, thanks for the brand new prime as well. The problem is like now we're maxed out, so most bosses just die instantly. Deathbirds with Halo. We already tested that, and it uh, works exactly as you'd imagine. Like, here. It works exactly as you would imagine. I already killed Theodorix, actually. He got totally destroyed. Um, so, if I simply... Sacred Order... Like, th this works exactly as you'd imagine. And and what I was saying is that I, I genuinely think that... I think that Mikola's Ring of Light is probably the easiest way to deal with Death Rite Birds. Like, in the, in the entire game, probably. And the reason is the projectile has so much range, and it's got really good tracking, that it just, it, it makes it so easy. I genuinely cannot think of an easier setup on them. It's maybe not the highest per hit. Like, it's not a holy pot type maybe, of damage. Maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. You know, it doesn't one-shot every Simply death bird. But it basically two or three shots at all of them. Uh, Ash, thanks for the 13-month resub. Learn and then win, dude. Exactly. Like, so if I just put on the holy tier. Maybe you put on the faith tier, I guess. Like, just watch how easy this is. I can't believe Banjo farmed this on no hit though. Like, I, I I still cannot say that this is a viable no hit kind of setup. But it would be if you can get the weapon. Now this one doesn't fly down, so it's probably a little bit more annoying. But the shared order or golden epitaph doesn't matter. 
I golden, I, I'm not sure if Golden Epitaph is like slightly better. A little, I mean. Like that, it just, you sit so far back and then you just hit them like twice and they die. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm pretty convinced that this is probably the best death bird setup in the game. Like the problem with holy pots is that it's just, they're harder to hit them, I think. Yeah, and somebody mentioned Solurius Tree as well. That would definitely hit harder, but again, it doesn't have the range or the tracking, so. You know, I guess, you know what? We can test the Blackway Kindred as the final thing here, just really quick. Because that, that's a boss that we, we did fight one earlier, but I, I didn't use the jump attack setup. Let's just fight him with the jump attack setup. Probably... Oh, you know what, actually? Oh, boy. Okay, wait a second. Okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. We are going to go get... Um, Royal Knight's Resolve. And then I'm going to put Cragblade offhand. And it's a setup I've used in PvP before. Not with Scythe, though, but with um, Great Axes. And I'm just curious if <laughs> that's going to be good here. I mean, it has to, obviously it's going to be good, but... Could you ma Dude, imagine if I had Knight's Resolve that hit on Horlu. I, I cannot believe that wasn't a status frog. I, I was so convinced... I was so convinced that that was a proc of bleed and frost at the same time <laughs> that I just, I don't know. I, I didn't even consider for one second that that was just a normal attack. Now it was a, it was a double hit though, which happens on the boss, but like it is actually really strong that like certain weapons can just get the double hit. Where am I going? Oops. I didn't mean to do this. Certain weapons can get double hits more easily on that boss. And, and, and that, like, also Fire Giant as well, right? Like, the Starfists can do that. And with the Iron Balls, they can easily get double hits. And I guess maybe this can too, because we noticed at least a few of them. Determination, Offhand, Nitrous of Manhand? I believe so. I think I should do that. I was going to go Cragblade, but... Like, Cragblade's probably better long-term for the fight. Yeah, for just like a single hit, I, I guess you can do that. Uh, continue DLC prep run. I, I'm not 100% sure. Probably the rest of this week will be like bingo practice, I, I guess. Wasn't really planning on doing that, but... But yeah, part of this, I, I do actually think that part of this is probably just because I haven't used strong weapons in a while. And, and like, these very good setups. And th not that this is optimized at all, but I think that's probably part of it. Well, Black Flame Tornado, it, I, I don't think... Like, where would that be good on this? Like, it's a good Ash of War on certain things that can get, like, stunned by it, but... It doesn't have, like, insane damage compared to what I can get without it. Yeah, I, I can I can dupe it. I do think probably Craigblade offhand is better, though. Let me just go get Cragblade, actually.
Black Flame Tornado is what you drop in the morning after Taco Tuesday. <laughs> that, like, doesn't even make sense. <laughs> uh, Bregart's Roar, like, for Cragblade or what? <laughs> True. Alright, so you guys are thinking I go one on each. Like, it's definitely going to lead to a big initial hit. I do kind of feel like Cragblade is probably better, though. Like I said. X Sykes Decay is you after Taco Tuesday. I'm sure it is. Uh, normal and rotten wing winged insignia do not stack. I also assume slash is really bad on these guys. Or I think just strike is the best. Okay, I'll do one hit of this and then I'll swap to Craig Blake because I think that's a that's a better setup. Just to kind of see what kind of damage we're looking at here. Yeah, like 2,400 or something like that. It's pretty good. The only problem is that you can like only do that big of a hit once, so... See if I can get some insane Scythe headshots. You know what would be really cool is if Scythe headshots had like an extra modifier on damage. Like they just dealt even more damage than normal headshots do. Oh. Oh, baby. Yeah, this is really strong, dude. This is very strong. <laughs> oh my god. It, and it's, like, I kind of just want to keep killing bosses, but there's, like, there's not a lot left to kill. I've killed a lot of the bosses already, dude. Any better shortcut for the demon boss in Lava and DS2? There's a, there's a grace, or there's a bonfire up in the uh, the, like, ram head or whatever it is, the Taurus head. Like, so go up those ladders. Did you turn off the fire traps? I already killed Moog. Yeah, we, I mean, we just dismantled Moog on this. I already killed Giga Estelle as well. Like, I've killed, I've killed most of the big bosses already, dude. And, and the rest of the bosses are just gonna die too fast, so... Yeah, yeah, you want to climb the ladder and go up there. That's by far the best way. Well, th but there's no other way, really. It's just on Nile. Both of the commanders are dead, so I don't know, but... I think, yeah, I think as a, like, this is an, a very good jump attack build for headshotting stuff, which is interesting. I'm not sure if any other... Like, I don't remember the halberds being good for headshotting, really. Like, it was a little awkward. But I'm not sure about this one. Sure, tree stand will do it. Why not? They're pretty tanky, I guess. Oh, sewer mug. Yeah, we could go to sewer mug, actually. Please don't crash. Please do not do this to me right now. Well, Borealis is... You want to be using strike against him, so this setup... Like, Slash is 80% resistant on Borealis, so... You'd want to go elemental.
but yeah, anyways, I, I guess sights are insane though, right? Especially with spinning weapon. And I, I'm I'm curious to try I, I want to try the flame bird with spinning weapon if that's an option. Because that sounds like it'd be extremely good. Because you because you have the great sword moveset, which is really good. Like I guess the main the main difference between the scythe and grave sword moveset is basically just that it has good R2s instead of bad R2s. Let's go down to sewer mode, I guess. Good R2s versus bad R2s. Oh, you can't use it on the flame bridge. Okay, well, th well, there you go. Actually, that's one point for the one point for the scythe then, right there. Because people were mentioning mentioning it on the flame bridge earlier. So, so scythe scythe probably are the best weapon to put it on then, right? Or what? What would what would another option be? Yeah, yeah, I guess um, that, like, bleed halberd, the mili uh, militant saw or whatever it's called. Because there's not really any hammers or axes that I think have as much base bleed buildup as this one, and I'm not sure how the range works on it either, but... But no, I, I I think, dude, the scythes actually might be the best for spinning weapon, and spinning weapon's really good, so that's cool, dude. It's cool that it's got a use. I'm I'm so curious if we can get headshots here. Well, Naga keep is a, a a katana. That I just first of all has lower bleed buildup. I think Naga has got 45 base. Um, so I just, I just don't think it would be as good. I, I don't think they also have as much just AR, which presumably affects spinning weapons damage, right? I, I guess. I don't know. Great, if you can put great stars with spinning weapon, then yeah, like maybe that comes close to it. Was that a headshot you guys think? I think it was. Or, I don't know. Insane, like, god tier headshot weapon. I do remember in Dark Souls 3, the scythe had like a, a weapon art that was specifically meant for hitting people in the head. And so maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe this also kind of does the same. But, I don't know, or maybe they just designed this power stance moveset to hit people in the face, dude. Uh, Zaspian, thanks for the 9 month resub, dude. Yeah, next swipe is what it was called, yeah. Spinning Starfist. Oh, Naga Kiba's 35, really? No, I think it... Unless it's less than the... Because the Uchi's 45, isn't it? Or maybe it's not, dude. Maybe it is 35. But that seems a little low. What would I use in Fias with this? I mean, probably just... You have so many options. Like, just Wing Scythe is probably the easiest, though. No, Duo Gargs isn't dead. There's not really any other boss I want to kill. I guess I can go kill Lance Yax, I guess, if I haven't already. No, I already did, actually. I blasted Lance Yax. So I kind of wanted to try some headshots there, but... Hey, I don't really feel like going down to Fortis Axe. Because I'm... Nowhere... Well, I guess... No, I guess I just killed Sewer Moog. So... Anyways. Um... Chi tension. I, I guess I can. I can just run down there. Like, I just killed Sewer Moog. I definitely underestimated how the jump attack build would be with this thing, man.
I guess the one thing that it doesn't have on like Pwn Blades though is that Pwn Blades have more hits in their jump attack. And so they proc statuses faster and then they also like what that means you get more damage. Huh? It, it, wait, is this this guy's weaker, I guess, right? Or Do these guys have a different amount of HP or not? I, I thought they did. They don't? Are you serious? What the hell? <laughs> did I close my stream? <clears throat> like, did I forget to use Nice Resolve on the first guy or something? What happened here? Can you? I, th I didn't think you could headshot these guys if that's actually what happened. I did use a nice resolve. So 1500 or so while ramped up. I still would have had a little bit of extra damage here from the talismans. What ha what happened? How's the damn like how did I almost get four thousand damage? Was it was it really a headshot? You can fucking headshot the guys? Torch guy is less health. Okay, but it's it's still pretty close though, but but that doesn't explain why I dealt like double the damage in a single hit. Like the biggest hit I had here was two was what 1700 was my biggest hit now i again though I, I i was ramped up for him right like i would have had some extra damage but that doesn't explain i was so much more what is going on with these these, these weapons dude like they're doing things i didn't even know were possible i i think it's a headshot or or maybe you can double hit these guys because from that right there it, it looked like i double hit him it's not even a sneak attack. <laughs> I guess that's a double hit. I didn't know you could double hit these guys. If that's what actually happened. Oh my god, this build is so broken, dude. Wait, I, I wish I tried this on Fire Giant, because Fire Giant, you can get so many double hits, and it probably would have looked so stupid. <laughs> like, just the entire health bar is gone. That's so funny, dude. No, that was not instant bleed. I, but so you can't headshot the, these guys, right? Like this isn't a headshot thing. I didn't think you could headshot these. Jesus. <sighs> um. I wonder if I can revive Fire Giant in the game. Actually allows it. Because when I tried to re revive Moog the other day, it, like, he just immediately dies again. I just, I want to see if you can get the double hits here, too. Oh, that's insane. Wonder what other weapons can get, can get all these double hits that I just didn't know about. Maybe I I I'm not really 100% sure how double hits work, but 
Maybe it has to do with the fact here that it hits really high first. And so, like, based on what I've heard, is that it's based on, like, hitting two parts of the model or something like that. And so maybe... I don't know. So maybe hitting high is good. And, and the Starfists do hit high when you do a jump R2, right? So... I didn't, definitely didn't get any double hits there. Or there would be a patch for sights. I highly doubt it, dude. Yeah, I don't think we got any. Very hard boss. Oh, this build is actually just broken as hell, dude. To be fair, we do have the thorny crack tier, which... You know, you wouldn't normally have, but it, what, what, was there somebody else I was going to go fight? I guess I said Fee's Champs we can go down to. And and Fortisac, just to see what happens, I guess. And then, and then I'll stop this run. Down to Fee's Champs. Yeah, also plus 25s. That is true. Which... You could get that by that point, I guess, right? But. I can stop power dancing Reapers whenever I want. True. Well, it's just, I, I didn't know this was so good. And I didn't use this at all during the run, so. Um, I feel like I should now. Because we were, we were going hard with spinning weapon the whole time. Which was really good also, to be fair. But I just, I didn't know, like, didn't know jump attacks were so busted too. If only, dude, if only these weapons had a good R2 on them. It's such a shame because... If they did, then they're basically top tier at that point. Like, if, if this has a an R2 that is as fast as, let's say, a greatsword or something, like a standard greatsword sweeping R2, then... How, how much poise damage does the R2 on these things do? Is it is it 33 or 36.3? I assume it's one of those two. Black flameless spinning weapon. I don't I don't think it stacks for each hit. I, I'm I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Maybe maybe I'll give you the Twin best body, thanks for the eleven month prime sub, dude. Yeah, this way would be pretty hard to find if you didn't look it up or didn't like accidentally use the shackle or something didn't size get buffed i have no idea i haven't really used them i just I, I i just thought they were really bad because i did no hit with the halo scythe and it was not good which which makes sense that it wasn't good holy holy like half holy damage basically and the only redeeming like so i did a no hit run also with the marka's hammer which actually was good, but it's because it has the hammer move set in a in like a good R2, right? And so it kind of made up for the like lack of damage it would have. It was also mostly physical damage as well. But with the Halo Scythe, it really just dropped off hard for the main bosses. And it still does. Like it's still not a good main boss killer, but it's really good for like field bosses and the other sites are what are good for the main bosses, dude. Spinning weapon, jump attack build. 
Tons of fucking bleed. Ross, too. So. Okay, well, this boss is going to get destroyed. I may swap out, though, to... Dude, like, even... Um... Stormcaller would be pretty good, probably, but... I'm gonna use mostly the Wing Scythe here, I think. Wing Scythe and the Halo Scythe. And then I guess we'll kill four sacks, and then that'll be it. I, I don't think there's any... Oh, you know what? I We were talking about double slash or something. Maybe that's like the one thing I didn't use. Like, is this thing actually any good? I'll try it. I'll try it. Well, actually, well, I'll just go get it and see. Revive Millennia tested on her. What, the jump attack build? Oh, it's oh, it's just the corpse pilot. Okay, well. I mean, uh, I have used that Ash of War. Like, I, I, I have used it before on the uh, Serpent Bone Blade. It's, it's okay. Is it this guy? Oh my god. Surely I'll be able to hit him from down here with the Halo Scythe. I quite... I haven't quite figured out the aim on this. And I can't lock on because it's a Scarab. I should just go up there, probably. <laughs> that didn't work out so well. All right, surely from here I can get him. I mean, I, this won't hit, obviously. Surely here. The the biggest weakness of Mikola's Ring of Light is that you can't log on to fucking scarabs. That's legitimately the biggest weakness of it. Well, no, it's not, but it is very annoying. Okay, so double slash. Like, I, I've used this Ash of War quite a bit. It's interesting that it can go on Scythe, though. Whoa, it's like a weird slow version. I don't think I like that so much. Why is it? It's, it's definitely slower than the when you put it on a Katana. That's for sure. That's disappointing. I've already used Sword Dance quite a bit. Sword Dance is really good. I think Sword Dance was probably best on like Millennia or something. It's really good on the nice cavalries too. It's just it's it's so good for making up ground on bosses, getting close to them. So with this one. Oh, man, you're dead.
Like you just cast it, they input read dodge, and then it hits them. And then you cast the other one. And the tracking is so solid that like they kind of get destroyed. And now I can also do this one. Dude, the range that has is is kind of broken, dude. It has a deceptively long range. For this one, just... Let's see how easily we win this here. Please go away, Skulls. What are you going to do about that, Lino? You fucking loser? Take C. Can't do shit about it. Oh, you can, though. Oh. Oh. Too easy. The insane NPC killer, Ash of War, right here. I'm a big fan of it, actually. I didn't think I thought this site was gonna be was gonna be completely useless, maybe, and it's it's not that useful, but the best not ever. it is good though, actually. It's more useful than I thought it was gonna be. Um Portisax is 80 resistance to faith or holy damage. <laughs> That's so stupid. Oh my god, dude, I didn't even get the... Okay, there's no chance I'm going to get the curse mark, man. I totally forgot I needed that. No chance I'm going to get that right now. Wait, this horrible boss. <laughs> I just... No way I'm going to get that. Yeah, every all the main bosses are dead, Reaper. So, like, I'm just continuing because I want to try it out on some other fights. Uh, Air you, thanks for the two month prime sub, by the way, dude. It the new lies the rulies brandish stay the by becoming. I will soon to conceive brandish stay the by becoming. Uh, Moog is dead. Yeah, all all the remembrances are are oh, sorry. All the great rune bosses are dead. Yeah. Yeah, what a lucky item I found. Exactly. Yeah, how did she not see the curse back on the ground, dude? She could have just done this herself. This, but I, am, I choose and I will who win in here. What greater this is good, but I am I choose. As one says every game is easy when in reality he's a rager. Why do I keep talking to you? What was hilarious was him on the death right bird in in uh, mountaintops. That was so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> like just actually so fucking mad. <laughs> And it, it's always it's always funny to me when like people are in a first playthrough and they they say a boss is trash and they're like so set on it being a trash boss and and, and like you just I don't know it's tough with Souls games and and just I don't know games that have complicated bosses to say a boss is trash without knowing anything about them without having even beaten them once like it's just I don't know it was pretty funny okay self storm collar on this it was just bad. I'm just going to go with our uh, Craigblade setup. Jump attack build. Um. Uh, Bingo season three is not finished. There's five matches in the like in the 
like round robin stage or whatever pre-elimination and then uh and then there's the playoffs which is only two rounds so it's going to be the first place team goes immediately to the final second place team and third place team have a match to figure out who goes to the final I don't know if that oh shit dude i thought it was the other attack somehow jesus that scared me i have not fought this boss in a long time i'm, <laughs> I'm kind of getting destroyed here oh i want to see a clean headshot Don't do this garbage. Oh my god, this boss is so fucking bad. Please. It's actually funny when I <sighs> when I when I upgraded my PC and I fought this boss. Ah, that's what I was waiting for. When I when I upgraded my PC and then fought this boss for the first time, it was the first time I'd, I'd ever fought this boss and not had any lag in the fight. Like it was it was insane what it was like, dude. No fucking lag somehow. Yeah, that was the hit I was looking for. Double double scythe headshot. Not a double hit, but I just I cannot believe that they put such a long setup to this boss. And that's the boss at the end. Just a straight up worse version than the one you already fight, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Okay, well, Scythe's is done. Wow, what an insane weapon, dude. What an insane weapon class, actually. I'm pretty surprised by that. Because I, I think at the start, I said that... I, I think I said that I didn't think they were that good. And I think it's just because of that, that Scythe run I did. Yeah, there's that hit that I was looking for. Big chunk of HP gone. When are you even supposed to fight him? Probably pretty late in the game, I would think. But yeah, you can fight him pretty early. I, I don't know. What about updating the tier list? Um, I'm probably just going to make a whole new one like by the time I'm finished with all these. But yeah, I think the base scythe and the, and the grave scythe are probably... I, I wasn't really considering power stancing, but that is something I should have considered probably. Like, where would they? Where would those go? Like, they've got to be a tier, right? Like a minus tier. I think that's probably fair. Like, really high base bleed build up, probably the best weapon with spinning weapon, insane jump attacks for headshots. Well, I, I'm not sure if it would be creeping in S, but if it had a, like a really solid like R2, it would be high A. And, but yeah, so those are those two scythes. And then the Halo scythe, I think I'm comfortable with that at a B plus probably, right? Because it's, it's, the reason it doesn't make it to A tier with it being so good on field bosses is that it's bad against main bosses. So it's probably like a B somewhere. Like probably the best weapon for dealing with Deathrite Birds. And then the the... The winged scythe is definitely the worst one, but 
Like, does that go below a C? I don't think so, dude. I think that's just like a solid C tier weapon. It's got decent, like it's got okay damage. The holy part of it's not great, but it has bleed, which makes up for it a little bit. But then it's it's niche on the NPCs, which is actually like good on them. So, so yeah, like that's where I'd probably place all of them. I think A minus for the other two scythes, and then B and then C, I guess. So I I don't know. I'm just I'm surprised they they were that high actually. If I if I were to guess in my tier list, I probably would have put them all at like a C tier. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so that's why that's why I'm waiting to use the weapons before I um I do that. Um, DS three runs probably not. <sighs> Is there anything in bingo that I should do? I could probably test some bingo stuff out. DS3 PvP. Mm. Why do people randomly want to see DS3, dude? Have to grind for the Halo Scythe? Yeah, that's that's definitely the annoying part. I'm not sure what in bingo I need to test. Like, I, I'm... What if you got the wing scythe and bingo, dude? And like, and use that on Vike? Uh, I don't know. Other matches review? Mm. Maybe that could help, I guess. Those are some boss kills I want to do. I, I have done... We just practice some bosses, dude. Never a bad idea if I'm going to stream for another like hour or so. I did do Morgoth with... I did do Morgoth with... A pl like on level 1... True level 1 plus 0 no sas effects. NG plus 7. I did do that a while ago. We could try doing Millennia with those. Which... Probably a pretty long fight. But it just, I don't know. I'm trying to think, like, if there's any bingo stuff that... I just need to... I don't know. The, actually, by the way, the, the, the more I thought about the bingo, like, decision I made to not go for the academy... The more it kind of made sense to not do it. I guess, it, like, it, it was definitely the... What I did was the safer play. Right, it was it was probably the higher percentage play, I, I guess. Although, like sending Bree in to do it, I guess I don't know. Like, practice true sentinel. <laughs> yeah, we could. Oh, dude, you know what I totally forgot about? We're playing uh, DS One later. Oh, hell yeah, dude! Good thing I didn't end, man. I was I was getting so into the scythe that I forgot. Yeah, we're playing some DS1 later, dude. DS1 no hit training. We should be able to get through the rest of the game, I think, today, but... Yeah, Potastic's learning DS1 no hit. I wonder how much she practiced. If she, if she practiced anything, because there was a huge, like complete overload of information that she got so <laughs> she might have forgotten it all i don't know like a huge amount of information Oh, it even tells you the amount of arrows you get. I didn't know that. Is it the normal battle hammer? Unfortunate. Huge unseen blade. Now, this is actually interesting because you get poison armament with this class. Oh, dude, the spike cessus are so good, but you can't wield them. 
think you're missing one dex for it. Spike Cestus are are slept on big time because the iron, like the the starfish, are so good. But I, you know what, for Bingo, I'd probably prefer the I'd probably prefer Spike Cestus and Bingo. Probably. Well, you would either go Samurai or Confessor. Depends on what board you're seeing, but... Like, I, I think... Is this shield a parry? Opportunity for lifesteal? I, I, I really don't know how I feel about that lifesteal strat. You can try it out, but it, it just seems so slow. Does have a better R1? Uh, as... I th isn't... It's the exact same, no? They have a better... Tap R2 is what they have. Like, they have an ins... Well, better. It, it, it depends on the situation, but the top R2 on the Cessus is very interesting. It's so fast. That... It becomes very good, actually. It's funny how, like, you know, I, I've noticed some people talking about Square Off and, like, how good it is and stuff. What the fuck? That's this huge scam. Oh, my God. Imagine, like, losing it on the Square because of the meme like that. Heard a lot of people talking about Square Off for Bingo. I think we've gotten to a point where Square Off is somehow overrated now. I don't know how it ha like maybe it's my fault I don't know but like square off is in, is very good but it's like it is not good for damage it's not good for damage so it's good at, at poise breaking which is good like it's still really strong and stuff but it's not like pe people are describing it as like top ash of war in the game it's it's not dude there's no way it, it's pretty good. But it's not like a top 10, I, I wouldn't say. Well, maybe it could be. But it, I think it has gotten overrated now. Just because it is so good for bingo. It's, you know, well, it's good because it's really accessible in bingo, right? I think it's top 10. It, it could be top 10, I guess. I, I, I honestly don't know how many Ash of Wars are in the game, but... But no, I think I think it's a bit overrated now. I'm not gonna lie, dude. That's that's a joke, right, Princhu? I must just want to like tank some of these on this fight. See, this is more how you fight Tree Sentinel, right there. In my match, I was probably I was probably probably about ten seconds slower than that, or or even more potentially. Rusty lists are so awful. <laughs> well, I hope he wasn't ranking them like best to worst or something like that, like the weapon one. Like hopefully it's just his preference, but like Square Off is not <laughs> it's not eighty fifth or whatever it was, clearly. No, I, th I think it's 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 a, a very solid Ash of War. Oh my God, dude! Yo, that's Fruitsies, so thanks so much for shit. the ten give the subs, dude. That is so shit. God damn! That Make sure uh, you thank Fruitsies if you got a sub right there. Oh my God! Thanks so much, dude. 
Yeah, I'd, I'd have to look at the whole list of Ash of Wars to think of where it goes, but... No, like, it, it is it is very good, but I just, I think... For, with Bingo happening, people are talking about it like it's, like, legitimately a top, you know, top three Ash of War in the game or something like that. It, it's, it's not. It just, it's lacking the damage component to be that strong. Is what I would say. Like, cause even, even that tree sentinel kill, like, you can easily get faster tree sentinel kills with other weapons, right there. Have you heard? Hey, sir, but you, I can play turning. Now, mostly with statuses, but what is top one? I have no idea, dude. <laughs> I don't know what top one is. That's tough. I'd say it's S tier. Oh, I would say it's God, dude. dude Fenjal, thanks for the five so subs as well. Shit. Make sure, make sure you thank so Fenjal if you got a sub right there. Shit. That is such um, a garbage. No, it's not oh S tier. No, God. I don't think. I would, I would have to. I would have to see them all on a list to actually decide that. But I would say it's A tier, probably. Yeah. Thanks so much, you guys. Though. Um, I would say it's A tier. Funny. There's literally zero scythe pickups in Bingo. That makes sense. <laughs> you know, like even. I guess maybe if you're going to the uh, bell, uh, like the stuff over on the west part of weeping, but uh, like you wouldn't use a scythe anyways. But I'm just, I'm just, I was maybe, just thinking about maybe it. I'll give you Wing the of Estelle, like the Ash ever. of War. Your. Yeah, that one. That one's probably an S tier one, I would say. Nebula, also very unique too. Stormhawk. Uh, yeah, Stormhawk Ash of War is good. That's true. Also buffs your weapon, so yeah, that would be... I mean, at, at the very least, you'd be a, ahead of... Stormcaller, <laughs> right? Uh, Dubsy, thanks for the three-month resub as well, dude. Yeah, the Darkmoon Greatsword Ash of War is easily S-tier, for sure. I mean, that's what makes the weapon. So, that that's probably the top one. Like, that's probably the best one in the game. Because if Darkmoon Greatsword doesn't have that... It's, it's literally a, like a normal... It's, it's basically a, a bad greatsword at that point. So that, that's that's the t that's the best one in the game. It has to be. Like It, it is the reason why the Darkmoon Greatsword is arguably the best weapon in the game. And it's purely because of the Ash of War, so... Well, you'd have to differentiate between like buff Ash of Wars and... Like damage ones, sorta. Like so, you'd have to kind of rank them a bit differently. Insane scythe pickup. Yeah, I don't really know what to practice for bingo right now, dude. You like death poker, but it's better for small groups of enemies, not bosses. Yeah, the death poker Ash of War is an interesting one. I, I probably, I, I would rank it like a, that's tough, dude. People would hate me for it, but I'd probably rank it like an A minus or something. Maybe it could be an A, but do I, do I drink energy drinks? I do not. Lion's, Lion's Claw is better than Square Off, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I mean... 100% is better. Like it just—it has the damage part, and depending on the weapon you're using, it also has the poise, poise damage part. So yeah, Lion's Claw is better. Um, yeah, I—I I, I don't know, dude. Like the thing that I need to practice at this point is like actually the bingo part. <laughs> you know, like I—I I feel pretty good about all the squares. I think. Like, maybe there's certain squares that I don't know, like, the fastest rush to, though, I guess, which would be good to know. Good on Borealis. What, Lion's Claw? Lion's Claw, I mean, it depends on the weapon you're putting it on, right? Like, the thing with Square Off is that it's always Thrust or always Standard. Like, Uppercut, Standard, R2, Thrust. Whereas Lion's Claw, I believe it's just dependent on the weapon. So, you could have Strike. You could have, you know, probably Slash. You 
Like, you could have probably whatever you need, I guess. I, I, although, I'm not certain on, of that. I'm not certain of that. Yeah, I've got a pretty good path to the crystal tunnel here that I was working on. Although, go like, go. some of the placements of these, uh... That was not good, obviously. And the placements of these gravestones is so weird. Thanks to you, I was able to know hit millennial Luvjovitz and streams on much love. Whoops, I did not mean it. Okay, clearly my path is not as good as I was thinking here. I just don't remember it super well. Okay, then you go down here. Uh, but Fruzies, thanks so much for the 400 bits as well, dude. That's, uh, congrats, dude. You'd love to see that. Let's go to Mad King. Yeah, this is the fastest way down to the crystal tunnel here. Like, I think in, in one of our matches, Bree went from here, which is, I, I believe it's about 20 seconds slower, or maybe 30. Like, it's actually quite a bit slower. So. Yeah, the gravestone placements are so awkward, though. Try Stormblade. I've used Stormblade. It's, it's, it's okay. Maybe a bit better than okay. It's good for killing stuff. And on bosses, it's, like, it can... I think it's okay on bosses, but it's mostly good for just like killing based on what I've used it for. Yeah, I think people were saying, Matt King, it was the the ones that are non like great runes or something. You can just go to the spirit spring jump. Yeah, but that's all the like that's all the way over here. So the grace. This is the grace we get in bingo. And so the fastest way down is to go down this way. I don't Like, you, there's no, like, you, the Spirit Spring Jump, you'd have to go around, which I think is slower than the Gravestones. Because it is, like, kind of far. Um, Estelle. If what I said is true, and I'm on, I'm not 100% sure on that, then Estelle should be the fastest for Bingo, yeah, probably. But with that being said, I'm not sure, like, the Weeping one is not that slow. But yeah, I guess I don't know. That's a that's a if that if that square is on the board for a long time, then Estelle becomes a consideration if you're upgrading and stuff. Am I really gonna die here? No. Yeah, the Mountaintop's castle is faster, but Bree was saying that it's like really awkward for some reason. I'm not really sure what. Yeah, this was better, but I took some damage. Like, that's what I was testing initially, but there were times where I couldn't do that second, that second jump. And taking da like taking damage doesn't really matter. Uh, Fruitsies, thanks for, uh, stopping by, dude. I just realized, can I just drop straight onto it? I guess I can. Okay, that's probably better. Also, if you trigger the festival at Red Main after one... Wait, if you trigger the festival at Redmain after a minute 30, the castles will go to sleep. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, oh, the... Like the mausoleum? Steak skip? You mean the one next to the church? Oh, wait, there's a, like a stake skip down here? Is that really is fucking stake down here? Oh my god, I had no idea. 
That's almost for sure faster, dude. I had no idea this was down here. But where does it place you, I guess, is the question. Well, so much for that pathing, I guess. Unless this puts you in a bad spot. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I don't know, actually. Straight west from the grace? Like this way? I... I... Would rather not get sniped, but... I just have been going this way, which I, I think there's some other jump you can do through the rocks back there, but... Yeah, I didn't know that stake was down there. I, I, I'm i not sure if this is actually faster, though. And then you... I guess you want to jump off, like, somewhere around here? See how long it takes us to get into the cave. I have a feeling that this is probably pretty close to the same. Um. Not sure if this was the most direct path, but... Okay, so 128. Jump off from further south. How, uh, okay. That, that probably wouldn't change the timing that much, though, but... If they're close, then I guess you can just decide based on how many runes you have. Oh, dude, I'm... Oh, fuck's sakes. I was going the wrong way. I just forgot what I was doing. Yeah, the, gravest the gravestones are really annoying. So, that, like, this is... Like I said, if it's comparable, then you can just decide based on what you have. sakes, dude. <clears throat> maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. This is a little scuffed, but yeah, this is definitely faster. Yeah, this is, like, significantly faster. 120. And you don't die, so. Would there ever be a situation where it makes sense to use that, though? 
Like, probably not. <laughs> like, even if even if you were trying to get to that, the the church over here, like from this grace for whatever reason, and you would still just jump down the rocks. Like you wouldn't take the lift or anything. So. Or you do the other stake skip after picking up this one. Only eight seconds. Well, that is that is something, right? <laughs> like, if you're rushing the square, eight seconds is the difference between getting it and not. Depending on, yeah, obviously, people make mistakes sometimes. And so, sometimes that's not always true. But. Yeah, this, this is a good square to get. In the case, yeah, in the case where you have, let's say, a plus 16 on the board... Well, obviously, you have you would need to have this on the board. But yeah, if you have this on the board in combination with a plus 16, in combination with... Um, I don't know what else, actually, but... Like, this can be something you can do. There are also... There's also, like, a ton of threes down here. So you can save some money that way. Well, the thing with tunnels is that depending on its look, well, yeah, depending on on its location, tunnels can be good, yeah. But if tunnels are like a corner square, usually people are going for that immediately. Parkour down from the bike. You like there's a stay skip if, if that's the one you mean. Holy shit, that was insane. Yeah, that that is that is true as 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 well, but it depends. Depends on location, and it depends on like probably the location is the biggest factor. But like, let's say you have a situation where both people see something, right? They see Smithing Stone Bellbearing and plus sixteen. There's basically a fifty fifty chance that, um, I guess it's not. So yeah, I mean. There's maybe, a 50% chance that... I'll give you the best nut ever. They're, they're probably a square that takes a similar amount of time, right? I guess this one's... No, this one's faster, probably, by a little bit. But each player has a 50% chance, basically, of going for it. And so if those, you know, if those line up, which it would be, I guess, a 25% chance, you could beat somebody out to it and get both. Right? If, if like... I don't know. Unless that's not what you mean. Unless you mean, like, one person does plus 16, one person does smithing stone, but that doesn't really make any sense. Like, on a team. Uh, thanks, Mr. Nice. Thanks for the brand new Prime stuff, dude. Yeah, in the case where, you know, one player goes for one, one player goes for the other, you, you know, you each get one, and then that's fine. But, yeah, if you, if you beat someone out to it, then you have a huge advantage, because you get two squares, and you're, you know, you get upgrade, and they have, like, no compensation for that at all, so... Sniping is always the best way. Sniping is always the best. So, so that's why being able to do squares fast is important. Because sniping is good. I don't really know what else in, like, I don't, I don't. I guess there's that Vike thing, but. I don't know, I think a, a lot of weapons you just, like, roll catch R, like, just R1 with them, you know? I'll probably test it later, I guess. No, I don't. I don't hate React content. Not really. Like I, I don't know what that's a response to. But I, I don't know what you mean. My hand isn't better DPS. Well, I, I can't because I can't wield it.
anyways, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have much bingo stuff to test right now. It's also like not until the weekend. So if I do have stuff to test, I have plenty of time. Ash of War tier list. I haven't used every Ash of War though. Um, we could just like practice millennia, I guess. That's always a fun boss to fight. I have a save file on her with level one plus zero. An idea of me reacting to viewers DLC characters. Like, like you're saying react to their builds? Millennia Lightning Ram only. That sounds not fun. Uh, I watched... Well, I didn't watch the whole thing, Mad King, but I definitely watched a decent amount of it. Yeah, this was, this was from, like, a bingo match the other day that I happened to just come over here. Yeah, I I mean, I, I was thinking about doing Fist Only Millennia because somebody brought it up. They, they brought up that... Like, on the Fist Only video, it was, like... 10,000 likes and I'll do fist only or something that I'll, obviously I didn't put in. It was Hunter who put that in, but. But yeah, someone's, someone's like coming in with the receipts, dude. They're like, yep, it's hit 20K. Now you got to do it. I don't think it, it wouldn't be too much of a bother, to be honest, though. I think for these restrictions, like, I, I'm thinking about, I've been talking about it a bit lately, doing the um, master run, but with no status effects. And I'm pretty sure this is the setup I would use here. Obviously, I'd be using Lightning Slash, though, which is like god tier on this boss, right? But... Really, that was fast enough to cancel the front flip if it happened. She's a fun boss, though, man. Like, I, I don't think I, I, I wouldn't rank her an S tier boss still because I think there's still too many issues with her. And, like, Waterfowl is still a garbage attack. And, you know, like, there's, there's some things that are kind of overboard on her that I think they just did for the sake of making her, like, an insanely hard boss, which I, I don't... I mean, I don't necessarily mind, I guess, but... Like, the healing on hit thing, but but mostly it's Waterfowl being, like, a stupid attack and the, uh, like, Hyper Armor eating poise breaks all, all the time. Like, I think the, the poise break thing is probably more annoying to me because... You're supposed to be getting rewarded for being aggressive on the boss and getting a stagger, and you just lose it, and then it immediately resets, right? Basically. Like, I think poise comes back at, like, 11, or maybe it's between 11 and 13 poise per second once poise reaches below zero, which obviously when she hyper armors a poise break, that's what happens. It goes below zero, so. That was not a good roll. So, like, that's the thing I, I really get annoyed by on her, or I just don't like it. And I guess also she has that, like, phase. Please get this. She has the, um, the, like, phase transition bug still, which is, like, that also takes away from the boss, in my opinion, where she, like, doesn't go to phase two if she's in the repost animation or recovering from it, which is just garbage. So. Really have enough stamina for that. Hardest part about this fight here is just the, the stamina, dude.
At least with these restrictions, I would say it probably is. Is this the best axe? Um, in my opinion, for this this type of kill, I think it is probably. Dude, what the fuck was that? I think it's probably the best axe. It's well, it's either this one or the. What's the other one called? The uh, strike one. I, I somehow can't remember the name. Even though I just used it the other day. The the other one deals more raw damage. This one has better range and better crits. So I think the amount of extra damage that that one gives you... Yeah, the jawbone. The amount of extra damage that one gives you... Like, probably you could have a slightly faster fight. With that one. But this one gives you more repose damage, which I think mostly makes up for it. And then... This one also has way better range. That's kind of the main thing. This one's got better range, which I, I think on this fight is quite nice. So. Uh, basic battle axe is good too, but it, it's basically just this one, but worse. I think this one, I think this one still has more range than basic battle axe, if I'm not mistaken. How long this fight is? I actually have no idea. I already guess is probably probably like what half an hour. Not sure if I'm gonna do this whole thing right now, but I'll, I'll do this kill eventually. I'm sure. Just whenever I have some time. Unless I just do it now, I guess, but I'm not. That was bad. Not sure if I'm going to. Yeah, this one does have bigger Raposa. Like, I've tested it out just because I, like I said, eventually I think I'm going to do fast run, no status effects. So it is a consideration here. But obviously, the, like, doing that run will be significantly higher damage than this with, like, talismans and, uh, Lightning Strike being probably the main thing that improves it a lot. I don't think... Like, Lightning Strike, I, I didn't realize how insane it was on this boss. It was good. But... Oh. But with using it on an axe... So, first of all, the Stomp comes out insanely fast, right? The stomp comes out very quick, which means that you can regenerate a lot of stamina before punishing, which is really good. Because as you can see here, this like it's very stamina intensive, and I have to like back off on a lot of punishes because I need stamina. Like, you can't stam out on this fight really, or else you can get caught by waterfowl. You actually you can dodge waterfowl without sprinting, but it's Probably more comfortable if you can sprint. Uh, what was I saying, though? So I finally... I, I finally understand why she can do front flip out of that now. It's it's because I... Like, I think somebody told me at one point is because I was attacking too late. It's because I was attacking too early. Like, attacking too early on a lot of these will make it so that... Like, she's still in the hyper armor, and then she can immediately do the front flip. So, that was good to know. So, yeah, you actually have to, de like, delay the jump attack. Could have attacked there, probably. it was too late yeah no I, it, I i'm it's too early i'm fairly certain
See, right there, Jawbone, there's no chance that reaches. Like, same with on this attack, where she can do an immediate front flip out of it. Um, do I think Millennia Bare Fist Hitless would help? Oh, well, Bare Fist Hitless. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I guess. Except the thing is, fists aren't the best weapon on this fight, in, in my opinion. Like, I, I'm... I've done Millennia with this setup, not on a G plus 7. And I've also done with Axe, not on NG plus 7. And the, the Axe fight was just faster. Like, I, they just deal more damage, even though you get less hits off overall. Like, each punish you get is more damage. So, and, and not, not to mention the big repose you get with this. Now, I'm not maybe, like, an expert at the fight, so I could be wrong, but... Should have attacked her also. I could be wrong. positioning is highly questionable. See, so right there, she was starting up the front flip, but because I delayed my R2 slightly, like, and I, I didn't do it as fast as I have been in the past, um, like, it cancels it, right? Because the front flip doesn't have hyper armor on it, as, at least, I don't think so, or else she wouldn't have gotten canceled out of that, so, yeah, she's got to get the fuck away from there, dude. So... So yeah, that was the mistake I was making all this time, was I was attacking too early, thinking that... Um, that I had to attack early to not get the front flip on that. But I was wrong. It is pretty close, though. The jump bar 2 on the axe is like... It's a little close when she does the, the like right thing where she dashes to the right. Makes it a little close. Even that, even that was probably a bit early. So maybe maybe jump our ones are safer. Not sure. So there she was starting up the attack, but uh, like I guess on the flip side, it's kind of bad to attack later because then she can uh, like if she would have stunned on the hit, then she won't because she could go into hyper armor, right? Like that's that's. That's the big consideration with this boss a lot of the time is like you go for all these attacks, but she's got a good chance of just eating a poise break through hyper armor. But that's why you want to be super aggressive so that she doesn't have a lot of time to reset her poise if that does happen. Right there.
Oh, dude, that's crazy that I got that actually. That was insane. But yeah, I've gotten I've gotten like fairly decent at this fight actually, especially recently. Learned some new some new like tricks and stuff. That, yeah, see, so that was late enough. Like, if, if I attacked too early on that, she could have queued up the uh, the front flip, and then I'd get blasted. You always crouch. Uh, I don't crouch on this one. Or wait, yeah, no, I don't crouch on this one. If, But whenever she does the... Like, the, the right dash, I crouch, yeah. Crouching is good. Because it just gives you, it just gives you more, like, leeway on your positioning. The crouching actually is good, yeah. You know, it makes, it makes a big difference, actually, because a lot of time you get, like, flipped in the head, you don't. Waterfowl angle. And I had to do that just because I was I was out of stamina. So I had to not punish. On on the on the like master run no status effects, this fight will be significantly easier than this. Not even not even just because of the damage, but I'll probably have um Oh I don't I I guess I don't crouch that one. But I'll probably have, uh, the Amber Medallion, or whatever it's called, the... The one you get in Hallig Tree, like the Stamina one, I think that's going to be a huge play with the Green Turtle Talisman as well. Yeah, Viridian Amber Medallion, yeah, that's the one. Um, yeah, this phase, I don't really know as well, to be honest. Like, what you can do, and what I saw Raymond doing was, you would do an R2 on this, and then this, instead of going for an extra attack, you would outspace the kick, uh, and get another R2 off. But, like, I'm not sure if that's more of, like, a fist-specific thing to do, or if that's best with, like, other weapons, too. I just, I, I think on this, we don't, we just don't have the stamina to, like, actually capitalize on that, because... I can't do I can't do R2 in R2. Like I just don't have enough stamina. Like here I have to sit and wait because I don't have stamina to punish. Like here. And regen a bit, I guess. It's also, it's, it's interesting that you get, like, a bunch of headshots in this phase, or at least, that's what it sounds like. Does it do the kick consistently? Well, she doesn't do it every time, but she does it, like, most of the time, I feel like. So... I don't know. I don't know what's best in this phase. Like, I think my, my phase one is actually... I'm pretty happy with it at this point. With how I punish everything. Like, I'm not really... Sure what else I would add to it. Like I was saying earlier, though, the, the cool part about this boss is how many... Um, like there's so many different punishes and stuff that you can do. So, I don't know, like, if you go watch, if you go watch Raymond's kill, I, like, he probably does, like, he definitely does a lot of extra stuff. 
a lot of extra punishes that you can fit in. But also fists are like fists are different. It's like getting in some extra attacks on certain things. Not to mention the stamina considerations we have at level one. Do you like here? Right there, I can I if I had stamina, I could, I believe, do a fully charged R2. I believe. And I, I like I, I I could be mistaken, but I think when she does oh boy. Oh, good thing she didn't waterfowl or else I was probably dead. Whoops. What, so... I think when she does kick into, like, jump up into the flower move... And then she kicks again after she lands. I'm pretty sure she never follows it up with like the jump attack. I could be mistaken, but that would mean if I had stamina, which I never do on this, but if I did, then I should be able to go for another attack. Or like, I guess alternatively, you outspace it, right? You get like one less hit, but like right here, I don't think she can ever jump up after that. Though, so, yeah, I could be wrong, but I've, I, I don't think I've ever seen it. Imagine people watching this when the game first came out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be... Well, I mean, people were doing some pretty good millennia kills early, but... I mean, I think even now, it like, it's pretty insane the amount of punishing you can get off, right? On this fight. I think, I think what I'm doing there is okay, like, but basically, basically what I've been doing is when she does the kick, I just sit there and then just react if she jumps up or not, but, like, I guess luckily, luckily it doesn't really matter if you attack accidentally there, just like a stamina dump. I'm a little slow here. And then if I don't, lots of time to do R2, R1. Oh! Is that the situation I just said I don't think is possible? I'd have to go back and check. Okay, so maybe, yeah, maybe she can do that then, I guess. I, I don't know. 
So that, that is where the outspace would be good, though. Like, assuming the Axar 2 is actually fast enough to do that. Yeah, this is definitely a fun fight, dude. Oh, you don't think that was the case? Like, in that situation, or...? Yeah, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. Like, as, I, as I've learned the fight better, it's certainly... Like, I think I've always basically given her an A+, plus on, on my tier list, but... I don't know. I definitely like her a lot more now. That's for sure. I was just going to say, we haven't gotten a stun in a while, I guess. Somebody asked if this is harder than Cinder. Th this fight... Um, first of all, these are not the Master Order restrictions on this fight. So this is like quite a bit harder than that. I, I would say... Fighting this boss in like the most optimal way... Or like even close to that is probably harder than Cinder, yeah. I don't know though, it's hard to say, like I don't know. No, I like he's gotta she's gotta be harder, man. I wonder if I was a bit late on that attack, or maybe maybe you can't do that in phase two. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, I also have no idea how long this fight's been going on for. But yeah, it kind of depends how you fight Cinder a bit too, right? Because you can fight Cinder in ways that are more reaction based with like quick step, which is technically better than the way I did with, like, Black Knight Sword in my master run. And, like, you, you gotta be able to react quickly to his stuff if you're doing that, for sure. likely. Probably reset our poise because I did that actually. Really like where we're going right now. I'd rather stay in the water.
Oh, up. Oh. Ooh, that was really close, actually. Nearly messed up. There we go. Extraordinary. I, I don't know if I mentioned this was NG plus seven, by the way. It, it, like the only reason for that is because practicing practicing millennia on base NG cycle is like she just stuns too much, and so it's not as effective practice because you're in the repost animation for too long. I'm sorry. So uh, that's the only reason, basically. Maybe, maybe I'll give you the uh, best. Kodiak, thanks for the ever. Brandon Prime sub, dude. Oh my god! Uh, Skin Rocket as well, thanks for the uh, so <laughs> the five subs, dude. I appreciate that. That is so shit. That is such a garbage. Let me show you guys Lightning Slash oh on here. Oh my god. So. Island Axe. You see, uh, like so for the for the master run I would go with a lightning infusion um was that 40 minutes I did I I was expecting it would be about half an hour I like I don't know I just when did I start First try though, dude. Simple. We started at Why is YouTube kinda dumb? What is going on with this? Hey, well anyways, it was like minus it was it was sub thirty, wasn't it? I don't know if that's good. I have no idea for for this type of kill, to be honest. I usually just practice bosses. I don't actually like kill them, <laughs> you know. Thirty two. Yeah, maybe it's thirty two. I I don't know. I have no idea what a good time for this would be. But that seems reasonable, though. I would say. Like, for, so, for the, um, for the, uh, um, yeah, Master Run, no stats, like, it, it would be significantly faster. Our damage would be probably, like, triple this, I would assume. This is 27. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But I guess that's, that's pretty reasonable, then, if it was, like, 30 or 31 or something. We also did do no tal like we we didn't have anything right there. We had no talismans or anything like that. Your hitless melee was two minutes. Maybe looking at the Twitch is easier. I just I don't know why it's not like why YouTube's weird showing it. It should be easier to see on Twitch, I think. So, the fight ended at... Fight ended at... You know, you know what's really funny, guys, actually? I'll bring something up in a second as soon as I figure out how long this is. So, she dies at 40... 
40, 46. So... 40, 46, something like that. And we started the fight at 4, 15, 44. So it was, it was like, like just over 30 minutes, I guess, or... Just over, just over 30 minutes. Now, if I pull up my uh, YouTube channel really quick. Um, if I scroll down. Look at this one. This is a 35-minute kill with the same restrictions except on base NG. <laughs> so... Now, to be fair, though, this was, like, when the game came out, basically. So, I, I had no idea what was going on with this fight. I was also using the Serpent Hunter because that was, like, the no-hit weapon. I was just practicing the boss. And the Serpent Hunter is not a good weapon for this, but... Uh, also, level 1. This this one is also level 1. Like, this, is, this should be all the same except just base NG. That's the only difference. Yeah, 31 minutes. Yeah, that's not bad, dude. I do wonder, like, if... Okay, first of all, I guess I wanted to ride Lightning Slash, but I wonder... What the... F like, somebody said the fastest is 27 minutes. I wonder what that kill looks like, dude. And if the setup's... Like, what the setup would be on that. If it was balls or something. Because I... I I'm, I was pretty convinced that axe were, axes were better than balls on this fight. Like, I know for a fact on, on Morgoth, Axe is, is better. Because I have... I have a 10 minute and... Wait, 10 minute 36 second with the balls, and a 9 minute 30 second... Well, maybe that's just RNG, though, actually. I actually thought it was a bigger d difference than that. 1036 versus 937. So a minute faster with the Axe on Morgoth. Okay. Let me give myself infinite FP really quick. I'm sure I have a save that has the like actual setup of what that run will look like. But so what you can do. You can do this into an R1. Like that's a guaranteed. So on all these attacks, like if the distance is correct, you can do that. Like even here, if you're fast enough. And you can do an R2, which I think doesn't hit if she does the... You can even do it here, I think. I think, but I, I wouldn't do that. If I was actually doing this no-hit, I'd probably be a bit safer, but it would be... Like, on, on this one, you would do it. So you do this, this. And it does, like, quite a bit more damage than R2, I believe. Because it's actually insanely good on her, dude. And then you can do this, and then into this. I'm just not sure if you it's better to go for a tap R2 or an R1. Like, tap R2 is probably consistently higher damage, I guess. I don't know. Uh, did somebody link it? Is this using... Okay, so it is the jawbone. So maybe the jawbone is actually considerably better. Because that's what I was wondering about. Like 38 R1. I think my R1 was, what, 34? Also fighting this slightly different here. But what is the repose damage? Well, I, I can't remember what what my repose damage was, and it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe just maybe this is more optimized. It, like it must be. Ever. Like an R2 there is pretty good, actually. 
Yeah, there's a lot of extra R2s in here. But I, I like the way I fight her. Like, when is phase one done? Unless the jawbone actually is better than I thought. Me too, jump. I don't know. Not sure. I'm talking that slow double swipe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe just a, a charge R2 is better on that. Is that that's like a three minute faster kill than mine, dude. That's kind of a lot. And I, I, I don't know. I don't think just having a couple extra damage per hit would make that big of a difference. You can also do a tap R2 and an R1 there, which I wasn't doing before. But I think, what was the jump attack again? Like 70... 67. Oops. 60. Oh, I guess I closed it. Oops, I shouldn't have closed it. I just, I just want to compare the damage, because I, I... I didn't actually test it. Charger 2. I guess maybe... Char okay, 1, 2, 6, Charger 2. What is this one? One two six. Uh, I think they're the same, Blaze, if I'm not mistaken. Should be the same. I think. So, fu so s what? Seven damage? I, gu I guess, depending on the amount of hits we're doing... Like, I guess that does add up, huh? But then we get like a much bigger repost with this though. I, I, we should at least, right? I guess, yeah, I guess Jawbone's just better. I don't know, for no hit, I would use this one for sure though. There's no doubt about it. Like I'd rather, like, cause it, it's not about, like those micro optimizations don't really matter for no hit. It's more about just like being super consistent at the fight. So. But yeah, I'm not sure if an extra, like, se 7 damage a hit would would actually save, like, 3 minutes. I don't think so. Anyway, so like I was saying, I, I feel pretty good about Millennia at this point. Like, gotten decent at the fight. And, you could, and, and charge R2 on that one. Also, so there's like probably a lot more poise breaks too. six like it's kind of just hard to tell because most of the time when you're reposting her it's like quite a bit of damage um like leading into the repose so i don't i don't i don't know if i have a save for millennia with, with that like nightmare restriction i guess if i Load this save. This is my master run save, so this should be good enough to like actually get an idea of the setup. One one consideration is do I get the like I probably do get the lightning scorpion charm, right? Wait, this would be a Highland axe. Unless I do want to go Jawbone, like it is more damage, and it probably has like it's probably an even bigger gap on this. But the range, though, I, I don't know how I feel about the range.
Yeah, I probably would have this as well. Unless I had uh, Blue Dancer, but I probably wouldn't. Wait, farming, farming what would suck? Oh yeah, the jawbone, that's right, it is farmed. Okay, that was, you know what? That was the other reason. I, I, I kind of forgot about that. That was the other reason why it's not an option. It's because you got to farm it. You know what? That was the original reason why I started using the Highland, actually. That was the reason. I totally forgot. That's, that's funny that you reminded me of that. That, that was, like, that is the reason why you don't use um, Jawbone. But obviously, like, for individual boss kills, it doesn't really matter, right? What people use, because... So here... Into R1. Like, see, look at the look at the damage potential here. Just look at this. And you do another one. You probably actually would want the um, Ash of War Scarab on this. And here again. Oh, oh yeah, I guess she can do that. I Okay, actually that, I kind of forgot about that. Goddamn fucking like input read nonsense. Yeah, even just the R1s are like basically double, right? And if I wanted to conserve my FP, just go for R2s and then use Lightning Slash more sparingly just to rebuff. So I can still do the app R2, R1. Yeah, so obviously, like, this is, this is what the fight would look like right here. Which I think is pretty good for a no-hit run. Like, that's a pretty reasonable length of fight. I would like to do. And that stamina regen is so nice. Like, I can swing so much more. What's up, Geo? That's so fucking annoying. What do I do about that? Yeah, so she... Yeah, that, that is what I remember, that if she does that sidestep, you don't hit her. It's a bit of a shame, but... If you do an R1, it hits, though, so I'm not sure which, which one's better to do. I wonder how quick this fight would be on base NG, dude. this huge combo 1100 damage and then you also get a follow-up uh my controller does not have back buttons no
Obviously, this is no Black Flame Tornado, but... I, you know what? I could have gone for another R1 after that, I just realized. So I guess you can actually even chain more hits together, depending on if she flinches or not. You could do this. Well, it will into an R2, and then... Devil and Crit on Millennia is 340, Highland is 377. Okay, so yeah, I mean, definitely Jawbone's better, then, if that's the difference. Right, because the amount of, like, numbers that are adding up, like, the amount of hits you're doing in between reposts is definitely... But yeah, no, I, like, I, I knew that. Like, I knew Jawbone was better damage, but... For, like, obviously, you're not using Jawbone on no hit. So that, that that was the initial reason why I didn't use it for practicing, and I just totally forgot about that until somebody just mentioned it was farmed again. So. Yeah, maybe I should start doing a Charger 2 on that, though. I didn't, didn't know about that. Oops, that I could have died there. I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Oh, look at this combo. You can see this is like this is a much easier fight actually. Not even just because the damage is higher, but mostly because the stamina comes back quick. Yeah, like already phase one's done, so I'm not sure how much faster that was than the other one, but probably like more than two times faster. And I didn't even use a physic, so like Oh yeah, I didn't even use a physic, dude. I have, I have the charge tier in there. You just come in there, just do this. Obviously, the um, lightning shrouded and cracked here would be fucking insane here too, right? This is where probably, um, like, outspacing that kick would be even better, right? Because then I could, I could do it into another lightning slash, so maybe I should start doing that. I don't know. What's funny, too, is that you can also, you can use lightning slash um, on, like, her side hop. But all this stuff kind of requires, like, a little tight spacing, so I probably wouldn't do it. But... Be another R1 after that. See, like, right there, I could have used a lightning slash. I think that's perfectly safe. Okay, that was nice. Why are you not jumping up? Let's just drink here. A 
also didn't know the actual was fast enough on a charger too if she does the slow variation of that. Like when you do that strafe. Uh, awkward Denny, by the way. Thanks for the burning prime stuff. If I didn't say thanks for that already, dude. But anyways, yeah, this is how this is how the the fight will go on that run. If I eventually get around to doing that. See, look at that stamina regen. Like that's what makes it so good. I can just sit there, regenerate stamina, and. Especially with, like, the talismans on top. Oh, that's disastrous right there. Oh, yeah, that's definitely nice, dude. Like, that alone would probably speed up my phase too significantly. Good to know. I, I could have done a stomp there. I should have. But my muscle memory at this point is to do an R1. And you, like, you can even do a, a tap R2 into an R1, which is actually better also. It's the combo machine, dude. safe, I guess. I think it, it, like, that is safe, but I just gotta time it, I guess. Or be quicker. No. What the? Dude, how's that a backstab? Classic Elden Ring repose right there. You know what though? I won't complain too much because you can also use those to like to your advantage and go for like repose when you shouldn't like you're not even close to in front of the boss. Well, this has been a good stall of time to wait for Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Fight millennia. Jets. You can just wait for that stamina. Yeah, much... Like, a much, obviously, much faster fight, right? But. The mark of true lord. Uh, we didn't make it to ONS yet, Bree. Not yet. That's that's the next thing. We're, like, right there. Oh, dear Mikola. Oh, dearest Mikola. My brother. Um. Sorry. Am I way more comfortable than my PB Master Hall Great Rune? My man. Well, my PB's two. My my furthest I was was Millennia, but the Millennia fight is completely different on the Master Run, right? It's it's come like it's not even close to the same thing. Because the optimal strat is to parry and go for Black Flame Tornado. So it's I, I'm not sure how long this fight was here, but the the fight on Master Run is probably like what six seven minutes or something. It's it's not super long. It's just a bunch of parries, which is why I have Golden Parry. Well, I I guess this is. The save I loaded was the master run kill. It's probably a good idea to do it again so I don't re misremember all the stuff, but it's pretty pretty straightforward. Altogether 12 minutes. So so yeah, that's that's like still pretty quick actually somehow. I didn't use a starlight chart or my physic. Whoops.
So yeah, this fight is about half that amount of time. And I just... Parry? Post? That was actually interesting. Um, am I like too far from that? This is good that I'm doing this right now. Maybe I was going in too early. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm a, definitely a little rusty of this, dude. This is not so good. I'm going to be streaming for quite a while still. But yeah, obviously this fight goes even faster, which is understandable. I, I, I am kind of curious, though. I, I didn't really test it that much. I wonder... If I were to use, like, normal status effects, which one would be... Like, yeah, normal status effects and do, like, a normal kill on her? What would the best setup be for that? Because it still has to be no stat boosting, so I'm not... I really have no idea. Would you use the... Oops. Venomous Fang, or... I mean, you would you proc poison and, and try to get rot and stuff? <laughs> or, like, I have no idea. Because I can't use, like, Blood Flame Blade. I can use Blood Greases. Well, yeah, yeah, you can't use Ansper or Reduvia, so. Nice poke, dude. So much for that being a double hit. Uh, Autofill, how's it going, dude? I got waterfowl there, I was dead. <laughs> so. You know, even though we're doing like a much easier strat, like with this, with the normal master run, I still gotta be careful with my, my stamina and stuff. Are you talking about controllers? Maybe, maybe I'll give you the best nut ever. Ocean uh, Cracker, thanks for the bring of pumps up, dude. Starfist. Yeah, I guess so. I guess that like the thing. 
it's kind of unfortunate that like the master run setups for sass is it's kind of always the same like chilling mist on the dagger starfist for bleed What? So I was a little late. Yeah, she can be frostbitten in Aeonia. Uh, Golden Parry is better, uh, just a better parry than Retaliation, but it's at the cost of more F or like FP being consumed. The mark of a true lord. Anyways, um, yeah, Millennia's fun boss, dude. But no, no, no. Golden, Golden Perry doesn't have more frames as far as I'm aware. It's just, uh, like I said, it's just the, just the, the range that it's got, basically. Like, so you can parry from further, which is, is quite nice, actually. So, but yeah, it, it means that I need to be concerned about the FP cost that's required to parry with it. Um, I'm going to take a quick break, you guys. I'm going to go eat. And then, uh, we've got four hours of Dark Souls 1 coming up, dude. So, I will be back in a couple minutes, and uh, I'll probably be back before we start, so we'll figure out what to do, but no, dude, I, I, Dark Souls 1, it, it is nice to go back to the game sometimes, man, not gonna lie, like, especially when it's, like, no-hit routing stuff, because routing's the best part, man. Uh, but anyways, I'll be back in a few minutes, you guys.
Okay. Thanks for waiting, you guys. Let's start some DS1, dude. Let's do it. Um... Dark Souls 1, no hit. I guess teaching. I don't, I, I don't know what other word to use. Dark Souls Remastered. Good old Dark Souls, dude. Uh, somebody asked, this is tea. I, I don't drink coffee, really. <clears throat> okay. Uh, this is jasmine tea. Drinks maple syrup in that cup. Yeah, pure maple syrup, dude. I have classic Dark Souls 1 messing up my mouse, as always. I guess this was the last save I made. So what was the strat here again? Because I, I told her something, but I don't remember what it is. Like you're, just, you're just trying to get close enough to this guy so that you can snipe him, I guess. I, I've always just dodged past him, but... What's my favorite Souls game? Um... My favorite Dark Souls game is Dark Souls 2, I think. Elden Ring is my favorite of the, like, other games, I guess. Oh, is there still later in the title? Oh. I did not catch that. Yeah, we I, I we did go through this part already, so. Although it was very quick, because I kind of wanted to get to ONS, but we couldn't quite make it there. So normally, what I do is I line this up. And I line this one up. It's not a co-op run. She's she's gonna learn how to do all the Souls games no hit, not in a row. Although I guess she could do it in a row. It wouldn't change anything except just doing it in a row. But she's planning on doing all the Dark Souls games no hit. So Dark Souls one, Dark Souls two, and Dark Souls three. What's actually kind of funny too is that somebody else asked me to teach them Elden Ring no hit, which I'll probably do at some point this week. It was Edie. Edie got her... Like, if you guys remember... Um, well, I guess it was on her stream, but I was, like, guiding her through Dark Souls 1 sorcery route. And she was way too intimidated by it. And then she, she ended up not doing it, but she got her run, like, the other day. Okay, you know what? This is where we're at, so I should probably make a save. 
Who's shooting? Yeah, she did it, dude. Yeah. Yeah, she did. So now she wants to do Elden Ring, so. Yeah, Dark Souls 2 is my favorite Souls game. As I, as, I, as I always say when people ask me this stuff, it's like actual margins between the games at this point is not big. Um, But Dark Souls 2, I just, I like the mechanics in the game for doing no hit runs. And there's like a lot of routing cool stuff. So, but yeah, if I were to pick one to play for the rest of my life, it would easily be Elden Ring. Like, it wouldn't even be close. Can we jump this? Do I drink kombucha? I, I used to a bit, but I don't really at this point. How do I line this up again? Like, there's so many, there's so many lineups I have on this run that it's it's so hard to explain to somebody else. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, it's not, it's not hard to explain, but it's it's hard for someone else to grasp it, you know, because it's it's very. Kind of, it varies based on the individual, right? Like some people like to look at something else for her, the a lineup, or you know, it's not, it's, it's not so easy sometimes. So it's good. Yeah, we're, like, this is the fight where it gets tough, right? It's good. And maybe it didn't look tough, but this is by far, th I would say that this is the hardest no-hit fight in Dark Souls. No-hit. Now, that being said, it's not, like, crazy. Like, for a no-hit run, I mean, obviously. Like, for a normal no-hit run. Especially since it's not like gods can do it where you have sleep strats and you got all this stuff that you can do to them. And, you know, a fight like Soul of Cinder, he's tough to learn, but he's nice and fair, so there's not... Like, you just... You learn and then win on him, but on this fight, there's there's a lot that you gotta be aware of, and there's a lot of like positioning stuff. There's a lot to know on this fight. Because normally all no hit run fights are scripted. That couldn't well, that is not even close to true, to be honest. I think maybe you would think that if the only runs that you've watched are like Elden Ring runs, but the other Dark Souls games are not like that. Definitely not Dark Souls 2. It's it's Elden Ring for sure. But if you mean out of the Dark Souls games, like the trilogy, it, it, it's got to be this one, I guess, with this route. No, Dark Souls 3 doesn't have much scripting in it. Actually... It's not really how you do this, but... Like, and, and it's interesting, too, with... With the sorcery kill on this boss... Um... The positioning could be trickier, trickier than melee in some cases, which you wouldn't really expect. And I think it's it, it's mainly due to how the, the homing, homing soul mass works. Like, you're, you don't want the homing soul mass to fire prematurely or fire at the wrong person. So, 
Like, I have gotten killed in this fight because of that. And I was like, okay, I'm trying to not have my soul mass shoot at the wrong guy. And so I go to the spot where I shouldn't have gone, and then I end up dying. But secure will be a lot of scripting since it's... No, that's not what... Scripting means, like... It, a fight goes the same way every single time. That's what that means. Or, you know, if a specific phase goes the same way every time. So, just, like, fighting a boss and knowing the moves is not scripted, <laughs> I guess. As some people seem to think. But to be fair, Sekiro actually is surprisingly a quite scripted run <laughs> in a lot of cases. So... There's a lot of things you can do. I think a lot of people are surprised by that. It doesn't, it doesn't really seem like a game like that, right? Where you like stack 100 buffs and go in and one-shot the boss or something. My roll just got totally eaten there. Just classic Dark Souls 1. This, you know what? This this is a... I don't know what, if I would say it's a fun fight, but when you get an understanding of this fight, it certainly is more enjoyable. I guess that could be said about probably most fights. It's been a while since I've done this fight melee too. That was nearly a bad roll, actually. But that's bullshit, dude. I don't remember what run I learned this fight well for. Like, I think it was just... I don't know. There was one point in time, I think, where it just kind of, like, clicked what I was meant to do. And then, it, it, like, kind of once you see it, it, it... I think it, it it's pretty... I don't know. It's pretty, like, obvious, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but basically, what I when people ask me about this fight, I think of it, I think of it like what you're trying to do is you're trying to bait Smo's attack. Like when you're trying to break it down, so you bait Smo to do something. Usually, it's an attack. A sidestep also works too, I guess. So like here, bait and attack. 
And then at that point, you're trying to open up Ornstein for an attack. And then if things line up properly, so like here, they didn't get a good attack. If things line up, then that is when I can punish. Like here, beta charge. So, so basically you bait Smo, and then you bait Ornstein, and then if things line up, then you can attack. And so like the pillar can help with that because you kind of fuck off. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, the pillars can help with that because then you like maintain the correct spacing. But that's how I think about it. If people are doing Dark Souls 1, no hit. That's how I do it. And then obviously, Smo is the easy part. We don't get steamrolled like that. It's basically like Ornstein, and then Smo, and then if the attacks line up, then you can punish, basically. And this is funny because this is like the, as far as no hits concerned, this is basically like the only boss in the run. Not not because the other fights are scripted or something, but just because they don't matter compared to this boss. Is DS1 or DS3 easier to no hit? Uh, definitely DS1 is easier. I would, in, in my opinion. Because apart from Ornstein and Smo, there's really nothing else in Dark Souls 1 that's too tricky if you use good route. Like even, even melee routes, even if you're going Crystal Halberd, it's still like... It's still very straightforward. Yeah, I guess I, there is there is Sif. That is true. And, and there is Four Kings as well, I guess. But this is a little borderline to go for. With Four Kings, it, it kind of... Like, the more damage you have, the easier it is, right? Because that means the projectile doesn't... Like, it basically mitigates the projectile RNG the more damage you have. And and that's why sorcery... Like, that's one of the primary reasons I think sorcery is so good. Is because you have such an absurd amount of damage that... You completely mitigate the... Um, that was a horrible roll. Wow. You completely mitigate the RNG of the projectile. Like, it just doesn't matter if you get it. Whereas if you're using Crystal Halberd plus Zero Route, especially... If you get projectile, then you're all of a sudden you're, like, super tight on timing. So... Well, Sif is a little tricky because of the stomps and the positioning. Um, that's about it. I'm certainly a little rusty at this, but... That was, that was a very bad roll <laughs> right there. Well, do you ever see with Forking's people boning out? Well, yeah, definitely boning out is like the... The easiest way to do it. Um, you definitely don't have to do that, though. Like, you can engage the king when the projectile's out, but it obviously is much harder. Yeah, so other than those, like, three bosses, really. And if you just homeward bone out of four kings, then they are much easier. It's just... And, and yeah, this is also why, like, this method of fighting this boss is also why the pillars don't like the pillars don't actually matter like, you don't you don't need to fight next to the pillars which is what most people do and it's nice for the scoop because you can get them stuck and then here you got to be careful we bait I cannot believe I was in range of that. Bastard. Well, there's a nice to make bad smoke attack safer. 
it just makes the spacing easier, but it's a good idea to not like have to rely on the pillars. Like I think sometimes I've I've seen people just like go behind a pillar and then not even worry about what Smo's doing anymore. As if he's like just not existent anymore, and then you just fight Ornstein, but like you I it, when you're behind a pillar, I, I think you, you still want to be doing the that that order. You still want to bait a Smo attack and then bait an Ornstein attack and then punish. You still want to do that. But yeah, the pillar just makes it so that you have less spacing concerns. Because if he does charge, you don't have to like run away from it. You can just block it with the pillar. I'm really wondering how she's going to pick up this fight here, dude. And and yeah, I think like like I was saying earlier, this fight with sorcery is honestly not It's the exact same strat with sorcery as with melee because if you just if you just like spam sorcery all the time, he just dodges constantly and then you never hit him. Yeah, there's also um <clears throat> one thing I look out for too when like when people ask me like help on the boss here is when you are in a good position behind a pillar, Smo or like just it, this is just in general with Smo. Like, see, he'll do this little foot stomp. That's him queuing up an attack, and then he'll do an attack. So you you get even more time when he does that sort of thing, right? Like, he queues up the attack, and then he attacks. Like, right here. So now I get so much time to just, you know, deal with Ornstein's attacks. Are we gonna get killed by the fucking guy outside, dude? Yeah, so that's... Those are the things that you need to know on this fight, I would say. All right, sounds like she's ready to go. Oh, that's so loud. Oh my God. How's that so loud? Hello. I wait. Why can't I hear you? Oh, hey, Gino. I, oh, hello. What's, <laughs> what, what's going on? Ah, you're okay. I see. I see what's going on. You ready? I didn't come prepared. I should have. I should have brought my stuff. Yeah, yeah, the stuff, right? Yeah, good my stuff. As they say, the good shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What is your um stuff of choice? Um, I'm more of a, I'm more of like an Advil kind of guy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I was more so referring to like what shape would your, um, bong be, but. My bong? bong. Oh, my bong. Uh, bong. Uh, uh. That's how you know Gino doesn't ever do any drugs. That is correct. I don't. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only drug he need is Soul's drug. Are you ready? Are are you ready is the real question. <laughs> because we're getting into the infamous boss. I am okay, so I actually practiced and pretty proud. I got it to Quaylag okay. and beat Quaylag. So Okay, that's yeah. good. That's a good start. I mean that mm -hmm. most of the stuff that we did was before that point, so. True, true. So that's why I'm like some good indication. Sense Fortress, don't know yet, but Okay, yeah, yeah. So far. That's okay. Sense Fortress is easy. Mm. And I'm, I'm not even I'm not even sar being sarcastic. Like, it's not. Or it is easy. Sorry. It's not hard. Mm. It is easy. Maybe it's not sarcasm, but it could be troll. Nope. Well, let me, nope. let me switch the screen. Also, I got my everything set up. Hold on. Let me couple check. Okay. Yep. 
Yep, should all be good. In this hood. How do I make the screen bigger? You see... Uh, windowed? Why? What? What's going on? Okay, I'm I ready. I have no idea. Oh! Oh, snap, I also forget. Gotta share. Sharing my screen. Yeah, I kind of forgot I have the, the, this big elaborate setup for this. <clears throat> um. It's super. Oh no! Wait, did my screen just? Oh no, it's good. I don't remember how I did this last time. Somehow. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I might have leaked. <laughs> Wait, you might have leaked what? <laughs> I might have leaked everything. Hold on. Oh, just kidding. Just kidding. No, no leaks. All good. Um, I don't know why this goes into windowed. Full screen, please. And then shut down. Oh, here we go. Okay, nice. I, I'm good. <clears throat> I'm good, too. Everything good? On your end. Okay, perfect. I think so. Well, no moment. Well, that's not good. What's not good? No, nothing. It is fine. It's fine. Uh, Wait, why don't... Oh. 24 hertz? I'm running at 24 hertz. Like your <gasps> stream on Discord? Or what? Oh, yeah. on For um Dark Souls. Don't know why that was a thing. <laughs> Are you been on that the whole time? <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little concerned. I don't think so. Oh, it is I my stream. Not. What? Oh, my God. What happened in your go. stream? No, 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 no. I just had a... No, it's fine. I had a oh, moment. Okay, okay. <laughs> I had a moment. Okay. Almost. All right, are you prepared for Ornstein <gasps> and Smo? Are you prepared to see just how good I am at that boss? Have, were you, you were pre-practicing the boss? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Well, hopefully you didn't get any like bad habits or something. <laughs> nah, nah. Totally not. How could I? Well, maybe by, I don't know, just like not... Doing the right strategy or something? I don't know. No, no, no. See, I didn't look up any strategies. I just was in my yeah. brain. I I remember that dragon guy and the and the chunkers guy. And I mm. I have you ever watched the Queen's Gambit or something? No. Oh, it's like I haven't watched anything. Chess. Oh. Like I, I thought you'd know by now. The only thing I've seen you is know. Avatar and One Punch Man. Oh yeah. Yeah. Wait. So you are an anime lover. You're a weeaboo. No. You're half weeaboo. If like you watch two things and the two things you one of the two is an animu. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm so what so you do? Lost. Also, <laughs> your uh, Discord stream is kind of lagging, or maybe uh -oh. it's my fault. No, 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 no. no, no, no it's, it's okay. Just we'll see if it keeps lagging. But here's what you do. Okay. Okay. Um. We so we come simply... in. Mm -hmm. I guess it's kind of tearing a bit. Is your screen, is your um, like stream screen tearing at all? No. Okay, that's it's fine then. So what you do? Okay. Is you turn around this guy by shooting an arrow somewhere behind him. Like it doesn't really. Uh. Okay. Like so, you come here, shoot behind him, okay. turn around. Oops. Oh, also, you need to make sure you don't have the slumbering ring on, obviously. Right. Look, do you see that pristine Dark Souls one? Look at this. What is that? It's pristine. Oh my god. But no, so you usually cry. I just shoot like back here. Okay. Oh my goodness. Somewhere mm. back here, okay? And then he turns. Okay. Right? Once he turns, then we go up the stairs. And that's okay. it. And we go all the Easy. way up until we get to the chest, the mimics up here. Got it. Okay. Easy. With a. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me check that my slumbering is off. Check this one shot. Yeah. Uh, and then you go up the stairs if you turn. Wait, but he didn't turn around. I can't. Well, it's too far away from him then. What the flip? Oh my god. Okay. Okay, now he turned around. Okay, so go up the stairs. Okay. This is where you need the you need your Lloyd's talismans again. Mm-hmm. Because. These mimics drop coins, which sell for a lot. And we need a lot of money on this. Uh -huh. And so uh -huh. you throw the Lloyd Salzman. 
and then pick up gold coin. And then you do it for both the chests up here. Both of, both okay. these are mimics, so. Easy shot. And I guess just be careful because there is an archer on this side, so don't like go down this hallway or something like that. Okay. As long as I stick next to the stairs, it's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should be fine. Oh, yeah. Okay. I got both. Two okay, chests. so you get both, and then you go back down the stairs. Mm-hmm. But not all the way. Like, so, I'll, uh, <clears throat> so I'll go a bit further. The skip. Okay, you know the jump. Oh, watch this. Woo! Okay, nice. Good. Did you watch my VOD and then... I think this jump... No, chat told me when I played Dark Gangster. Uh, oh, okay. I see, I see. Know. So this is probably where you want to save file, by the way. Because you mm -hmm. need... So there's a thing in Souls games. I don't know if I've explained it to you in Elden Ring before, but... <clears throat> For some bosses, if you make a save or quit out right in front of their boss, it'll change their behavior. Okay. And so oh, in this that's, case... That's dumb. Yeah. In, in this case, we... Or it'll, basically, it'll just change their opening stuff. But in this case, yeah, we want to be far away from the boss fog, so... Okay. So save file here. And, uh, and then there's this enemy up here, so... Oh, boy. What I do... You don't <gasps> have to kill him. This. The reason why I, I did kill him in the God Run 3 is because he can attack you through the fog gate. Like, during the boss, which is just kind of annoying. Okay. So, what I do is go into this corner. Mm -hmm. And then I aim... <sighs> okay, so the amount of damage we have right now... Uh-huh. If you hit him in the torso, it won't kill him. Okay. But just like Iron Golem, they take more damage in the legs. So, mm -hmm. you have to shoot him in the back of the leg. Oh my god. And so the way I do it is I go into the corner and I'm using okay. mouse keyboard. Mm -hmm. I line up the top of my head with there's you see this hole? Yes, on his <laughs> Yep. Yep. So you line up with that. Okay. While also lining up the top of your head with the edge of the railing, and then I think it should hit him. I, I've definitely missed this numerous times. Let's see he dies in one shot. Wow. But you have to hit him in the back of the leg to one shot him. Oh <laughs> so my God. So you can go try that. Okay, I'll give it a shot. And then. But you don't need to do this though. You could just run past. Great solero, right? Or heavy. A uh, great heavy solero, yeah. Got it. I want to give it a shot. Do do do. Okay, so you want to run up to hither. <laughs> yeah. I see. You're the gonna hole? get really good at these precise lineups with this. Oh, I. Oh yeah. So line you, up the head here. Use it. You're using mouse keyboard, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, just remember you have to like hit W once you're lined up so that it actually goes where you're wanting it to. Okay, and then I think this looks good. Um, let me get it bigger here. Or was it um, the was it the first hole or was it the second hole? It's I don't know. It's like the the long one. That lineup <laughs> did look good though. It's the long one? Well, I, I think so. Well, he's done in my game now, but Okay. It's like the middle one. Like in oh, the middle, the middle of this cave. Got it, got it, got it. And then you, you line up to maybe there. aim a little. Yep, uh, I, I think that looks decent. Oh. Okay. Okay. Wait, and then and then right where it's like this. Oh nice. my god! I'm a god. Surely you're you're gonna remember that. Surely I'm a yes. It's in my blood now. Okay, so, oh boy, <laughs> so for the boss. Okay. Um, so you fought them? Like you were trying them out with this or? In my brain, yeah. I went in, pew pew, wham wham, Alakazam, they're dead. That does not sound realistic. Okay. But. <laughs> but That's what what you... was in my dreams, but it could happen. So you run yeah. down. So we go down. And so for the fight, it's like, this is a very complicated fight. Okay. Sort of. Okay. Um, and the way it works with magic is basically the same as it works with melee weapons. Okay. And, um, how do I, okay, so the first thing is you go mm -hmm. into the fog gate on the left side. Okay. Yeah, that's the first thing. Fog gate on left, got it. The fog gate left. Mm hmm And then you also go behind this pillar. So he has basically two uh, possible openings. That is like the glitch charge one where you do just what I did right there, basically, which is, you know, go to the left of the pillar and then, um, 
and then go to the right so that you strafe the attack. Like, you, you okay. want to run in that pattern so that he doesn't do the glitch charge and, like... Do you know about the charge? Yeah. I always get hit by it. But you know how, like, insanely buggy it is? Yes. And that, how does he just TCL across, like, the floors? Stupid. No, he, he, he can get, like, caught on things, and then he also takes a really weird path a lot of the time. But, okay, uh -huh. so basically, that's the opening. You want to you wanna do that opening every time? Okay. But then once you're in the fight, so the way I think about this boss, first of mm -hmm. all, you can't just shoot solar arrows at him because you'll just dodge, like, a lot of the time. Okay. As he doesn't dodge right there. Whoops. Yeah, that's what I was like, huh. He, he will dodge it. So you, you use homing oh. soul mass. Like, this is why we got soul mass. So you cast it. Uh -huh. He dodges usually, and then you're waiting for the opening so that you can... Hopefully I made a save there. I hope so. You're waiting for the opening that you can look at him and then fire the soul mass and then he dies. Or, well, he doesn't die in one hit, but... How do you fire a soul mass? Well, it, it fires based on your line of sight. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, you're trying to get openings for that. And and the way, the way I was just explaining it to my chat earlier, but the way that you want to think about this fight mm. is, it's the same with melee too. You, you want to bait out a, an attack from Smo. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <gasps> yeah, see, this is a good uh, demonstration. Wow, of... what the heck is that? Okay, I see, I see. So, bait an attack from Smo, and then you bait okay. an attack from Ornstein, and then huh? if you get an opening, which we, I do in this case, then I can cast Homing Soul Mass. So now I have Soul Mass. And now I I'm waiting see. until I can get them to fire at him. Okay. And then you just rinse and repeat that, basically. Ah. But you just want to make sure, so here it's safe because they're both attacking. Right, so that's an opening, and then you just... And then... Oh, what the... Yeah, so, like, you just... You want to try to... That's an opening, okay. Oh. Okay, so that, that's how phase one goes. We have a lot of damage, but it's it's more okay. about... Figuring out the openings properly, so that you can actu actually... Um, pass safely. Right. And then in th this phase is much simpler. I, I would recommend just getting him stuck on a pillar and then framing at his body. Okay. Stuck on pillar, free aim with great solero at body. Got it. He's like but the it, god of noble. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that fight was probably a callback to it or something, but... But yeah, this, this is by far like the fight that'll take the longest to figure out how to do. Okay. Here we go. And, and and there are like a lot of subtleties also with baiting out Smo's attack, but <clears throat> Ooh, shiny. Don't I guess Smo's attack in phase one, I mean. Okay. It's all about I'll phase one. Phase two shot. is really easy. We'll just give it a shot. Okay, good. Perfect opening. Wait, where'd they go? Oh god! Okay, so that was maybe... Like, you'd, you'd rather... You'd ideally not put yourself in a corner. Like, this is gonna take a while. Like, there's no... There's no secret to this fight, really. Okay. So, don't, you know... Don't like... Oh, I'm so stupid. What is that? I, I forgot to make your screen smaller because I've been, like, um... Okay, yeah, I've done you. that at least five times so far. Yeah, so my chat didn't see anything. Well, all you need to know is that she got blasted. Uh, well... Wait, hold on, hold on. No, 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 chat. I did pretty good opening. The boss no-hitter, basically. No, well, yes, but I get the opening. Yeah, the opening was was perfect, yeah, actually. Yes, yes. Maybe, maybe... I'll give so you do I have to kill him every ever. time? I, I would just <laughs> run past him at this point. Okay. And just dodge well just... his attack, which oh. you know, okay. surely. Yeah, or, yeah, like You can yeah. also kill him and then make a save file if you wanted. Like, oh, so back that at this won't other mess spot. up the opening at all? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because you want to get used to this opening because, yeah. Okay. It's, it, it is important. Or else you'll, get, you'll get what I got on that, which is like the insane glitch. Hey, oh! I, You know, maybe your save file is too close, actually. I'm not sure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. 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 Okay, so that's a supercharge. Yep. <laughs> the big scoop. <laughs> It might it might be a good idea. Manure. What? Do you have um You don't have Dark Souls remastered gadget, I assume, right? <laughs> no. It's a, it's a practice tool. I see, I see. Let me send you a link to it cuz you're what? like 
Out of all the fights in the run, this is the one that you would want to do that practice for. Oh, gotcha. Oh, someone in my chat said that you are going 2-0 in the first two days of Bingo Brawlers. This team is tied for first. Oh my god, congratulations! Who told you, you that? But thanks, I guess. <laughs> uh, here's Gadget. I just sent it to you. Thank you. So that is... Oh, oh, it's a virus. All right, thanks, Gino. Yep, I sent you a virus. Yep. Mm hmm And now it's my screen's just gonna be filled with your favorite My Little Ponies. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. Well, with feet, feet, feet. Elden Ring feet. Right. So you said I could kill him and then I can Yeah, you can kill him and then um, make a save. <clears throat> make a save like if you run back to the staircase. Oh, run I back. Think. Okay, okay. I could try making a new save, and if it doesn't work, then... Oh god, oh god. Are you doing this Boy. on controller right now? Nope. Okay. It just... The, the movement kind of looked like controller somehow, but... Oh, wait, oops. So go back down. Yeah, go back, and then make a new save, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, like, probably here is good. Yep. All right. Why does it look, seem like on your screen, your FOV is a lot wider, so you could see the two guys, and then for me, it's, like, small. <laughs> Probably skill issue. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Okay, okay. I thought it was, like, I said no, so no. we'll be wrong. Yeah, I'm very jittery with the mouse, which is why, like, it might look like not mouse and keyboard. Oh, you can you can lower the mouse sensitivity too if you want. Okay, this is the other possible opening. Like sometimes he just walks towards you. So. Oh, okay. Well. So in this case, you don't have to worry about like going behind the pillar and stuff. Yeah. So okay. so basically, yeah. Bait smoke attack. Mm-hmm. Bait orange attack. Do something. Wait. And then, and then you can cast when you safely really? outspace them. But what about the other guy? Well, <laughs> yeah, and you you really do not want to get this far because that's when he can do the charge again. Oh. So like ideally. Okay, this was good. Okay. Nice. Okay. Yeah, so right th Yep, okay, this is good. Oh, come on. Okay. Hello! He has a slow lightning. Oh, yep, so here it is. <laughs> okay, that was a jump scare. He came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, you definitely uh, <clears throat> do not want to be getting that attack. If possible. Yeah. Sometimes sometimes you can't really avoid it and you get destroyed, but you just gotta, mm. like, once he does it, you just gotta really try to get lucky, basically, and just roll whenever you think. Unless, so you know, I... sometimes he does it straight towards you, though, and then it's it's fine, but. Uh -huh. But oh, most god. of the time he doesn't. So. Oh god. This, I'm getting, like,. Jump scares from, yep. from, was it Orn Ornstein? Yep. Oh, God. Oh, okay, here we go. Going back again. But yeah, I, I like to keep them both, like, at, I think, no, that, no, I don't think you did anything wrong. I think just maybe your save files mess, maybe messed up, but it, it's fine. You know what to do. Okay. Yep, yep. Um, Yep, that's not good. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> but I like to keep them kind of the same distance away from me. Uh -oh. Like, each of them the same uh -oh. distance away. I see, I see. Uh-oh, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up, I messed up. Oh, oh. <laughs> and yeah, you just got to learn the moveset also. Wait, shoot, I aim for the wrong guy! Yeah, that's, that's the tricky part of using this. Oh, boy, yep. <laughs> Are you like an Ornstein so far? <laughs> oh, so what? there's no. Mm. Oh my what? god, there's so no other way. From like from what I don't know from your community or whatever from yeah. people who have told you about this boss fight. Like, what would you say is their overall opinion on it? Um, that they are the hardest boss. Mm. But I don't know when I fought them in game. I had a friend though. Oh, maybe that's why. So like. I didn't think they were that bad until this. Mm. And I'm just like, oh no, this is going to be it. This is going to be GG's. I'm never going <laughs> to clear it. 
No, it's just like a lot of people really like this boss, or they think I don't know. I this... think I, I hate gargoyles more. Really? Okay. Yeah. So, or like from Dark Souls Two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That, I just hate that the fair, most actually. right now. That's fair. This boss is like. This boss is hot no trash. I mean, I hate him. I hate him for. Oh, mm. uh, uh, okay. That's a grab. Yeah, so Smo has like two versions of the scoop. Is the short version uh -oh. and then the long version. So you just gotta oh, be. <laughs> yep, that's the short one. <sighs> I hate this boss. <laughs> and there's okay. there's really nothing like. There's not any <sighs> shortcut to learning this. You just have to. Oh, get good. You just have to learn it and practice it, and then do it enough times where mm -hmm. you've kind of figured it out. You know. Okay, okay, and I can get the feel for it. I guess so. Okay. Oh boy. It's gonna be tricky because I have to kill him once. Uh oh. I just have to still kill him once so we can get through. That's okay. Oh god. One. Whoa! Wait! Is he still swinging? Okay. <laughs> uh oh. No, he doesn't get. Wait, he doesn't attack right away. What? Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know? Is there no other way to just cheese this guy? Well, they're actually. There's a oh. strat that people do on melee routes where they just grind RNG on an opening, but I would highly not recommend that. <laughs> I see. Honest. Okay, okay. Never mind. Also, because that's melee, right? So you'd have to switch again. So it's like, well, that wouldn't work. The weapon that's used is actually like already just good, right when you get it. Uh -huh. So like you could, I guess. But I, I don't think I don't think it's a good. It's not a good strat, to be honest. Okay. Okay. Oh. Would it be too dangerous? Like, should I always wait for them to get a, an attack out? Well, it kind of depends, right? It's like I said, you just got to get a feel for when uh -oh. it's fine to go for stuff. <laughs> and, and potentially doing melee fights could help you figure this out, too. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy, oh boy, I am a bit, I'm a bit worried because this is just. I did say this is probably the hardest Souls no hit boss. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because this one is you can't even really learn because there's two of them, so it's just gonna be like. Oops. Yeah, lucky. you got I mean, You you have to. Experience is the only way on this fight, really. Mm, okay. 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 No cheat in here. No. No cheese sweets. No, there's no bubble one shot strap. Okay, yeah, he just. He yeah, just... that would normally happen. Like, probably. Unless I you had to reset the fight or something. I see. That was. That was mean! That was so mean. And then he just saw my dead body on the floor. Yeah, you just have to try to, like, think in your mind, though. Like, keep them kind of the same distance as much as you can. So you want to be the same distance from Smo as you are from Ornstein. Okay. And then you want to try to bait an, uh, an orange attack by like running kind of close to him. Like again, you just, you have to get a feel for it all. Okay. Okay. Bait and then you do that. And there's, there's a lot of attacks that you can strafe on orange by just like running around him. Oh. Which you can also use. Okay. So. so... Oh boy. Here's the charge. It's coming. Just gotta roll and hope you don't get hit by it, basically. Oh god. It's a big charge. Yeah, okay. the pillars can also be quite useful to get Smo stuck on. Okay, that was Ooh. not... <laughs> that, was, that was a little risky. Shit. That Shit. was... I was... I had him down, though. You I wanna watch another down. fight? 
Possibly. Yes. Although uh, I, I'm, I am quite rusty at this fight, but I'll show you another fight. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll do no red tear stone. Oh, well, why? Well, just oh, so, it's, it so you can see more. Yeah. Oh, man. Just so you can get like the, the pattern of what you're trying to do here. Okay. Oh, oh my god. So, Smo attack. Right. Orange team attack. If, if he had done, like, basically any other attack, I could have gone for it. So, both attack. I see. Cast. Mm -hmm. Again, both attack. Okay. Like, the hard part here, and this is, like, unique to sorcery, is that you're trying to make it so that your soul mask goes after the right guy. Oh, okay. Okay, but this okay. is actually safe. A backstab would be safe, but now I have to watch out for the big scoop, which is this one. Use the pillar. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's really not the end of the world. Like, if you hit Smo a few times, it doesn't really matter too much. But see, like, I'm keeping them the same distance. Made out Smo attack. Okay. Oh. Well, now they're just attacking, like, at different times. Yeah, Smo's being kind of weird right now. <laughs> He's just simply walking. This would be safe too. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so you're fairly close to both of them. Yeah, on my screen, they look huge. <laughs> so I can't see, but on your screen, they're like decent size. Gotta watch over the smoke follow up on this one, by the way. It's kind of. Okay. And there it is. What? All right. All right, I got this. I got this. But yeah, you get, like you, there's you have to learn the move set of both of them. Mm -mm. And and so like this will take this will take some time. Okay. There's no okay. question, but there, the, I don't know. Like, there's really only one other boss in this run, I would say, where... Or maybe two. Where you gotta know them, like, quite well. What's the other one? Sif and Four Kings. Oh, no. But Four Kings is pretty simple, but Sif is a little dangerous. If you get... If you don't get, like, the insta-kill. If you notice, if you notice that you get like an attack straight up, like just, you only need to go behind the pillar when you're getting that charge right away, well, like, I, like the glitch one. So I see, I see. Okay. Ah. Why can't you just like pull the trigger again for soul mass and be like, no, but then it's like, no, I'm going to have in my own mind about it. <sighs> yep. I mean, you could, you could technically use great soul arrow as well. Mm. I mean, you could use great heavy soul arrow. It just you would have to use it at points where he can't dodge. Unless you're going to, like, run out of them. Uh, like, I think Soul Mass is the best. Unless it does a ton of damage. Okay. It's just... You just got to get used to it. Yeah, and I just got to get good. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And, and yeah, people are saying to see both of them on the screen. Like, you actually kind of don't have to. But how do you know what the other guy's doing? Yeah, be, well, so you can... So for Smo... Mm -hmm. um, you can go in and... I, I, uh, how do I explain this? It's very hard to explain without showing you. But you can bait an attack from Smo, mm -hmm. and not really have to worry about what he's doing. Okay, let me try to okay. explain what I mean here. Okay. So he, so sometimes you can bait a Smo attacks where he does a little foot shuffle first, and that okay. he'll queue up an attack after that, or, or he'll queue up an attack during it, and then he'll attack after. So that's a case where. Um, you, you don't really have to see what he's doing because you already know. Like, mm -hmm. in this case here. So I see he started something up. Now, like, I don't oh. really need to look at him because I know that he's going to be, like, occupied for a, an amount of time. I see. Oops. Yeah, maybe shouldn't get blasted. I see. Like, here. So see that little foot shuffle he just did? Yeah. 
Where he does like his, he's like lifting his front foot and then he's like, it's about to go. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So like there. Isn't okay. time. And at that point you can focus on. Ornstein. Yeah, he did it right there. Ah. And you know, you don't get poked, but you, like you get the idea, I think. Yes, yes. So, so you want to go within range of him so that you bait on attack. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then at that point, then you worry about what Ornstein does. Mm -hmm. And then at that point, if if everything lines up, you can cast or attack or whatever. Like just depending okay. on what you're using. Okay. Oh boy. I like it insta I hear an arrow. Yeah, there's an archer, but he hits the wall, so. Oh, okay. Oh boy. What? <laughs> It, it might be a good idea for you to just go full health here or, or okay. use gadget to make yourself invincible or something. Got it. Got it. Just okay. so that you can like not have to waste time running back yeah. to the boss. Yeah, this is so stupid. Or just, yeah, or just heal. Heal's fine too if you want to yeah, set up I'll gadget heal. later. I'll, I'll try with the heal and if it ain't working, I'm doing the gadget. Well, the problem is with heal, you're going to have a lot less damage, but that's what you want for practicing it though. Right, right. So that you can get the feel of it. Yeah, this is the boss that prevents everyone from getting their first Dark Souls run. Like, no! the rest of the game is pretty straightforward. Okay. But yeah, this is the boss where like people get stuck on. And and the oh, one negative no. of the sorcery route is that yes. you get to this boss at about like 40 minutes. No. Or 45. Uh-huh. Whereas melee routes usually is like 20 or 25. So, oh, so what that slower. means is your resets. When you reset on the boss, it takes a bit more time. But... It's slow. It's fine. You'll be consistent, surely, by the time you go for Shit. this. Okay, that was not safe. Oh, really? No, because Ornstein wasn't doing anything, right? He was just, nope. like, walking towards you. He could have done a jump attack. True, true. Okay, okay. Why isn't he doing anything? Okay, oh, so th go. this is safe here. Because, yeah, you get a follow-up on, right. on Ornstein. It's good. Nice. Okay. I would go. Uh, Come on. Yeah, you need to go like a little bit closer. To oh. Okay, that was. That okay, wouldn't have been safe, safe, anyways, because Ornstein was like done his attack already. I see. Nice. That was actually good. Thank you. Okay, that was. <laughs> that was not, safe? not safe? No. Oh. Oh boy. That's a really oh bad boy. combo. <laughs> <sighs> Let's go. That that was okay. You, you did. You did like two good casts there. Thank you. And if you got good RNG, two casts is like all you need, right? With red tear stone. Right. That makes sense. That makes sense. Oh boy. So for the gadget thing, that would make it so I don't die, right? Well, it's just it's just like a practice tool, so you can. Yeah. You can okay. do that. Okay. Okay. I'll try. I think I think time. just beating them without red tear stone is a good idea. Okay. Let's try to do I that. I got this. I got this. I got this. I'm learning. And then I'm winning. In your famous words. Yep. That's what you do. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Here we go. Okay. Uh, I wish I could just pull out a gun and shoot both of them. Easy one. Well, you have something that's probably stronger than a gun, I feel like. <laughs> Homing soul mass. Is it? I don't know. Come on, do something. Uh-oh. No, this is good. Oh, okay. But Smo's being stupid. But yeah, you want to, like, try to get back oh. in and go bait an attack from him, right? Like, you don't really want them to be lined up like that. Got it. So you would, Can like, kind of circle okay. around. Oh. No. Oh, really? Oh. Well, <laughs> you just saw the case where you get it. Yep, there. yep. I, I, I see that <laughs> one. Now? Yep, that... Well, uh, I... No, probably not. Okay. Nope, not now. Now? No, because the timing wasn't lined up because Smo was done too early. Oh, uh, darn it. Okay, but here, though. But okay. That, it would be a little risky in that corner. Okay. Oy! That fatty was blocking his friend! Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is... Now. Because mm. both of them attacked. Yeah, I don't know. 
on. Where do you go? Where do you go? Yeah, there's another. There's a few like bugs you need to be aware of. Also, uh -huh. um, so when phase two starts, if if Smo is in an like if there's an active hitbox on one of Smo's attacks, mm -hmm. when the cutscene triggers, mm -hmm. that hitbox will remain throughout the entirety of the rest of the fight, like in phase two. Like it'll just be a, an invisible hitbox, basically. Oh, so, so, so you're just screwed. You just don't walk where he was attacking. It's oh. very important. Okay, don't walk where he was attacking. Okay. Yeah, so go close and bait out attacks, and then just... Yeah, like, you can go right up to the pillars, no problem. Okay. My aim is ass, though. What's happening? Hello? Like, Hello? He, does, he doesn't really have any fast attacks that you need to worry oh, about. Oh, I see. Oh, boy, that... He can, he can follow that one up, by the way. Oh. And, and uh -oh. so, uh -oh. so uh -oh. what you want to do is you want to... Bait on attack. So go in. Bait on attack. Okay. Bait on an attack. Okay. And then, and then cast now. I no, no, no. You don't, you don't, you don't spam. Like you, you cast one. Oh. Hit so him. And then bait out another attack and then just repeat. So this Got one. It. Yeah. Cast now. And then you go in, bait on an attack and then you just rinse and repeat that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And oftentimes you'll just input read your spell as well. So. Like he'll just do another attack immediately, but yeah, you can go like no. you can go right close to the pillar. There's there's not really <gasps> watch follow up on that. Okay, okay, you didn't do it. Okay, 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 okay. So go close uh, the pillar. Uh, okay, the attack. There it is. Okay. <sighs> I spammed and I understand I should have, but it was so tempting. Like spamming, you will. So oh, by the way, when you hit his hammer, you deal no damage. I forgot oh, to mention that. Oh, okay. Which is why... I'm out of arrows. You can use Great Heavy. Okay. He's got to be more careful that he doesn't follow up on this one. <laughs> Which you would have gotten hit by there. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Oh, just kidding. Oh, that's the follow-up you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, like, just when you when you bait out the attack, mm -hmm. if, if it's one that has a follow-up, just don't be, like, that close to the pillar, basically. Like, so go close to the pillar, got bait it. out an attack. And then back Got out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go close, back out, and go. Okay. <sighs> and I guess technically, if you wanted, you could swap to mouse and keyboard for that phase, but. True, to get better I... aim. Yeah, that's that's not what I do, but you could. Okay. Back to this again. <laughs> okay. Okay. I will get this. I would heal again still, probably. Oh, yeah, Just, 100%. Like, yeah. Not not for red tears though. I would just heal so that you can like survive in the fight. Yes, yes. <laughs> so I would heal. Quick. Yeah, there it is. Okay, good. There we go. All right. <laughs> Here I go. At right, this time. Oh, he just shot. Yeah, and you'd want to you would want to stay out in the open if he does that too, because now he's gonna go around the pillars and. Oh, so right now he's stuck I on smoke. Right. Right. Okay, and then, yeah, so... You, like, you just really do not want that attack. Okay. Come on. Now? Nope. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. No! I'm in the corner! Uh-oh. I see where the corners are. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to corner yourself. It's very bad. Okay. So that time it was not good because even though Smoke well, he, didn't he, attack. The attack animation was it was too far into the animation. Like he was already done the attack. Oh uh, by the time you were casting. So I was but, too late. Well, no, it just wasn't a safe opening. Ah. Uh, it wasn't okay. that you were too late, it just wasn't safe because the attacks didn't line up properly, but yeah, you just gotta learn the attacks too, so that you know you have an idea of like the timing of it and stuff. So yeah, and which attacks are good and which attacks are bad. Oh boy. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah, that that's true. Yeah, because the the ones okay. like if you're in range of Ornstein on his like dash attacks, mm -hmm. then obviously you can't cast during that. So right. And, and you want to be within range of it too, because you want to be baiting out Ornstein. Uh, well, and Smo, you want to be baiting out both their attacks. So right. Yeah, that's the long one, and oh. He just one-shot me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That's what happens when you get smoked by a, by a huge hammer. No, it's okay. I like this is this is good. This is this is pain. Oh my god. Actually rethinking Dark Souls one no hit. Yeah, I am mm, I was gaining some like confidence when I was doing the practicing and then this happened and I'm like, you know what? Maybe not. Well, I, I think when some people learn the fight, they, they kind of mm. learn it in a way that isn't actually consistent, but it's like easier to learn. And then they get stuck uh. with it for a long time. Like they're they're using bad habits and then they end up losing runs. There's like, you, oh. you want to do it the harder way where you do it the right way. Right, right. Yeah. You want to do it the right way so that you don't end up wasting a bunch of time resetting to this boss. Okay. Uh-oh. Now. Oh, I did not see the arrow. God damn it. And you also, you want to be patient too. Like, they don't, like, sometimes you don't get openings, so you don't want to, like, force anything. <laughs> I hate, I hate these two with the passion now. You know what? I agree. This boss is trash. Well, it's just a bad boss because of all the bugs, right? Yeah. Like, the bugs are insanely bad. Yeah, the bugs of how their spear just lands with me. That's a big bug. Right, yeah, you would never get hit. No, no. But genuinely, like, the points you're pointing out, like, the whole... Smo having a leftover remnant hitbox, like, that does sound terribly wrong. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, they should fix that. But it is an old game, so... Well, this is remastered. It was in 2018. Like, a lot of people were hoping that they would fix that stuff. And they never did. What if they're like, it's not broken, then you just got to get good. Yeah, it's intentional. Yeah, yeah. Extra yeah, challenge. Yeah, they intentionally were like, we're just going to screw you over. Wow. Okay. Well, that was mean. Also, Smo's having an aneurysm. Hello. This is worse than Melania. This is worse than anyone in the world. <laughs> um, is it worse than Melania? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it is. How they just no hit me. They double team me, and it's it's just wrong. Melania at least is like single one on one, right? But these guys are just like. <sighs> You're just too good, dude. Oh, wait, are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> I'm like watching your screen. You're too good. It'll, it'll help a lot to watch watch fights. So, like, cause mm. in watching it, you'll get a you can get a feel for the distances you need to be. Mm, mm, mm. So watching fights actually is a good idea. Okay, I'm feeling inspired. This is the one. I'm feeling inspired by watching you having killed Orn Orn Ornstein. Yep. Yep. This is the one. You know, I have I haven't actually c considered doing Smo first on this run, but oh. usually Super Ornstein's not who you want to be fighting. So there's one run where I did that though, actually. So, question: What happens when, like, because Smo does his like hammer thingy, huh? And then you just get screwed. You can't dodge it, can you? Well, you just, like, that's what's so tricky, right? Is that you need to have enough experience on the fight so that you don't get put into those situations where that could happen, right? Uh, like, that's why it's it's so, like, it's not just a normal <laughs> Souls boss where you just learn the moveset and then it's like, oh, yeah, I, I know how to dodge this move. I just dodge at this timing on this direction or whatever. Right. You need to not put yourself in the position to get hit by something that could happen. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. Right. I can't see. Oh god. <sighs> okay, that's safe. Okay. Too late. But well, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, too late. <laughs> but did you see it at least? Yep. Yep. That. that I see what the that kind of moment. Yeah. Like was they both attacked they at the same attacking. time, and you were outspacing both of them. So. Yep. 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 Ooh, that's bad. <laughs> Heal up. I don't care. I don't care.
Uh-oh. Too far, too far. Smo, do something, dude. I'm yeah, if you can, thing. like, getting Smo stuck on a pillar is a really good idea, too. Right. In phase one. Again, you can bait attacks through the pillars just like you do in phase two, and then... And then, yeah. Okay. I hate that fat guy so much. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just hate. I hate his his this is a hammer move with a passion. That's gonna be in my nightmares. This, I hate smoke. I hate smoke so much. Ah. Any hazels? Any hazels? <sighs> I mean, yes, you beat him like ten times at this point. No, I I, I was watching you. Oh really? That. Damn. Oh my embarrassment. Okay. You know the game like um, screw Mary kill. Uh, I guess so. Okay. Don't ask me. No. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. You're obligated to answer now. Oh. Oh, good, good, good. That but who's good. the third, Stop. though? Um, let me see. Who would the third be? What do you hate? Uh, what about the Godskin nobles and Apostle? <gasps> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, throw oh, one of those so, in there. Okay, okay. Ornstein, Smo, and um, the 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 chunky one. Noble is ch chunky. The noble one. Yep. Yeah, the noble. I'm gonna kill um, Smo <laughs> right off the bat. I, I I don't have an answer. I I, <laughs> I don't, don't, I don't know. One. I'll marry the noble. I hate all of them. So <laughs> exactly, that's the fun part. Kill all of them. This is ungodly. <laughs> These Just think two... about, think mm -hmm. about the uh, thousands and thousands of hours that have been lost from all the no-hit runners on this boss Aww. from resetting. <laughs> okay. I like the amount of times I've seen people get hit here, especially in like the god runs and stuff. Mm. But that's why it's like you need to be good at this boss. Well, maybe. For, for one no hit of this, maybe not, but. Before, but in general. Like, if you're doing multiple on the runs in a row, it's just the worst. <gasps> Would you then recommend Dark Souls 1 as, like, the least recommended um, no hit run no. to do? No, I, I don't. Uh oh. <sighs> I don't think so. It's it's. I would say this is. <sighs> it's still easier than Dark Souls 3, probably. In my really? Opinion. Even with and the, this and the, guy. the reason for that is because this is only one boss that's hard. Uh huh. Like it's kind of a BS boss though, to be fair. But like Dark Souls Three has a lot of fair, really hard bosses that are tough to learn. So, mm. like it'll probably take longer for you to get Dark Souls Three than this one, I would assume. Really? Okay. Oh boy. I would guess, yeah. Oh boy! Oh boy! I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I hate this so much. Take me back to the Elden Ring days. Where every boss was just like, run here, and then you run there, and then you <laughs> easy win. Yep. Take me back to the days. Could you imagine doing this doing this without claw grip? Oh, oh Or without God. like extra buttons or something? <laughs> how, how like impossible that would be. Oh, what am I doing? 
I forgot to heal. What's really funny, I don't know if you've noticed it before, but Dark Souls 1, when you're locked on, has four directional movement. What, what does that mean? We'll try locking on and try moving around. <laughs> I want to get why this. You, this is why you like very rarely lock on in this game. Mm. Are you going to do it or? I want to try winning this. I feel it. I feel it in my bones, Gino. I can do this. Okay. I could do this. Yeah, that's the long one. Uh, that was that was probably safe, actually. No, I was so close. <laughs> I was so so close. I was believing. Do you see his health? <sighs> okay, let's try the lock on thingy. Oh, there's not a lot of enemies around here. Oh, where am I? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's like, why it's kind of insane that they put a boss like this in this game, right? Because, you know, I would assume they're not assuming the players are going to be using claw grip or, you know, extra buttons on the back so that they can roll while moving the camera. Mm. Yet they put in a boss where, like, how are you supposed to track both of them? You yeah. just can't. You're expected how? to okay. lock on while moving in four directions, so you have, like, significantly less control. Oh, as in when I'm locked on, you can't move diagonally. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, just Let's just go. try it. Like it's 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 pretty funny. Now it is an old game and stuff, but you can lock on. Oh, what the? <laughs> yeah. Hello. <laughs> is it like this for Dark Souls Two as well, or no? Is it no, just... it's not. Dark Souls Two fixed that. Another Dark Souls Two W. Oh, that is a pretty big W then. You're just... Your mom never gave you cereal! <laughs> your mom too! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Gino. I hate this boss so much. No, this is great. <laughs> wow, well, is it great? This is going perfectly well. Is this is, is this about the like level you thought this would go? Yeah, I, I well I knew how this was gonna go. I mean, oh, okay. But you know, Please. like at least you kind of when I was first learning this fight, I kind of just watched people do it, mm -mm. and it was at a time where I feel like I don't know the people I watched just weren't maybe that great at it or something, and so oh. I kind of like I don't know. It took me a while to figure out. The, yeah. It what I want to do here, I guess. Right. Because even the people you're watching aren't really doing exactly what it is. Well, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, I guess, right? But thinking about it in the way of, like, baiting out each attack and then when that does happen, oh. then I can do something, right? With melee, like, get a punish or with sorcery, you can just cast. Right. Like, I, that's, that's just... It made it easier to understand for me, I guess. Hmm. <sighs> Wow, not trying to like just... rely on the pillars too much. Okay. That's what I did at first. I was just trying to like get smoke stuck on a pillar and then just try to mm -hmm. like attack, but. But it didn't work. Smoke. Well, it's just not. It's not that good. Okay. All right. All right. I'm getting a feel. Oh, that would have been a good opportunity because they both attacked. Okay, let's get used to their attacks. Keep them together. Okay, good. Not good. Come on. Oh god. Heal. Oh, good point. I think. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's terrible timing. <laughs> All right. Why does he spin that way? 
Oh, bad timing. Wait, no good timing? I can't tell. Yay! <sighs> Hello! Join me at the pillar. Whoops. God damn it. Might switch to mouse and keyboard for this. Oh. Actually, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want to try with. Mm. Oh yeah, bait out an attack. Right, right. Oh my god. That's one. Bait out an attack. Uh oh. Another one. Okay. Bodhi. I am worried if I'll have enough damage for... Oh. Well, yeah, when you... I mean, when you have red tear stone, you have a lot of extra casts. I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm or you should, assuming though. you don't whiff, like, 100 hits or something. <laughs> Oops. Whipped a hit. How does that even aim for there? I'm aiming straight at this guy. There we go. <laughs> it's because it's like aiming on controllers a lot harder to do, right? Because it's just harder to look straight. Mm. Get an attack out. Come on, buddy. Decide to do something, please. Decide to do something, please. I beg of you. I don't think I'll have enough. Because I only have two soul arrows. Yeah, you can, um, you can also use your homing soul mass if you have any left. Ah, okay. Also, smoke's kind of broken. <laughs> he won't attack at all. Yeah, just be patient and just wait for him to... Okay. Do, do. <laughs> smoke's on a coffee break or whatever. Oh. The game saved. <laughs> is he? Is there like, uh, hmm? Is he really just not attacking? Yeah, he hasn't attacked for the <laughs> longest time. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. I I have no idea what's going on if he's not attacking. <laughs> oh no! Hello. There you go. There you go. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. I hit the arrow. Oh, the oh, I hit the oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Well! GG! Gotta oh, do you... it again! Are you, you ran out? Yeah, I ran out of everything because it kept hitting his, um... His hammer? Yeah. Just yeah, you just gotta get first. used to the timing. I'll just die. Goodbye, life. <sighs> just gotta get used to the timing of when okay. to cast. Yeah, because it's also... He... I... I hit several times when his hammer just went down. I was like, crap. Yeah. But I, I be, I went up to the Born Orange, Ornstein death. Yeah, that's good. I mean, that, yeah, the fight. Once you're in Smo, like it's basically it's over. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I still would rather go in with more heals and then practice phase two. <laughs> I got this, I got this. Okay. I'm kind of getting their moves ish. Yeah. Oh, 
you know what? I take back everything I said. <laughs> they just... They just... <clears throat> I hate him. Who do you think's older? Um, I would guess Ornstein. Oh. I actually have, like, actually no idea. I'm sure there's I an answer. I also guess that, too. Why is that? Why is that, like, when a person it's... looks at them, they're just like, Shmo seems like the little brother. It's always the, the big one who's this younger one. Oh, really? I don't know. I'm the youngest one, so I'm the biggest one. It's because I get all the snacks and the food. <laughs> so I was a giant baby. I agree. I agree. Are you youngest? Uh, I'm the second youngest. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, wow. He has that move, eh? Okay. Well, that, that's bulls. Oinstein is the captain. Oh. Smo is the, like, cannibal guy, I think, right? What? Yeah. Ca cannibal? I think he kills people and then he eats them or something. What is... What? He does? Well, well, he doesn't actually, but according to the lore, that's apparently what he does. Oh my god, that's terrifying. The insane lore. Damn. I've never heard of that one. Smo does eat people. Oh! <gasps> what? That's messed up. So that's not a beer belly, that's like a cannibal belly. Yeah, that's a that's a human belly. Oh god. That's disturbing. Oh. Oops. That was safe, but you oh. just casted too late. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Would this last soul mass like to disappear at some point? We could just cast soul mass again when there's one up. Oh, true, true, oh, true. Oh, wow. <laughs> what, what, what? How'd you not get hit by that? I don't know. Okay, this is good. Yeah. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Attack him. Attack him. Wah. Uh oh. Now. Yeah, again, that was just too late. Like, it was safe, but. Oh, really? You just did it like a bit too slow, yeah. I see. Okay. Where's this guy? Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good! All right! You wanna- so you wanna time Shit. the arrow so that it's- like, you definitely wanna do it before he's done attacking. Oh, okay. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. Because you it. wanna hit the hammer, right? Right. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Nice. Oh my god, <laughs> the controller! Yep, surely controller's fault. Yes, yes, yes. Pure controller fault. Oops. There's a hit. We have a hit. Hey! If you wanted to, you, like, you can just... God damn it. <laughs> you, can, you can fight him, like, not with the pillar. 
No, I love the pillar right now. Okay, That's okay, the only okay. thing keeping me safe. Okay. Like it is definitely faster to just fight him like straight up, but. Oh yeah. Oh sorry, I keep going away from the pillar. Uh oh, this might be dangerous. I'm actually not oh. sure. Can you? I don't think you can lock on here, right? Or like, if you do, I think you just shoot the pillar, right? Try. Oh no, I think I shoot him. I shoot no. the pillar. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so we could try homing missiles. Are you out? <laughs> you yep, can always I'm like out. if 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 you actually somehow ran out here, you can always swap to your lightning spear. But yeah, ah. the soul mask will not really. Oh, I guess they kind of did work, but. Oh, this one I hit. <laughs> Here it is. Oh boy, that was a little. <laughs> like this one, you would want to start up casting like significantly earlier. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that's that's classic. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, Everything funny. about this this freaking Michelin boy is. <laughs> This Michelin entire baby really is making me mad. Okay. <laughs> I hate this guy. I hate this guy. I at least got the first... Okay, so this is my second time actually killing all of them. Sorry, not killing all of them, but killing Ornstein. Yeah. So I'm happy. Mm. I hate his hammer. Why is he so fat? With his hammer. Why is his hammer so fat? <sighs> Oh, so close. Why did I do that? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Can't oh, boy. Wait until, okay. I can't wait until you, you learn Soul of Cinder. Who's that? Is he worse <laughs> than this? Three. That's one Final guy, boss. right? Huh? That's one guy, though, so he's not Yeah, yeah, worst. it's only one guy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not as hard to learn as this, for sure, because it's just it's more direct, even though he has, like, way more uh -oh. attacks and stuff. Uh-oh. Where am I going? So like even right there, the going to bait oh. okay, Yeah, that was that was perfect actually. Oh, okay, okay. But baiting out a smoke attack earlier would have been good. At least that's what I would have done. Oh, uh, mm. that was definitely not safe. I see, I see. Wait, but they both attacked at the same no, time. No, no. They if did, you go though. back and they if would've... you if you go back and look, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ornstein was at the end of his animation, so he could have just attacked you. Ah, uh, I see, I see. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I should pull up your stream and then I can like... Or, I don't know. I can like rewind it for you easily. Okay. Well, actually, it's... Yeah, never mind. You don't stream on YouTube. Yeah, I'll... I'll, 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 I'll take, I think I get what you mean, though, in that his animation mm. ended. Because <gasps> it would probably help a lot to go back and like see that right there. Yeah, it's like very precise. Check it out. Check it out. Weird opening. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, does the pain ever get any better? Yeah, once you once you learn how to do this properly, it's pretty like it is pretty satisfying, I would say. Okay. This is the first time I was like, I oh, gotta get good. Yep. I just gotta get good. Yeah, basically every other kill at this point in the run is... Was he Yeah, like doable. pretty simple. Yeah. Like some of them scripted. Most of them, actually. I think all of them, right? Yeah. Well, it's just the Quay like one. You need to get into the stun lock, but... Right, but her attacks are so much so, like... Yeah, yeah, she only has like four attacks it's and it's only person. one enemy. But just remember, just that like opening you just got right there will basically never happen on a normal run because of the... I see! Because of the quote <laughs> The golden hammer. Let me know if you would like to see another fight, by the way. Like, in I will case, see another fight. Okay, okay, okay. I... Did you know there's a you just got smowed emote? <laughs> no. Oh my god. It's Smo dancing. <laughs> I don't like you, chat. Oh, that's pretty good. I 
don't like you. Why would you? Why would you do this to me? Just got smoked. There's an Ornstein plus. I was just like plus both of you. Okay. Okay, so that's a long charge. That's the standard attack. Yeah, this is actually a pretty awkward spot, but yeah, he's doing the glitch charge. Okay. Isn't too bad. Okay, so now I'm in a decent position finally. Oh, okay. There's a follow up. I can cast. Oh. I just made it out of smoke attack. Okay. But didn't get anything. Okay, this is good too, because uh, Smo finishing his attack and then I baited an orange attack. Right. So now, like, this is the tricky part of Soul Mass here, is, like, trying to... You get your cast off, but now I'm trying to hit Orange Team with it. Yeah, and not Smo. This should be fine. Okay. Here we go. Oh, wow. Now. Wait, not now. It's safe because I, I can use the pillar to block. Uh, I and see he the just lightning. somehow did not cast even close to it. Okay, not safe. Safe. Yeah, but this is a this is a little bit of a tricky position potentially, just because I'm mm -hmm. in the corner. But the corners are bad. Well, corners aren't necessarily bad, but you just need to make sure... Oh, boy. That's kind of unlucky. You just have to make sure that you're going to be blocking Smoke the Pillar if you if okay. you do happen to get into the corner. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, this actually was safe, but I didn't like my position, so... Mm. Okay, so here, I'm going to try to bait Smo and then bait Ornstein. Oh, perfect. Ah! Wow, that was like the most beautiful... <laughs> I just so lucky. Uh-huh. And that's it. Yeah, see, you do it, and it's easy. When I do it, suddenly they're, they took steroids. <laughs> Somehow, everyone always says that. Like, oh, the boss <laughs> like looks the so slow thing. when you're doing it. How come he's, like, so fast when I do it? Yeah, it's, it's the whole thing of, like, Dad, the remote wasn't working, I swear. And then the dad touches it, and it works now. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, surely just like that. Just like that. It's it's like, I swear, your Ornstein and Smo move like 0.5 oh, miles yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You rigged my the field game. of view is way bigger. And <laughs> yeah, it's your gadget thing or whatever. That's, yep, what, yep. that's what it is. Even though I don't even have it up right now. No, 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 no. It's just the fact it's in your computer. Technically, that was safe, actually, oh, right oh, there. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, a lot of the times you're seeing the right spots, but you're just kind of casting like a second too late. Oh. And so. Like, so. So I guess it's as soon as you start to see the situation develop is when. Oh. oh okay. <laughs> is when you cast oh. rather than after it's done and after it's happened. Right, right. Hey, that's good. Yep. So that was a follow up that he just did. So. Aha. And then smoke attack at the same time. Wow. Okay. Well. Yeah, you just gotta be patient. Like sometimes you just. Also, technically, a backstep on smoke is also safe. So like, if he okay. does a backstep and then Ornstein starts an attack like right there, mm -hmm. that would also be safe. Oh, this is. Yep, that looks pretty good. Nice. Just watch the follow-ups here. He's got two follow-ups to that combo. Yep. Okay. This is looking much better already, actually. Wait, oh, that, that was terrible. That was yeah, terrible. That was, I, like, I had to say something. Yeah. I jinxed it. Even I felt it. I felt it in my bonds. Like, yeah, again, you want to be baiting out Smo's attack first, right? Mm -mm. So so that basically means you kind of want to stay closer to Smo when you're trying ah, to bait out the attacks. Ornstein. Got it. Okay. Come here, buddy. Okay, but just, yeah, so this is, this is tricky. You got to make sure you're not getting hit by a lightning arrow here. Right, right. Or his, like, swervies, swervies. Yep, that's good. Nice. Oh! Yeah, just, I mean, that's just learning the timing of the dodge. Got it. Um, no, that's... No. Oh, I didn't see what Ornstein was doing, so that's why. Yep, yep, yep. Mama. 
I'm uh... Oh, that was bad. No, yeah, you can't... Like, on that attack, you can't roll it and then cast, because it's too quick. Okay. Also, unfortunately, in this game, when a soul mass hits when it hasn't fired yet, it deals basically no damage. Uh... So, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Like, in Dark Souls 3, you can just cast soul mass and then run into something, and then it'll <laughs> deal, like, full damage. Yeah, that was good. Oh, no, this is bad. No, that's fine. Oh, I guess you ran out of cast. Yep, fun. I have nothing. Yeah, you can see what happens when you try to use Soul Arrow here. Oh boy. It's a little... Like, it's the same idea, but... Just, he's gonna dodge it sometimes. Oh! Oh, that was... <laughs> oh no, I'm locking on it. This is a bad idea. Okay. Okay. I'm getting better timings, though, I think. No, maybe not. Yeah. Okay. Let me know if you want to see another fight. Yep, I'll watch another fight while this is Okay, okay, okay. Now. Just gonna be watching your VOD and then your fight nonstop. That's all I'm gonna be studying. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just it's just getting used to the, the timings and the distances. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Like, especially the distances, because if you go to the right distance to bait on attack, then I think it's... That's, well, that's what you have to do, so... Right. And be closer to Smo. Okay. Well, there's not just like one rule, I don't think, but. Alright. Oh. But you do want to keep them fairly close, and then you also. Oh. Um. Yeah, that was no bueno. Okay. This is good because he doesn't follow up. Ah! <sighs> Good too. Okay. So it's when Orenstein does his whole like really slow aft swings. Yeah, like a lot of people, what they do is they bait out like the full combos on stuff. So right there, that was just outspacing the scoop because I am pretty uh -huh. familiar with the range of it. So mm -hmm. you can do that too. Like that's definitely a good thing to do if you know the range of it well. Right. Because I'm just afraid if I go near a small he's gonna do the scoop and then i'm i can't outspace or run you can, from you can outrun the scoop you can oh okay so if i got a follow up there i could have gone in but i didn't right okay not yet not yet that's the big scoop so yeah. walk it with the pillar slightly these are like right there that was just out sprinting the scoop Mm. There's smoke attack. And then dodging the the sniper. Oh, uh, that was probably safe right there, actually. Yep. But... Oh, no, that wasn't a long combo, though. That was just a long swing. Okay. Here we go. Wow, his aim. This is good. Nice. Uh huh. This is good, too. Okay. But see, so I'm like, I'm baiting the smoke attack and then outspacing it generally, right? Right. You don't want to have to roll it. And then, and then I'm looking to Ornstein for his attack. And, and like, you don't really have to be worried about being that close to them, right? Mm -mm. Like, it's not the end of the world if you're just like right next to them. True, because you can outrun that. Oh. Uh oh. Now they're on separate. As, as yeah, this is. Yeah, this is not ideal. Like you kind of want to keep them closer if you can. Okay. Oh my god. This is good though, because this is like a bad RNG fight. Oh, so, so you can see what it's like. Yeah. This. Wouldn't it be so nice if, like, um, Smo accidentally hits his brother? Yeah, imagine if there was friendly fire and they just yeah, instantly be... kills his friend, yeah. Like, yes, please. That will be satisfying af. I just see Smo swing that hammer and then screw his 
Capton. Do what to his what? <laughs> Screw his Capton! Oh, that might be bad. Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was Generally, that was really like, I, I think if you need to roll an attack, it's probably not safe to cast. Okay, yep. Probably. Oh. Yeah, so, so like, I try to get cast. in a bit closer here. I, I would have circled around the left, and again, you're trying to, like, keep Ornstein and Smo a similar <laughs> distance away from you. Right. If you can. Okay. So, like, here, this is perfect. Yep, and oh. then and then you get a cast, but, yep. Oh, I was too late. Well, it's because, yeah, it's because you rolled, so. And, you, yeah, you don't, you, you wouldn't also want to, like, force anything, right? Oh, this is a little tricky. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know he was gonna stab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab. yeah that's just a moveset. Like that's that's easier to learn that stuff, I think. Okay. Okay, okay. <sighs> just gotta beat him once. And then I can do this. I can do this. And then we're good, I feel like. Because you, okay. you get the idea. It's just learning yeah, the moveset yeah. now and then practicing it. Oh, if he's casting, he lifts the spear. Ah, but he wasn't gonna cast because he was doing the whole like Yeah, just a different startup animation jump. that you have to screw it. See. Go to go to go to. Okay, okay. No! <laughs> I hate these stairs! At least the run isn't too far. It's like right there. Hmm. Alright, let's go. Okay. This is the one. It yep, was not the one. This is the one. <laughs> Strategic red tears down setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was all part of the gate Kaku. Hello. It's all part of the plan. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was. That was maybe not great. Okay, that was that was basically the right setup. I think you just didn't get quite close enough to Ornstein, but that was the right kind of setup there. Oh, okay. Can you guys do something? Except that. <laughs> Sorry. I just think it's funny how he knocks his brother out of the way. Yeah, just wait until you're expecting to outspace an Ornstein attack that he's doing, and then Smoke pushes him into you, and then you die. Oh, God. Oh, that is buggy. Ah, Ornstein, I can't see what you're wanting to do. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's bad. That's bad. <laughs> That was... Yeah. Okay, that one, they both were like, I won't do nothing. Ornstein was like, I'm taking a break. <laughs> well, it was more of, like, positioning. Because mm. you were just, like, a little too far from Ornstein kind of the whole time. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay. But you, you want to, like, line yourself up so that you're... in a position where it's actually safe to be that close. Okay. Line yourself up. Is it safe? Oh, God. Strategic. Strategic. He runs through. <coughs> okay. Whoa. What the? Okay. That's <laughs> <laughs> so buggy. Okay, that, that right there technically was safe because of the back step, but that's okay. Oh god, now I'm scared. Okay. okay this is good. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. That was, you maybe got a little too close to Smo there, actually. I see, I see. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no! That mm. would have been because they both went. Yeah, but, but it oops, was the po it was oops, the jumping oops, poke, oops. and so you wouldn't have, like, if you, again, if you roll, then it's mm -hmm. probably not safe to cast after you roll. Got it. Okay. You, that you kind of lose the window. Right, right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he can he can immediately cancel out of oh. at least that attack, but some of his other attacks as well. So just like again, you you wanna you wanna would if you cast on that move, you would have to outspace it first. I see. 
Like, and then cast as he's, like, flying through the air. Oh, wow. Okay. That was... <laughs> oh, boy. That was nice, actually, somehow. <laughs> somehow survived. Skills to pay the bills. Also, Small just ran away. Yeah, he does that sometimes. Why, Small? Oh, God. Okay, this is fine. Oh, oh. Whoops, 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 whoops. Bad, 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 bad. Bad habit, bad habit. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um. <laughs> What's the plan, boss? <laughs> okay, it looks like there's no phantom hitbox, but <laughs> that was like okay. almost the exact situation where there would have been, and then you would have gotten killed here. Really? Okay. Yeah. Uh oh, that was bad. Like, try walking close to the pillar. Okay, it's not there, so you're good. Oh, nice. But yeah, so like if that happened, you would want to not go to this pillar. Like, <laughs> you would ah. stay clear of this one. Because that's where he attacked when phase okay. two started, and yeah, so. Oops. Oops. Oh boy. This will work. This will work. Okay. Wow, he. Oh, okay. It still worked. Okay. Get better at the aiming. Get... I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. <laughs> oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, there we go. I'm a bit worried. I only have five arrows left. Yeah. Oh my god. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I got this, I got this, I got this. Swing. Come on, come on, come on. Do a good attack for me. Swing. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> Yo! Okay. This will still work. I can still do this. <laughs> Excuse me for a second. <gasps> you need to Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, I unmuted and muted at the wrong second. How can you say that? This boss is great. I hate this boss so Everyone much. loves this boss for a reason, right? This boss shouldn't exist. <laughs> Jado, you saw how close I was. Yeah. So close, yet so far. I don't understand what went wrong. I do. Well, I mean, yes, but... <sighs> Maybe? <sighs> yeah, I'm just not sure, like... I, I considered, like, throughout the fight, I'm like, should I switch to keyboard and mouse? But then I wasn't too confident about well, my I... abilities. Yeah, well, you definitely wouldn't use keyboard and mouse phase one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I meant, just, I meant yeah, for, yeah, like, yeah. phase two. Yeah. Thank I mean, you. you can do it with RTSR if you want. That'll give you way more room to actually like have spells, right? But you just got, you got to make sure you, um, you know, like don't get hit. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, if you get good RNG on him, like it, it only takes two casts. Oh. Like, and he's done. True. Okay. <sighs> Ah. Uh. Oh, now, no, no, no. Oh, boy. I'm taking after you right oh. now. <laughs> wait, really? Well, I just, wait, I whiffed two spells guessing. somehow. Oh, no. Uh, I want to try with the RTSR setup. I probably shouldn't, but I want to try. 
Yeah, I'm sure with gadget, like, I, I, I don't really use it often, but I'm sure you can turn on, like, infinite spells and all this stuff, so... Okay. You, like, for practicing them, I would just, like, decrease your damage, give yourself mm. infinite health, infinite spells, mm, and just mm. practice, like, staying in the fight for a while. Yeah. Far enough, far enough. Okay, I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. This is the one. This is the one. Get him down two shots. Get on through. Okay. Decides to open with something else. That's fine. Oh, that's fine. Uh oh. Yeah, that was probably not safe. Nope. 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 I can't see nothing. Okay. Oh, now, now, now. No, yeah, again, you can't roll it and then cast. It's He's too quick. Okay. It's only if you outspace that one. Hey! <laughs> I got lucky. Yep. That's what that's what happens. Like I think I feel like a lot of people when they first get DS1 no hit, they just they get like a lucky ONS or something, you know? Like that's that's mm -hmm. It's cuz they're such a brutal boss, so <gasps> I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I got lucky, but then I complete I always forget that with the smash, you can't have a follow up. Yep. Smash in the sideways swipe. Yeah, that that is like my mm, Yeah, so just wait up the attack. And then go far away from the pillar, and then mm -hmm. cast, and then yeah, that's go it. further away from pillar. I think that's okay. Let's do this. Gotta think of the boobas, the magical boobas that await me yep. after I finish this. You're right. Amazing chest ahead. I know. Try poking amazing chest. Finger, but chest. Oh, wow. Okay, I thought... I thought he was done running. But he wasn't. And then Smo blocked it, uh, mm -hmm. the entire field view of that guy, so I had no idea. Yeah. Not kind. Not kind. Alright, I'm gonna get this. I'm going to get this. Easy peasy. Would you say this one fight is harder than the entirety of the Elden Ring no-hit run? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. I thought the fire giant was bad, but no, not even close. No. No, I, I yeah, when you actually have to like fight bad. stuff, it's yeah. Yeah, this is this is the worst. This is the absolute worst. Oops, 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 yeah. also oops, oops, oops. I should not have gone in for it. <laughs> yep. Okay, smoke. Okay. Do something! Oh, no. if you... No, see... I and shouldn't then... have rolled, yep. Oh, oh, that's not good. Am I in the corner? <laughs> yeah, yes. I got out. Attack the wrong guy. Smoke. Oh, why do I keep rolling? No, no, no. I you have to scared. roll that. Like, you, you just can't punish oh. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, ro you roll it. Because most mm -hmm. of the time, you're going to be in range of that attack, right? So you got to roll it, and then you just you can't punish it because it's too see. quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's only if you can outspace it that you can cast on it. But I would probably <gasps> recommend just not at all. Like, okay. Just don't even bother if he does that one. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Maybe I should go back to the not. Mm, maybe I should go back to just the full health because now I'm just dying. You could also get gadget if you want. I could, I could. Okay, but... one more. One more and then I'm getting gadget. 
Okay, okay. So that we can move on. <laughs> oh my lord. This fight's illegal. I believe in myself. Yeah, Do you I, believe? Like, um, I'll believe it when I see you. This is the run, right? This is the run. Yeah, this fight with melee is probably... I mean, it's probably harder than this, but it's the same kind of issues you have with both. Okay. Like, it's the same, exact same strat. Mm hmm But it just, you, instead of kind of, like, being a bit further, you're a bit closer. Because you got to actually punish Ornstein. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, nice dodge. I didn't even plan for that. Did you really not? You just rolled randomly? Yeah, I don't... I, oh. oh. <sighs> yep, gadget time. <laughs> Surely not right. a virus. Surely not. You wouldn't feed me a virus, right? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna also... One sec. Uh, uh, uh. Alright, I'm getting gadgets. Oh, you didn't have to stop. I, I already took your stream off the OBS, yeah, but it's okay. I wasn't sure. Then I'll just keep it up so you can double check that I'm downloading gadget perfectly fine. Here it is. Do I have to close the game? Uh, no, it should, it should just, like, hook in on, like, whenever you open it. Okay. Easy. Easy. Okay. Run it. Extract. Okay, extract all. Here we go. DS1 had no anti-cheat whatsoever. DSR does. What? That's fine, that's fine. Oh, he's saying if you get... Oh. <laughs> Okay, so we're using the Chi Tengen. <laughs> this isn't Chi Tengen, but yep. No, it's not. Okay. Well, Chi Tengen is is Chi Tengen. This is this is gadget. Ah, so how about no death? Yeah, sure. Yep. Okay, so it should automatically just queue on in. Yep, should be good. Okay. So now I can't die. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, I guess for Elden Ring, you didn't really practice bosses like this, but the way you generally practice bosses and, like, learn them is you turn on no death. Mm hmm And you either give yourself super low damage or, um, like, just use an unupgraded weapon or something, or you make the boss invincible. Mm hmm And then you just fight them. Like, you just sit in there and you just fight them for a long time. Dang, how long do you usually fight bosses until you learn them? Uh, it, well, it just depends. Because, like, Millennia is a lot harder than, I don't know, like, Udex Gundir or something, you know? Makes sense. Makes sense. Wait, actually, no, 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 no. Oh. Haha, but I can't die, bitches! Okay, sorry. Okay. Uh. <laughs> the the no-death comes on and the it starts raining down. <laughs> So you never want to cast post roll, right? Basically not. Unless there's a follow-up attack that Ornstein does in like a combo. Got it. Okay, this is maybe... Yep. Nope, but then you rolled. Right. Ah. Oh, God. Okay, okay. At least I have the cheat tangent. Both of you, stop! Run towards me, please! Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you did it, but just you did not have to roll there, and it was, okay, it was perfect. I think... Like, the way okay, you baited okay. it out was perfect. Ah. It's just you needed to not roll that, and then you'd have been good to go. Okay. Goodbye, oh. Ornstein. What is... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, maybe don't do that. Yep, yep, yep. Like just wait for him to get established in the in the spot. Like he did the the like big scoop that time. So just mm -hmm. you know, just like wait for that to be done, and then you can start attacking. Like that. Yeah. So like yeah. Okay. Well, it's more just for like getting him in the the, the correct position. Okay, you're maybe a little close. Oh. Um, he's gonna do a side swing. Oh well, no, he didn't. 
So when do you shoot the arrow post like his like scoop? You just got to get a feel for it. Oh. Like that was a bit too late. I see. This this distance is good though. Like that you were okay. back there. Like so you that go to the pillar, bait out the attack and then shit. Okay. Pillar, bait out, bait out, please. I, I can tell you when I would cast. Okay. So I'd cast now. And I hit the pillar. And I cast now. And I hit the wall. <laughs> and now, again. Oh, okay. Like you can do it. You can do it fairly early. Now. And now. Okay. Hey. Now. Yep, that's good. Ah. Now. Uh huh. Oh, you're starting to get it. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 I'm getting a feel of it. Okay. Yeah, you, you can you can attack that one also. Oh. Just just make sure uh, you're not too close. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, with that. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Down he goes. Yay! Did okay. I turn it off now? <laughs> We're moving on. Okay. Um, can I turn this thingy off? I would just leave it on. Okay. Just like in case you want it for anything else. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I see, I see. All right. So now we go up here. Okay. It's more efficient to pop a, the sm a soul of small in the elevator if you can, but it doesn't really matter. Popped it. Well, yeah, you'd want to do it and like. <laughs> Got it. You know. Quicker. Yeah, you get it. Okay. To the boobas. Um. So what we do is we. I guess I don't have any of my splits up. I just realized. We do the boobas. Yeah, you just shoot her. With the boobas. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you shoot her. You like go with in. Bow and arrow? Yeah, bow and arrow, or just your spell. Oh dear. And yeah, this gives you the dark in Orlando. Hello, ma'am. Not gonna lie, I kind of don't remember the way you're intended to get dark in Orlando. I, I is it with the, with the ring? Maybe oh, I, I can't remember. Oh my god, it breathes. Rip! Is she dead? Yeah, I think I, th I her stream's lagging. Just I think it's just the Discord stream. I don't, I don't know why, but okay. And then go back to the bonfire. Okay. Activate. Oh, yeah, yep. and, and rest at it and stuff. Because now we can teleport, <gasps> oh, yeah, right? So we can, oh, we can warp. Thank goodness. All right. So next thing to do mm -hmm. is go to Firelink. And now this is where we sell like all the coins and stuff that we got. Mm. Okay. I'm just I'm I can't remember if we need to buy the spells first. Versus the coin. Okay, wait, wait. There's actually there's a correct order of doing this. So I think we talk to Logan first. So talk to him. Heading up. Go through all of his dialogue. I can get into the menu. So yes, and then hit B. And then go through the rest of it. And now. Um, we go talk to Framped. Okay. <laughs> Guy. And then we go down. Also, by the way, if you want, you can stream on Discord in, like, lower quality. <gasps> oh, did I not stream it? I think it's 1440p, 60fps. Oh, is it is it buffering? No, it's just, it's, it's kind of, like, choppy at some points, but it's okay, not a big deal if you don't want to change it, but. 1080 now. Let me know how it looks. Okay. Yeah, it looks fine so far. Okay, place nice. Lord Vessel. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, I forgot. Now there's, like, three more bosses you have to beat. Yeah, there's three ah. more. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so then go back up from Framped. Okay. 
Would you? Would. Like, if you like a ramp, would you? Yeah, probably. Aw, oh, I knew it. No, I wouldn't. Really? Uh, no, yeah, I would probably wouldn't. Oh. But would Even you? Even as a pet? I probably not. He, like... Kind of weird. Yeah, he's missing his creepy. lips. Yeah! Okay, so now... I am. We sell a... Or we feed. And this is where... You, this is where... Uh, we hear the sound that Miyazaki himself made when he saw one of his co-workers foot exposed. <laughs> one of their feet exposed. Ew. What? Oh yeah, so so give him so sell all the silver coins. You won't and talk listen to, to me. the noise. This, this is Miyazaki himself who made that noise. Oh wait, I can't hear your 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 stream. No 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 I, when you do it, you gotta do it. Oh. Also no, no, sell frame, frame, frame. Feed him item. But he won't talk to me. Oh now he will. Feed. Then what are you selling? So all your silver coins. Okay. Which are in your like base menu. Yep. All silver and gold, gold coin. And listen to the sweet sound of Miyazaki's voice. Yep, yeah, that's the noise he made. There was a coworker took yep took her socks off and he just couldn't help himself. Where are you getting this information from? It was a, it was in an, uh, an interview at one point. No, I don't think so. Because why would he ever share that knowledge? He has no shame. Okay, oh. so then uh, we sell... Let me just remember this. Like, we basically sell everything we don't need. All the armor. Uh, yep, all the armor. What if the armor looks cute? And this is where you get, like, the... Repeated sounds in a row. You know, I have a feeling you really like the sound. Oh, I love it, of course. <laughs> I feel like this is. You're like, oh man, I can't get some sleep. What do I do? ASMR? Nah. Yep. Framp going. Ugh. Well, this is ASMR for me, yeah. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so then I think for, in terms of weapons, you can sell <laughs> everything except. I actually don't know. Maybe just keep the bandit knife. I'm not sure if we... I don't think we need it, but I can't remember. And then you can also sell the Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring. Oh, okay. Okay, so we sold all the stuff. And then Gargoyle, Tail Axe, and Demon's Great Hammer sell? So. You want to keep the Demon's Great Hammer, but you can sell the other one. Yeah, you can sell the... Yeah. And Lightning I'm pretty sure you can also sell the Bandit Knife, but... Uh, Lightning Spear, just keep it. I, I can't remember if we use it or anything. Okay just, okay. just keep the rest of it. Just keep the rest. Okay, okay. Okay, so now we go back to um, Griggs, who's this guy. Griggs. Like, Logan should be gone by now. Why? Well, just because he progresses his quest because we talked to him. Oh, okay. And now Griggs get this, gets the extra spells that we need from Logan. Ah. So what we buy now is All right. Soul Spear, but we need two of them. Okay. Oh, wait. What? Uh, you can get two oh, of them? Oh, I brutally messed up, actually. What? <laughs> we needed to buy Soul Spear from Logan. Oh, no. Yeah. Whoops, I forgot. I didn't save. Oh, well, it doesn't matter, because I could just... Goodbye, then. Uh-oh. Do... Wait, so we have to redo this part? Yeah. I, I, whoops, I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. No, I know it's good. It's good. I get to practice once more. Oh, wait, so you're supposed to buy the soul spear. Why do you, you buy two of them? Because the way spells work is when you have two copies, it'll stack the cast numbers. And for Seath, we need to have like source soul spear only has four base casts, I believe, and you need right? more than four. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. So we're going for Seath after this. Um, we go to Pinwheel, actually. Oh. Oh. Guess who's back? <laughs> yep. This music's gonna be in my goddamn nightmares. Oh my god, why do you have the music on? That's a disaster. Oh, do you not? No. Or Think about, like, kind of the amount of hours that I've spent in these bosses. Imagine listening to the same music the entire time. It's just insane. Uh-oh. It's like an insane person thing to do. And people always mm. wonder why I have the, the game music off, and that is why. Mm. Oops. Oh. Okay, I can't yes. die. I can't die. Oops. Okay, still can't die. 
Uh oh, oh, I made a mistake. Ooh. Oh, oh, that was a mistake. Let's see who beats him first. You with okay. cheats or me without cheats? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I messed up. Smells dead. Are you serious? <laughs> How did that happen? I don't know. Oh, God, he's big. I'm actually not sure if that messes anything up with the, the souls because they drop a different soul. Yeah, so I, I'm just going to read this. Because I can't die anyway. No, Gino, mess up. God damn it. Yeah, surely I'll die here. Please. I am upsetty that you beat me and I have cheats on. Well, I've also done this quite a few times, so. Uh huh. God damn it, you beat me. Yeah, just make sure you don't accidentally sell Smo Soul to Frampt, by the way, because I'm pretty sure it sells for like one soul oh. to him. Oh my god, because why would Frampt they do hates that? Because Frampt or something. There's some lore oh, reason like, I... Like, really? Yeah. That's cute. That's really cute. Is it? Ow! Yep. I think so. Alright, yep. Boss practice needed. Yeah. Can't believe I forgot the. I do have in my notes Soul Spear times two, but that's all I have, so I, I didn't remember. But you didn't know the you order need of Logan's it. Logan's first. Right. Oh God. Yep. Disaster. Okay, I'm gonna catch up to you, sir. Yep. So you buy the Soul Spear from Logan first. Heading out. Mm -mm -mm. And yeah, that's why we need so many souls, because Soul Spear costs 40k, and we need two of them. Oh. Uh, this is a, this is a really damn. good route, though. I mean, eighty pretty... k then total. Is... Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oops. But we don't have to upgrade our catalyst. So. Oh, that's a that's money saved for sure. Oops, too late. Eh. Just keep doing that move, dude. You know what? It all works out perfectly so that I can hear the sweet sound of Miyazaki. Oh, yeah, you get, you did this on purpose because you <laughs> did want to hear that over and over again. I'm pretty sure we can sell the band knife. Okay. But you do want to keep the demon great hammer, though, because I, I think we use it for a red tear stone setup. Okay. You may have beaten me, but I killed them in the end. After having gotten <laughs> hit. Okay, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. I should have made more detailed notes on this, but and that's what happens when you kind of when you're like routing a run, you don't think that you need as much detail until you come back way later and like well, I what mean, the hell does this mean? Also, because like do it. you probably weren't planning, like because you're like I already beat everything yeah, in the true. game, so why do I need to write that down? Oh, according to lore, because Smo is a cannibal and refused knighthood, his soul is worthless. Damn. Wait, he refused to give head? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. He refused to... Man, I hate him even more now. No, he refused knighthood. Oh, not knighthead. Okay. Yeah, I was like, that would be funnier. <laughs> <laughs> It's like he did not know the way. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Orenstein. Okay. Go to Logan. Mm -hmm. Buy mm -hmm. Soul Spear. Mm -hmm. Go through the dialogue. And then. Um, did you right, already pop I the used, soul? I did. Okay. I only have 76k. So yeah, that's, that's fine. correct. That's correct. Okay. So go to him. Purchase Soul Spear. Yep. There you go. Right. And then make sure you get his dialogue here. You didn't get his dialogue. I I, I think it matters. Like I think, yeah. Good. So then exit and then and then <laughs> you gotta like I I I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure you have to hear what he has to say at the end there. Like, oh okay. That he's leaving, or whatever. I think. 
So so hit B and then get through this dialogue. Yeah, there we go. I think uh, I'm not 100 percent sure, but but you can, can you can skip through hat? it. Yeah, we will get his hat actually. Yeah, I always yes! wear it. Yes, it's so cute. Big hat for big head. Yep, and then go down, or like talk to him. And then here I am. Nice. His whiskers are just the weirdest things. I, are those whiskers or are they? They're like, whiskers, right? I don't know. I, it's more of like a. I don't know what that's called. Whiskers. Okay, so you said to sell the. I think you can sell the bandit knife. Yeah, I'm okay. pretty sure it's fine. And then I sell all the, the armor, one. sell the coins, wah, wah. and then sell slumbering. The reason we can sell slumbering is because we're about to get another one, another copy. What? So. You can get two? Yep. Oh, nice. And then we can buy a second copy. All right. Sold it all. Did You sold the coins? <gasps> how, you should have like... How many, how many souls do you have? Okay, yeah. Have you, the coins are worth a lot. Yeah, that's why I was like, hold on, something seems wrong here. Ah, here yeah, we are. You should be at like 58k or something like that. Okay. I am now at 61k. Okay, yeah, that's good. Okay, and then go buy the other soul spear. Yes, sir. And now, after you buy that, mm -hmm. I'll show you what to do next. Can you, there you go. Purchase another soul spear. Yep, Done. okay, so now you're good. So exit out. Mm -hmm. And now do this. Damn, you've lost it. Oh, lost him. <gasps> you blast him. Why would you do that? Uh, because he gives us hush and another slumbering during crust and humanity. You're evil. Wait, so you cast a homing in a grate? Uh, so cast your homing soul mass and then cast a great heavy soul arrow at him, yeah. Okay. No! There you go. My poor boy. Yeah, he's helped us. Or his he's helped us enough, I guess. I don't know. It's evil, dude. Okay, make he's sure you pick up his stuff. Did you do it? Yep, yep. I got hush. Okay, so now uh make a save here, probably. Okay. Now we're going to the catacomb. Oh god, oh god. And I do believe you have to swap on Slumbering Dragon Crest here. Okay. Or uh for red tier stone. Got it. Done. Okay, so this is the path you take. So we're going down to catacomb. Okay. Um and then I'm trying to first. remember. Just catacomb is really good then. with sorcery, actually, like Oh, okay. Makes it super easy. Yeah, without with melee, this is this part's definitely a lot worse. Mm. So it just runs straight down. Okay, yeah, so we I got remember here. this part. Mm -hmm. Now we actually need to take off slumbering. It's just slumbering. I think is helping for uh, just people not following you. Ah. And now we need to shoot, basically just like somewhere on this wall. And okay. then what should happen is that Skelly should start moving. While he mm -hmm. does that, we swap on slumbering, and then he's gonna. Yeah, you see him? He's going to walk off? Yeah, right. Now as he walks off, then we can sprint down here. And then we walk into this corner. Okay. We aim kind of above the ladder. Mm -hmm. Like, above the middle of the ladder, I think. And then we shoot a great Solera, I believe. And then we kill him. Um, And then, like, that's probably good for now. Like, so start okay. with that. Okay, so you aim and you don't want to take slumbering off at all? So you take slumbering off to shoot the arrow, and then you put it back on, because you need the arrow. You need him to hear the arrow, right? <gasps> oh, I see. That's why. Okay. So for this, I can do it again if you want. I got this. I got this. Okay. Check it out. Easy, easy. Oops. And and also, like after you kill that skelly, they do revive, so you wouldn't actually be able to wait there. Right. Like, you have to go after, but I'll show you what to do after. Okay. Okay, so we go all the way in here. Go 
Go down first. Yeah, so here's where you take and off slumbering. Here. Take off slumbering. Yeah, just so you can shoot the wall. Shoot. Oops. Wall. Oh, he's mad. Yeah, you know what? Like, I would just do it at the bottom of these stairs here. Ah, but like, not you, you, you don't need to reload it. your save. You can just you can just go from there. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if you already loaded your save or not, but I might have. That's okay. That's fine. I just. Oh no, I'm I here. Just, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. It's just so you, I just made this made you make the save so that it's um you like know the path down. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and then. From the bottom of the stairs. Yeah, and then after you shoot it, you should be able to swap slumbering on and then like just go check that that guy's actually falling off. Yep, that's good. Yep. Okay, maybe you went a bit early there, but... <gasps> oh, got it. Okay. Go here, and then aim at... So it, it's basically the middle of the ladder here. and the shadow. Mm -hmm. Right like there. The shadow higher up. Oh, up here? Yeah, a bit lower, I guess. I don't know. Like, just somewhere in there. Right there. Like, it's, it's not that precise. So, yeah, that should be good. Okay. And then, and then get out shoot of a, it. Shoot uh, a just great a, soul arrow. Yeah, just a great soul arrow should be good. Okay. And maybe a hmm. bit lower. Ah. Yeah, like, I, I can't... Maybe it's the same height as the hand, actually. Okay. I'll try that. There yeah. you go. Okay, so, so yeah. So you do this part. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, that's why you can't wait around, because they revive, but, but, so basically, oh. yeah, so he walks off, and then we go. Oh. And then we, go, okay. And then do the same thing. Walk in the corner. And as soon as he dies, we go down. Mm -hmm. Roll past. Oh. And then we go into the left room. You you want to make sure you go like pretty quick here. Oh God. Oh, you know what? I actually, I okay. Wait a second. I'm sorry. Can't oh, you have no kill death me. Hostile. Yeah, that's all. Like, can't kill what me. you do? You go into the hallway and then you cast homing soul mass. I kind of forgot about that. Oh. Okay. So you cast homing soul mass and then, and then you just run and like dodge the necromancer's projectile if he does it. Okay. Do you climb down or you jump down? Ju just roll down, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so into the left room. Okay. Mm. Yeah, you want to go around so that yeah, Got you don't get stuck. It. And then so you want to cast... You want to cast in the hallway before you can see him. Oh, gotcha. Hallway before. Okay. Ow. Can I just... I'm just going to redo this. So here, I'll do, I'll do it again, like, the proper yeah. actual way here. Okay. So, arrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, run down. Shoot. And jump off and roll. Okay. And two. Around. So you cast it right in here. Okay, cast it in here. And then you go out, and then you can just roll through his attack, pull the lever, or push the lever, I guess, or whatever this is. Okay. And then you just rest. Got it. Easy. Yep, and that's but it for this part. This isn't bad. This isn't too bad. Okay, I can no, do that. No, this is fine. This is easy. Yeah. First, you go hither. I'm not going to lie, I can't um, really remember why I killed Pinwheel now. Oh, it's for the fog ring. Okay, that's right. One quick question. So for that one guy on the ladder, was it the heavy or was it just normal soul arrow? Just normal is enough. Normal. Okay, normal is enough. Easy. Although it doesn't, like, both would kill him. So right, it doesn't really matter. Right. But... And you have time to do... Yeah, yeah. You, like, things. because we we knocked the other skeleton off the edge with the arrow. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it doesn't really... Yeah, no, you might not need slumbering here. Like, I I don't even know. Uh, I've just always worn it. But you definitely want it on for this next part, though. Yep. Okay, 
and he runs off. And he died. Easy peasy. Run here. Aim right in the middle and one a bit up here. And then switch over and you cast. Alright, and then you jump down. Go on yeah, make through. sure you have soul mass ready to go. Yes, sir. Soul mass is ready to go. Right around to the other side. And cast here. Cast nice. Wall. Just make sure you don't like lose it on the wall. Yep, and then basically you just need to be prepared if he shoots a fireball that you gotta roll. Got with, it. But, In but case it. I gotta run. Okay, and then you rest at a bonfire. Easy peasy. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna make a new save here. Okay. So, uh, for this part... Mm-hmm. Go up. I'm back up. Oh, Okay. Through there. Let me go to this next part. So, so for here, we want to take out this guy. You can you can either use bow, aim, or mess keyboard. Okay. Um, you're safe to walk up to this like small rock. Like, see the rocks mm -hmm. on the ground? Like just the mm -hmm. front one. You should be safe. And then you want to okay. use great heavy solar out to snipe this guy. You can you can use bow if you want for this instead. But... Just one shot him with great heavy solar, mm -hmm. and then come over here, shoot this guy with great solar. I actually, you know, I walked out too far, so he aggroed, but. Oh. I kind of forgot. And he's a god. What? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. So, yeah, like, don't don't walk too far out, I guess. Don't walk or else too far, see but you, around but... that little... Okay, over there. Yep, and then these guys, you can walk... Uh, just walk until you can lock on for them. Mm -hmm. And just hit them, them with a great soul arrow. Okay. Um, And that's that's good for now. Like, this is another okay. safe spot. So, for... Because you were saying... Okay. So yeah, you can use mouse and keyboard aim here if you want, or controller. So like that small rock. If you're gonna use mm -hmm. mouse and keyboard, just basically you want to line up the enemy with your head. Like think ah. of your head as the crosshair. Okay. And you might need to go a little bit further up, and you can use alt, to, alt and forward to like, you know, slow walk forward. Okay. I think we're pretty far ahead here. And I think I'm lined up. Okay. Pray to God. Nice. Oh! Okay, and now the three skellies. With just normal okay. soul arrows. Or, yeah, great soul arrows. So just go uh -oh. until you can... No, 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 you're good. Like, you, you can walk up oh. a bit further than that, even. But, yeah, that's good. Oh, okay. And then just target. All right. Okay. Yeah, when you're All doing right. melee reds here, normally you, like, knock these skellies off the cliff, and it's really scuffed. Oh, that's actually, annoying. So. Oh, boy. Okay, um, I would recommend another save fall here, probably. Okay. Because we do, like, a bit of a skip here. Ooh, okay. Okay, so at this point, you walk up the ramp, and then mm -hmm. go into this little spot. You take mm -hmm. off slumbering, temporarily. But you want to shoot an arrow. See the, the, there's three skellies down here. You want to shoot yes. in between all of them. Okay. You immediately swap on slumbering, and then you roll down on that platform down there. Oh boy! Okay, so right. so I so I swap on slumbering, and then I roll down here. Roll oh again. Oh my god! Okay. And drop down again. And you want to be fairly fast here. So then, what you do once you're down here, you want to get lock onto this guy. Uh huh. Great Solero. Solero. Okay. Drop down, and now you're good. Like, there's another bone wheel here, but. We have slumbering, so it's fine. Ah, uh, okay. And then we make it to the boss. Okay. Easy. Yes, yeah, yeah. Easy. So take off slumber. And just make sure okay. you're prepared to like put it back on after you shoot the arrow, because you you don't want to delay it. it. You turn these guys around so that they don't. It's a, it's a low chance that they follow you down and land on your head, so you just don't want that to happen. Good. Okay. Oh god. That's good. And then you jump down here? Yeah, you, you don't you don't want to wait because you could get exploded there, so. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. And then there should be a guy. Yep, here. just so just angle the camera so that you can see him and then try to lock on. You, you yes. want to see him with the camera. So like look more left and down. Yep, there it is. Oh, there you go. Okay? Good. And then, and then so slowly walk off so you can Yep. Perfect. There it is. Simple. Godlike. 
Yep, so just go to the boss. Where's the boss? This just way? Keep, yep, just go. Oh, okay, okay. Is your health that low too? Yeah, your your health's supposed to be low. It's a, it's a red tier stone set up. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so go in. Go in? Yeah, yeah, go in. It's okay. not immediate boss, so. Oh, right. Okay, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so so now what you do, mm -hmm. you swap slumbering for red tier stone. Okay. Um, And then we're going to cast homing soul mass and then heal. Okay. So the way homing soul mass works is like, it matters when you cast the spell rather than mm -hmm. like so so basically it, it has red tear stone for us right now ah okay because like, it, it has the damage from when it was casted so right so we have it um and now basically we just drop we drop into the arena uh -huh. and then there's like a certain like we do have to cast one extra great soul arrow which i do at like some mark on the ground so, so what you do mm -hmm. so drop down and then try to roll recover here so like you want to roll drop down, roll recover uh -huh. And then when I get to this like little bone pile, is when I like see the bone pile here, is when you shoot yep. the great soul arrow. Got it. Yep. Easy. Okay. Yep, that's it. Oh, motherfucker. It's okay. It, it actually doesn't matter, but. Yep. Just, Oops. Okay. You just want to make sure that no like projectiles get spawned in in time if you're right. a bit slow. Right. But, yeah, but that, that yeah, that's fine. I mean, it's it's pinwheel. So. Okay. I got the mother mask. What'd you get? Uh, I don't even check. It doesn't even matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so now we go through probably the more annoying part. You could oh, say. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. And I would. Should I make a save? Yeah, I would make a save here. All right. So. <laughs> so here's how this part goes. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's just you just got to know where to go. So. But over this part, you yeah, like actually follow the the lights. Okay, to the green. Go past this guy. White. You can dodge past him if you want. And then mm -hmm. just to the left of this bone pile, you want to go off and then roll recover. Okay. And then you oh. land on this other slide, and oh. then you turn, and then the bonfire's down here. Yeah, that's it. Oh, yeah. That's actually it. Easy. It just you just gotta know where you you're at. Okay. That's it for the first part. The second part's probably worse. Oh, oh fuck. boy. Yep, that's uh. Not how it's done. <laughs> yeah, so so you just like follow the prism stones. Okay. Ah, to so the blue got it. And then there's the a skelly, you'll see his eyes, and just you can just like roll whatever attack he does. Okay. And then drop off here. Roll recover, and then turn basically Five. 180, and then bonfires just below. Alright. Easy. One thing that you kind of do need to be aware of in this game is something called yeah. a stored roll. Have you okay. heard of that before? No. It's basically like if you're spamming to try to roll recover, which is what mm -hmm. I remember I was explaining that to you like the other day. Mm -hmm. If if you don't get the roll, roll uh, the recovery, then what the game does, it'll store it, and then you can roll like several seconds later when you're not trying to. Mm. So you just. Oops. Uh, that might have been a bit too far, yeah. Uh-oh. E I see. Um. So then how do you prevent the roll from getting well, stored? So what you can do is block. Blocking clears the... the queue or whatever, so if that <laughs> does happen. But it, you, it, it'll probably be fine. I'm sure you will notice it eventually, though. Okay. But just, just, just so you know, like whenever, just so you know, when it eventually happens where you get an insane stored roll, mm -hmm. you actually know what happened instead of being like, what the hell is this? You know? Did I make it? Oh my God. <laughs> yep. You don't want to do that. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Yeah. And then you want to rest here also. Okay. Um, and now for this next part, we go get tricked by patches. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm good so, at that. So yeah, you just sprint and then go to the prism stone on the edge here, and then cutscene, and then pick up all these souls. Plus, like the, the item that we're really here for is the um, skull lantern. Okay. So you climb the ladder. I'm not sure where you are right now. Oh, yep, that's uh, right. Oh, hello. No, no, just just go, just walk up to the. Oh, uh. Yeah, don't talk walk to him first. To just the... walk up to the. Yeah. 
Oh, here, here we go. go. Ah, and then pick these up. Yep, pick all the stuff up. And then Homeward Bone. And then Homeward Bone. Oh, perfect. Okay. So, right now... Um, surely I remember the spells we need here. I think you can swap... So, so at this point, you want to swap your Great Heavy Soul Arrow to Soul Spear mm. and your Soul Master Soul Spear, I believe. Both of them? Okay. Yeah, I think. Okay. I don't think we need the Soul Mass right now. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe I should go check, but I'm pretty sure this is right. Okay. Maybe I'll just check really fast, actually. Look at me, I'm still beef jerky. Oh man. <laughs> not an just... information overload? No, this time around, it's not really information overload. It's just Orsty and then Smo overload that I'm just like... Hmm. Yep, yep, that's what happens. Okay, let me just check. Oh my yeah, god. I, yeah, there... this is right. This is right, I think. Okay. There's a soul mage emote. Yep, Where so, okay. You with homing soul gems. Okay. So, yeah, two soul spears and a great solero. And then, also, you want to level up your intelligent... Well... Maybe I should check this, too, actually. I think you can level up your intelligence until you have over 20,000... Like, you, you need to make sure you have over 20,000 souls remaining. Over 20k? Yeah, okay. so level up until you're, like, still over 20k, but so as I much as you can. So I have 40 intelligence... And 25k. Just, yeah, I'm just going to check to make sure that this is actually what I did. Okay. You know what? I didn't even swap anything at this point yet, apparently. But... Did you know that there is an emote called Entire Gino Machino Elden Ring? Yes, All I, yeah, I do know about that. No <laughs> yep. What? They made that an emote? <laughs> okay, you know what? I guess we don't actually have to like swap our spells yet. Oh, but okay. just go, so go to Firelink. Okay. So so we need to go get um uh the ring of fog. Which ring of fire. Which I didn't get, level up either. Yeah, don't level up yet. Yeah, because okay. I, I, I don't know what I level up at this point yet. So I think you can level up there, but we also have some more souls to pop that we got. Oh okay. Fair enough. Yeah, so go with the go with the lift and then pop the souls as you get on. And then we're not trying to set up red tear stone or anything, but like just roll off whenever, like as early as you can. But yeah, don't don't like take too much damage here though. Oh, oh. <laughs> you, you don't have to pop it on the lift. It's fine. It's just okay. more efficient. Wait, okay. I thought we we're gonna go buy the fog ringy. Thing. Well, th we need to go back to the asylum. Okay. To, and we trade it in with um. Pickle P or whatever the name is. I forget the <laughs> Pickle P. I, I, isn't it something like that? I don't know. That's just cute. Oh, oops. Oops. Okay. Oh, Snuggly. snuggly. What is Pickle P? What is that? Is that like nothing? <laughs> it's just food. You're just hungers. Okay, anyways. um, Oh, Pickle P is DS3. Okay, that, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, go across. Go up. Okay, so we're going back to the Nestleum. Yep. Oh, there's the nest. You, you, give me stone, smooth. Why did they change the name? Snuggly to Pickle Pea. Pickle Pea and Pumperum. Ah! Wait, what is it in uh, what is it in DS2? I I honestly don't know. I'm so curious. Okay, so at this point, yes, once we're here, all you do... Uh -huh. All you do is go to the left here. Don't fall down. But you want to drop down this part. Get to the ah, nest. Okay. And then you drop the... Uh, you drop the skull lantern. And then quit out. Okay. By the way... I don't think oh, you I need to get to the nest. To the nest first. I don't think I picked up the skull lantern. It's a weapon. It's a, it, like it'll be in the weapon category. It should be near the oh. bottom. Whoa, but okay, yeah, you I gotta get... like actually get to the nest though. Yeah. <gasps> Hello. 
Okay, so this Okay, this can happen if your path uh, depending on your path, but like some people kill them, I guess. I, I I really don't think you need to. But just yeah, you need to take the right path to that. What was my path? Well, I Oh dear. Do you have no death on right now? Yeah. Um Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Well, you can always turn it off, but I'm just, I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I should, well, if I die, die, that's bad. It's probably fine, to be honest. Okay. Because I didn't make a save. Yeah, that's okay. You could just die and then run back up. It's fine. Okay. Let me... But yeah, there's a path okay. where you can take where you don't aggro those guys. And... You. Okay. And then you quit out, and then you get the, the Ring of Fog, and then, like, once you load back in, and then you just Homer Bone after. Okay. So there you go. I died. Uh-oh. I'm all the way over here. That's, that's fine. Okay. Oh, man. Who would have thought those little guys murdered me? You know what? I don't even level up before Seath. I guess there's just no point. Oh, okay. So, so forget about those that save 20k thing I was saying. Got it. Get up here. Hello, it won't go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wait, why are you waiting so long? You can just huh? roll off when you get to the right level. Oh, oh, okay. This wasn't <laughs> yeah. for red tear stones or anything. Okay, got it. I probably also heal here if you actually ah! did take a lot of damage, because if you fall... Oh, it would be GG. You'd probably die. And, it would and then it would be a goodbye run. Yeah. <sighs> understood, understood. Hey, I'm gonna go curl up as a ball again. Oh, yeah, maybe I maybe you do need slumbering on this part, too, actually. I, I don't even... Oh, to not let the... Yeah, maybe that maybe that's actually... I don't know. I could try. I just, I, I always have slumbering on at this point. So like whenever red tear zone is not active, I basically just have slumbering on. So all my souls are, oh, down there. Um, yeah. So just, just like don't slide off, but don't like go super close so that they, they would be able to see you. Okay. They like shouldn't here? aggro. Like that? Oh my God. Are your souls retrievable? <laughs> oh, Woo! okay. Nice. But, but just check if they're aggro. Just see. Yeah. Woo! See this time they're not. Yeah. So slumbering, oh, I guess. Oh, slumbering. Okay. And then... Yeah, so then drop the lantern. Drop and then just quit lantern. out. Okay, and then quit out. Yep. Go back in. And then we homeward. Yep, and then we'll pick up the item, and then homeward bone. Okay. So, that. so that's just like a stealth ring, basically. Okay. Yep, and then you should be back here. So now, okay, so what you actually want to equip here is Soul Spear, both Soul Spears, and you do want to keep homing Soul Mass, apparently. Okay. So. At least Got I it. did in my run. Okay, good. So now, um, we go to Anorlando. So this oh. is where there's going to be another skip here. Okay. That I would highly recommend, and it is pretty simple. Oh, I'm excited. Skips are always good. Yeah, and this is like a big skip. This is probably the biggest time-saving skip we do on this. Okay. We go out. Yeah, so go to... go to So so there's no enemies. And like, the reason... Okay. Like it's the darkened in Orlando, so there's basically no enemies here. You nice. just run... Run up here. So we're doing Seath first. Yeah, we do Seath first. The, the main reason why I did this is just... Uh... Oh, oh yeah. For, okay, well, Logan's gonna be up here. So as soon oh, as we God. kill... As soon as we kill Seath, Logan's going to get freed from the cell. Because right now he should mm -hmm. be in the cell. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, okay, wait, wait, just one second. I, I think what I do on this part is I use... I think I put in Fog and Slumbering for this guy. Okay. Oh, maybe I don't. Or I don't know what I... There was something... Let me put... Okay, I have a... I have a D, uh, DS1 all boss no hit somewhere that I is more up to date. Where would it be? I just want to make sure... Okay, here it is. I just want to make sure I do the right thing here. Ooh, 
So Cease. Um, I guess in all bosses, teams. I actually do other. I do Neither a different though. order, but. And now we're done. We have four more bosses. Oh my god. Oh, I have hidden body, and okay, never mind. That's what I'm getting mixed up. Okay. Oh. Um. So what you can do, or what I normally do here. Okay. Probably make a save, by the way, like in front yep. of this hallway. Um. So I normally. I run up to one of these, like, like one of these columns. Okay. Like, so I think it's the third one from him, and then he starts sprinting, and I just run back, and then outspace his attack, and then go past. Ah, uh, okay. So you don't put on any rings. You you want slumbering on? For okay, that. slumbering, yes. Like, yeah, and then and I'm then you just keep running, mm -hmm. manage your stamina properly, and then you just go around the left side of this guy. Okay. But you don't need so ring of fog. Not yet. But at okay. this point, I, we do want it once you get to the lift, so. Okay. Oops. Alright, here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of different ways you can do this. This is, this is just the way I've done it for a while. So stop here. Yep. And then mm -hmm. as soon as he starts moving, then you sprint back, out space, and then go past. Yep. Perfect. Okay. And just, so recover stamina. You just, he's going to be chasing you, so you just want to make sure you manage your stamina properly here. Right. Yep, that was good. Go around. Yep, and then pull the lever, and then I think they actually can clip you. So make sure, like, just roll to the right after you pull it. Okay. Because they can, I think they can clip you through here. And then you would want to swap on the frog ring here, I believe. Okay. And and also, like, make sure you're in the corner because there's going to be a bunch of enemies up here. Like, in the right corner. Okay. Yep, okay. This, uh, so I have ring of yep. fog and the slumbering. Yeah, so I... We're going to snipe a bunch of guys here. And okay. I think... I don't think we need bellowing. So, so okay. So, here's what I do at this part. Probably mm -hmm. it's probably a good idea to make a save up here. I think it's fine. Like, just make sure you're not on the elevator when you make a save. Because save oh. on the elevator won't work. Whoops. So just go, like, next to that lever, yeah? Got it. Okay. So, what I do... Mm -hmm. Is take off slumbering. So that I can bait this first guy out. So, I shoot, I think, the pillar... And then you can put it back on. And then he was... Uh, that's not right. Oh boy. Okay. I, maybe I should uh -oh. <laughs> look at what I do. <laughs> what do I do? Uh, okay, wait. I shoot the right side of the pillar, I guess. Better chaos. 14. Oh. Wait, what's a centipede demon? Uh, it's, it's a boss. Ah. Okay, so take off slumbering. Okay. Get the right side of this pillar to bait this guy out, and then put slumbering back on. Okay. Then swap to soul spear. Mm -hmm. uh, what? Ooh. Oh, I guess you can just shoot straight through that thing. Okay, Murdered. well, there you go. Okay, so do that, and then you can go around the right side, lock on and shoot this guy. And then you can go and lock on and shoot this guy. You want these two to be aligned so you get a two and one. Okay. And then that's all the enemies in this room cleared, basically, that you need to worry about, so. Okay. Well, it's actually not, but. Yeah, so, so, lower, uh, yeah, that should, that's probably fine. I'm not sure if you can lock onto him, but I just free aimed him. This guy. Oh. Shit. Shit. Well, that was a mistake. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's a problem that you missed so many times, but. Okay. Yeah, okay, let me try it one more time. This is just like the the super safe way of going through here. There's there's, you can go through here a, a much more quickly, but nah, be safer. Okay, so we shoot. So take off slumbering if you didn't already. Uh, I think it's off. Okay. I lied. <laughs> can you know my game too well, Gino? Okay. Yep. And I'm just gonna aim. Keyboard mouse. Okay. okay. And and go then... on the right side and lock on and kill this guy. Kill that guy. Okay. Then lock on and kill these two. Did they both die? Just one died. Yeah. If you were if you were further up, that should be fine. You can just go okay. shoot the other guy. 
Or maybe it didn't have enough range. Okay. Shot. Okay, so now, um, I'm pretty sure I shoot the guy on the right as well, so just one second. Oh, maybe I don't. But leave the poor man alone. Leave the poor boy alone. I guess you don't need oh. to. Or okay. I don't know actually. I guess it's to save soul spears. No, no, uh, soul spears. Like we're gonna rest soon anyway. So. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, and oh wait, no, in my old bosses I Okay, never mind. I'm just misremembering stuff. Okay, so so okay, so what you do. Okay. Come to the base of the stairs here, and then we're gonna wanna take this path. Alright. Okay, so you sprint. Like you wanna go through the left part of the door. Left part of the door. And then go around this guy. Go around the guy. Uh -huh. Get in. Get in. Up the stairs. To the left of this guy. Left of that guy. Okay. Left, left, left. And then pull the lever. All right. Left, left, and go left, up. Pull lever. Okay. Easy peasy. Can I save here? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Easy peasy first shot. Let's go. I think that's the right path, at least. Pretty sure. One thing you can also do is like wait behind that bookcase for the uh for the channeler to like shoot a spell first. Mm-hmm. But I don't think you need to. Oh done. Alright, and this is where the skip is. Okay. So um I think we're light enough that we don't have to unequip any anything. But so here's what you do. Okay. I would make a save, so like go to the solid ground and then make a save. Mm-hmm. So this is this is Duke Skip. So I, I don't know if you remember the first encounter with Seath, where you yeah, have to die. Yeah, he puts me in like a jail cell. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we mm -hmm. skip all that. So what you do? Um. So, okay, so the first step is you angle your camera all the way down, and then like slightly to the left is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I remember actually how to do this. <laughs> but oh but the first part <laughs> of the skip is getting onto the ledge of the elevator, which is okay. like probably the. I don't know if it's really the harder part, but it's pretty, it's simple. Okay. But so yeah, you, you aim your camera down to the left and then you pull lever and then lock on. So hit the lock on button, scope, roll once to the right, once forward, and then once back. Okay. That's, that's, that's the first part. Okay. So now you're on the ledge and then you're like ready to do the skip at that point. <laughs> okay. It's, it's like, this is where we actually take advantage of the four directional roll that this game has. Right. And that's oh, why this because once you lock on, you go yeah. right, it, and it's the same with back. once you scope. So that's why this setup is so consistent on getting on the left. Got it. So, so first aim here. But you you need to have the bow out, obviously, like the bow for the oh, right. Um, yeah, okay, for, for scoping. scoping. Uh -huh. So so All aim the your way down. camera down and to the left. Yeah, and to the and left. Pull, uh -huh. pull, lock on, scope. Oh, oh. you got to lock on first. It's so that you, like, like the lock-on is so that you line up your camera properly. Wait, lock-on to what? Nothing. Oh, like you... got yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. Let's try this again. So lock-on, then scope, then right, front, back, right? Correct, yeah. All right, easy. All the way down. All the way down to the left. Pull. Lock on scope. Yep, and then right, right. forward. Oh, you gotta, you gotta, what? no, you gotta roll. It's rolls. Oh, huh. Got it. Okay. It's probably faster to just quit out than go all the way back up the elevator if you made the safe up there, but that's oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, fair enough. I got it this time. And then we get on the ledge, right? Yep, and then you get on the ledge. I'm mm -hmm. just going to remember how to do this next part. I think I remember. It's really like with this setup, it's actually what? so free. I did the right and the left. I actually didn't see. Okay. 
there is like a weight requirement here. So if you if you have too much stuff equipped, then you don't get enough distance, I believe, and then you don't make it. But it should be fine in our case. Yeah, so. I feel like we're we're okay. So here, up to the left. So pull, lock on, scope, right, left. Yep, and pull, make sure you're like you're doing on. it as quickly as you can. Scope. Oh, I'm stupid. I didn't have the. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Do it as quickly as possible. Okay. Yeah, like don't spam, but also you need the rolls to be like in succession. You can't have any delay. Okay. Right, forward, back. Okay. All the way down to the left. Lock on is right. Okay. 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 Lock on scope. Did it work? Yep, that's perfect. Oh! Okay. It did it. So the next part of the skip is the the timing part. And and Okay. So like I guess maybe it's a bit harder. Okay. So okay, so you do the first part of the skip. Mm-hmm. We get on the ledge. So now we don't unscope. We move our camera here. So I'll have to show you this in slow motion. That's the skip. Okay, so pillar. When the scope hits pillar roll. No, no, no. So, so let me show you this in slow motion so you can actually see it. Okay. And I'll show you the the cues that at least I use. Mm, mm. So. Okay, so once you get to this part, like once you do that back roll, start aiming. So you want your camera to be the lowest possible height. Mm -hmm. and you want to move it to the right. So you want to like angle your camera down to the right. Okay. Like as soon as you do that last roll. So. In this case, I roll right, forward, and then back. And then as soon as I back. start going, I move my camera to the right. So what I'm lining up here mm -hmm. is you see the, the, the right corner of the uh, like arrow bar or whatever? Yes, yes. You want this lined up with, a, it's not that precise, but around uh. the, the, the left part of this band in the wall. Okay. Okay, so it's like around it. Yes. And so once you line that up, then you go down the elevator. So, so everything's lined up. Right. And now it's just the timing of the roll. And you roll forward, okay? So you stay okay. scoped in, so you roll straight. And then you mm -hmm. roll. I roll when I see this band here. Or like mm -hmm. when my crosshair gets around at this band. And then you mm -hmm. just roll straight forward. That's it. Okay. So. Oh, boy. It's actually, like, this skip is actually really easy to do. So you line it up. And then get to the band. And then roll forward. Okay. And it's, it's, like, the reason why it's not the hardest is because it's not that precise. Oh, it's the timing. Okay. Like, a, there's, there's a pretty solid like there's a pretty big range of timings that work and then there's also a pretty big range of lineups that work so mm -hmm. you don't need to worry about it being like perfect so down onto the right oh yeah see Whoa. like this is why i say like people get the I skip first try because this setup is so good <laughs> oh, okay Woo. yep like i'm pretty sure i said last week that you would get the skip first try yeah and, and like did. people oh my god yeah i'll probably do it one more time but you are <laughs> a soothsayer. Yeah, I think when you're explaining it, it sounded a lot more intimidating than when it actually like executing it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, sweet. You just explained it very well, Gino. I think it's just the skips really easy, but yeah, okay. this skip saves. I'm not sure how much time it saves on no hit, but it's like a pretty substantial amount of time. So. Hmm. Oops. Yeah, that, yeah, that was a bit early. Yeah, that was way early. Okay. You, whenever, whenever you your crosshair gets to that band in the wall. Okay, crosshair to the band in the wall. Oh, okay. fully buffered setup. Like you queue up the like some unusable item or something. Huh? Uh, well, uh, I, well, someone's saying that there's a there's a setup that like probably you don't even need to time it. I guess. But I, oh. I, I like I don't know. Hello? I yeah, rolled it was too though. late that time. What the? I pressed circle. Well, you did roll. It's just you were. It was too late. Ah. Uh... Okay, so I got on the first try, but then the second and third is like, what's going on? All right. Let me try this other setup here. I guess. Mm -hmm. Except. Hmm. Okay, I'm on it. Whee! I, 
I, I'm just, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying this other set to see if this is, like, I, I think, I don't know. Yeah. Oh. Okay, that that's not the setup apparently. But anyways, yeah, like it's I don't know. It's I've I've literally never missed this. Okay. So I got it. Okay, let me do it again and then uh mm -hmm. and we continue on. But basically you just go in the hallway, you snipe the guy, and then And we win! Teeth time, baby. Yep, so time we go in here. Teeth. Soul spear this guy. Okay. Go in there. Soul spear. And now all we do... It's very easy to, to forget what to do at this part, so just... Don't forget. Okay. So you so just keep sprinting down oh, here. Go okay. underneath the guy's thing. Okay. okay. And you want to sprint to this ladder. Get on the ladder, and then don't slide down, but, like, go down. And then once the arrow goes over your head, then you slide down. Because oh, if you, if you slide down immediately, you? you'll get hit by the arrow. So, Got or like it. pretty consistently. And then you pull this lever. Now, this guy can actually arrow or like shoot an arrow down here. So, I just back up here and then I go get the bonfire. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's that's doable. With me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. How do I drop down again? Uh, tap B. Yep. Okay. Pull the lever and back up just in case. Okay, and go get the bonfire. Easy. Okay, nice. Yeah, so at this point, you do want to rest. Mm-hmm. To get your Let me just make sure I didn't level up at this point. I, I would assume I didn't, but... I don't know why I would. Oh, this I had a fiasco at this point. What was the fiasco? Um... Fiasco sounds like fun, like a party. No, it was not. Parties it was are fun. where fiascos are at. Okay, so now at this point, so we rested here, we got the uh -huh. bonfire, and now we are just running to Seath, basically. So, yeah, the reason we need this bonfire is because Logan's going to show up here after we kill Seath, and then we can get, like, mm -mm. the ultra-empowered spells. Mm -mm. But yeah, basically, pull this lever. Mm -hmm. Go down here. Make sure you don't delay here, because there's a guy that... I oh, think he actually aggroed here. But yeah, so jump off this. Okay. And just go around these. We we should have slumbering and fog at this point. So. And then so I all the way down. Okay. Yeah. So go down here, and then I think at this mm -hmm. point I normally actually take off a uh, fog ring. Okay. And then so slide down this part. You want to take some damage on the way here because this is going to be a red tear stone setup. And then this guy just go past him. Got it. Fly down. Go past. That's the right. And then we go up this uh, crystal, and then we just drop off. And this should be okay. red tear stone. Right. Oh, if it's not, it's actually not the end of the world. Like in this case, it's actually not for me. But there, there's another drop that we can do later. So, okay. so you go across this uh, thing. Mhm. Mm and this this part's kind of tricky because this this section can be like a little slippery, and you can easily fall off. So I go I go on the left side. Okay. At the left edge, and then I just roll his attack, and then this is where it's slippery, so... If you go on the left part, then it should be fine, and then this is where we can take fall damage, so you can jump off here. Okay. And take fall damage, and that should be enough for my red tier stone, but... Obviously, you wouldn't want to wait here, because that guy, but... Right, right. Yeah, and then you go across. Okay, just go straight, got it. And... Now we should be good here. Oh my god, okay, that's a lot! Well, it's, but it's, it's a long... Yeah, it's a long part, but it's... It's I'll not that complicated. Best. I'll try my best. Okay. Keep running. And then when I pull the lever, I will fix my screen. Wait, what's wrong with it? Uh, no worries. Okay, and then run down. Okay. 
And then don't take my time. Just keep running. Yep, and then jump off the corner. Oh. Ooh, and then just keep running. That was not a jump, but that's okay. Oh, that was... Oh, oh whoops. That was no, a... No, like you actually want to jump, you know? Ah, right, right. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Okay. So now here. Yeah, so at, the, at this point, I usually take off Ring of Fog. D yeah, the guys behind you might be chasing you, so... Yep, yep, yep. Slide down. Yep, okay, that's good. Okay. Should I run around this guy? I'll go, go around the right, the right side. Of, uh, like, go around the left. right side? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. and then... The crystal on the right there, go, go up to the top of it, and then drop off the left. Okay, that's good. Uh, so turn, uh, yep, that way. Okay, and then run across. Yep. Okay, and then run up the left side to mm -hmm. prevent slidage. Yeah, and then dodge around the right when he mm -hmm. attacks you. Okay. And then this is the part where you want to jump off so that you take more damage if you need to. Okay. Yep, there it is. Yep, and then you're good. Ooh. And then just run straight, right? Yep. Um, and then I, th I think a save file this far back is okay, but I honestly don't know. It might not be He's okay. He's still chasing. Well, yeah, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be waiting here. Oh, okay. So, okay, so this next part, uh, fog ring back on. Oh, it needs to be further back. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, you know what? I guess, like, this actually is kind of important, so maybe run back up. I, I think it's fine to just run back. So run back up, and then when you get into the cave, just make a save. Like, where the lizards are. Run back up? Right spot. Well, yeah, just for just to make a save file right now. Okay, how like, far back up? Just uh, just until you get in the cave. Yeah, just, like, quit out here. Oh, just and quit then out quit here. out here? Yep. Okay. Whew. Yeah, just because this is another boss where the AI gets totally messed up if... Okay. If you make a save too close, so. Okay. But anyways, so so yeah, you would get across, and then you put back on a uh, ring of fog. Okay. And then we basically just run to the boss, so. All right. Put on ring. Enter hole. And then ah, enter that hole. Okay. Yep. And then so we go past the clams. You should be able to just sprint straight through here. I mean, some of them are going to aggro, but because we have both stealth rings on, mm -hmm. um, they're going to make it into the boss arena, but they won't. They should de-aggro. So, so okay. we go go in here. Mm -hmm. And then Seed's going to spawn in. Mm -hmm. So then usually I come back here. And then mm -hmm. you just want to wait a little bit to, you know, give time for the other guys to despawn and then swap off the two rings, the two stealth mm -hmm. rings. And then you wait. And then when Seed stops, you roll t uh, twice. Whoops. That was three times. Maybe three times actually right. And then start spamming. Okay. Like at the at the ball part. At the balls. At his balls. I need to check. I, I think you roll twice normally. Like it's just to okay. time it so that Seath isn't in the invulnerability, and then you just spam soul spears until the boss dies. Okay. And you want ring of fog and slumbering on, right? But then yeah, but once you get into the boss, you wait uh -huh. a bit behind the crystal and then you swap them out. Because you need red okay. tear stone and And the bell crest, right? Yeah, and you need the belling, yeah. Okay. Let me just All make right. sure. Let's do this. Okay, so it is two rolls. It's two rolls, not three. Two rolls, okay. And then start spamming. Yep, and then just spam, and the boss should die before anything happens. So this is why we got two copies of Soul Spear. Okay. Running. Running. Managing my stamina. Running. Managing my stamina. Running. Okay, run back to here. Yep, so this should be good to swap out the rings now. Okay. And then so as soon as Seath stops, then you roll mm -hmm. forward twice. And then start, yep, perfect. And then like just keep walking forward up to the belly part or whatever okay. it is. Yep, and that should be it. Okay. Easy! Easy! Yep. Crystal Dragon. Yeah, it's funny. This oh boss is God. supposed to be resistant to magic damage, but when you... Oh, really? 
<laughs> yeah, when you have this set up, it just doesn't matter, apparently. Damn. Just break the game. Okay, uh, so at this point... Oh, light at this bomb. point, we rest, and then we're going to go back to the Duke's archives. Got it, got it. Uh, warp to Duke's archives. Yeah, now, and now this is probably like the last boss that you will have to probably learn. Like, I guess you want to learn Four Kings too, but... Oh, boy. But the other ones, like, you don't... I mean... The other ones are pretty straightforward, so... What we do now is we're going to go... So, so Logan gets freed after Seath dies. Mm-hmm. And so he's going to be in here. And now we buy a Crystal Soul Spear, which is, uh, like, Empowered Soul Spear. Oh, wow. Which okay. Which is 50k. And then we also buy Homing Crystal Soul Mass. Homing Crystal Soul Mass and Crystal Soul Spear. Got it. Yep. Come again. Hi, buddy. Okay. Crystal Soul Spear. And homing crystal soul mask. Got it. Yep. And now. Oh no. Yep. So cast <laughs> cast your soul mask and then hit him with a soul spear. And kill him. We kill him because we want his style hat, obviously. Oh god. Hello? <laughs> He's invincible! No, you you just missed him. Oh, there you go. But no, the Wait, real reason why we kill we him... we just kill him for the hat? No, no, no. He drops the uh, tin crystallization catalyst. That's why we kill oh, him. Oh, okay. I was like, half a great Which bonus, is like, but... uh, like an ultra catalyst, but it cuts your spell uses in half. Uh-huh. So you, you kind of want to like pick and choose where you use it. Obviously, on bosses, it's insane because we kill them so quickly. Insta-kill, uh, yeah. Okay, anyways. And then now we run back to... The helmet also, by the way, doesn't actually do anything. But it's it just, cute! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I usually put it on just because I can, but it doesn't it's actually adorable. do anything. It's adorable! Okay. Um, so now we want to equip... Uh, we want to swap out homing soul mass for crystal homing soul mass. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we also want to equip the middle soul spear. We want to swap it out for great soul arrow again. Great like the middle arrow. One. Okay. And the reason we want the middle one is because on boss fights, we're like, at this point, we're going to be swapping. Like, we're going to cast homing soul mass and then swap to soul spear. And then shoot. Okay. Them. And yeah. That's why you want the middle one because, like, just when you're swapping. Okay. So just to make energy. sure soul spear, uh, great yeah, soul, soul arrow, and then yeah. homing crystal mass. Got it. Yep. And then uh, I think we just pump everything into intelligence at this point. So okay. You just get a bit of intelligence. Everything, so 41. I'm at 41. Yep, that sounds right. Okay. Okay, and now... Um, now we go back to Firelink, and we're gonna go... Yeah, we need to run to Sif, to Sif now. But we... Like, the reason we go to Firelink is because Happy! we gotta set up Red Tearstone. Got it. Oh, at the Evelator? Yep. Okay. And and this is... Like, I, I keep the hammer for this reason so that I can set up Red Tearstone a bit more quickly, but you don't need to use it. Oh. Okay. Did you use the <laughs> tin catalyst thingy, whatever? Uh, I haven't swapped to it yet. And and then oh, okay. also, like, make sure you swap back to the stealth rings. Oh, right. So, yeah, set up right to your stone. Like, the nice part about the hammer is that you can potentially set it up in two drops. Like, you can roll off the elevator and then roll off the thing again, and then you have red tear stone already. Uh-huh. Just save some time, but... Wait, I rolled off once and fell. If I roll yeah. off again, I die, right? Well, yeah, just remember you go to the stairs that are on your right, and then you finish off. Because, like, oh, yeah, you definitely right, don't right. have red tear stone yet. Okay. Go to these stairs and then finish off here. Well, Wait, what? you need to go, like, to the further part. Oh, right yeah, here, yeah. and then you yeah, yeah, yeah. will. Oh my god. Yeah, that, well, you can just go through the window and go back around. Okay. That's, that wasn't what, what I meant, but that also works. Okay. Like, so, I, are you in red tear stone? Almost. Well, you don't, do you have it on? Oh, yeah, you do, okay. I think I do, yeah. Now I do. There you go. Okay, so now swap back to the rings. And then you go back up the elevator, and now we just basically run straight to Andre. <laughs> So just straight through. Oh, okay. 
both and rings, you'll never right? guess what we're gonna do with Andre. <laughs> we're gonna kill him. Yep. Wait, are you serious? Yeah, we kill him. Oh, I was. It's because the we need the crest of Artorius, which cost. Well, we don't need it, but we get the crest of Artorius, which costs twenty k. I think it's twenty k uh... normally. We obviously do not have twenty k. Yep. So okay, that's that's a shame. Well, he's trying to scam us, so. That's well, what he he's gets. not really scamming. He's always been a good friend. <laughs> no, he's scamming. Why wouldn't he just give us the crest? He has a family to feed. He's got children at home. He can't just give stuff away for free. Um, I can't remember if you can use Great Soul Arrow for this or not. Time to I, witness. I, I just made a. I made a save. I like normally. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, yeah, you definitely do not want to rest there. <laughs> I messed up. Yep. All right, you you can just back. warp back and reset it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm warping back. I'll watch you potentially murder him. Yeah, I just want to see, like, because Great Solero, we don't... Like, ideally, we would save our soul spears. Mm -mm. Yeah, you, you can just use Great Solero if you want. Okay. Actually, you know what? You know what you could do? Mm. is switch to the tin crystallization catalyst and then use soul spear or soul ar arrow uh, soul arrow and then you don't need to take that much oh yeah that makes yeah, sense just so it kills him into it so but yeah you like swap back to red tearstone and bellowing and then oh right oh right okay and shoot him and then shoot him again in the case that he survives what you can do is run back up here Mm -hmm. and then go down here. And then what'll happen, he'll get stuck on the bonfire. Just in okay. case that ends up happening. Okay. And then you can kill him, finish him off, right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God. Fall off. And then do another tiny fall. Oh god, this hammer's so heavy. Okay. Alright. And then... 10. Running back! Okay. I got myself in the red zone again. Yeah, that's good. So... Okay. Do I would I swap back to swap? stealth here. I would swap it out? Yeah, I think so. You still need... Okay. I, well, we run past a bunch of enemies, so I feel like it... I, I feel like ah, it's a good idea, but you probably don't need it. I'm sure you don't actually need it, but... Just in case. Better safe than sorry. Okay. Running, running, running. Oh boy, he still shoots at me. Yeah, there's like an ultra rare meme where you can get shot when you're running past here like this. Like, you can get shot like right now, but... Oh. I've, I've never had it happen to me, so I've, I've only okay. seen it. Alright, so... Don't touch the bonfire this time. Stand right Oops. over here. Then. Yeah, and then swap back to red tier zone bellowing, and then you free aim this shot, and then you walk up the stairs a bit, and then you should be able to lock on and just shoot him again. Can I save? Yeah, yeah, I made a save here. Yeah. Okay. And also, the hat definitely makes it harder to free aim this, so just ah. <laughs> like you can take okay, it off so if free, you want. Free aim him, and then. And then run up the stairs, you said? Yeah, run up the stairs and then lock on, and then you should just be able to shoot again. And it should track them. Oh. Well, I meant, like... Like, you would lock onto him when you're moving up the stairs. Oh. Like, yeah. You can, you should be able to go down and lock onto him and then shoot him again. Yeah, like, right here, you should be able to shoot him. Oh, maybe lock not. Uh -oh. Yeah, so, like, you go up the stairs. Oh. Yeah, I guess this works, too. You just gotta watch yeah, out. He has an insane drop kick that he can do, so. Oh. Oh, my God. He's just... Oh, dear. Okay, okay. anyways. Uh, and then back to stealth. All right, back to stealth. And now we run... So, what I do for this Titanite Demon mm -hmm. on the way back is basically just, like, walk into the corner until he aggros, and then I just wait until he... Like, he should shoot. Um... A lightning, I think. Okay. I think I normally wait. Yeah, and then just wait for the lightning and then 
Just run to the right side. Okay, and then run through. Yep. Oh, and then you're good? Yep. Yeah, and then, okay. like, yeah. That's, this should be fine for this little section. Uh, yeah, maybe like, you don't want to go that close to him because he does have like insane range. So just ah, okay. Yeah, just a bit for the right. Okay, so now um, we remember those like grass dudes we ran past. So just we're behind them now. So you just shoot them. Okay. And then we go we go straight this time. So instead of going like we came from the right, we go straight and then we just shoot all the other grass guys. Okay. There's another one here. So go straight. Two. Okay. Yeah, Another so then... Two. Yeah, so kill mm -hmm. that guy. And okay. now when we get to this part, um, I there's a guy that's in the ground that you can shoot, so I walk up to the rock. And then this is a free aim as well, but I usually don't even use keyboard for this, because I guess you can. Just shoot him in the in the ground. And then there's the last guy just past here. He's in the ground. Okay. So there's there's four, four of them in total okay. that you need to is worry about. Is this dead ahead from the rock? Um, no, he's, you'll see him, like, he's further up. Oh, not this rock? Like, you turn the corner, and then, so, so, you're, you're right here. And right. then you turn the corner, and then there's another rock. And you'll oh, see him. The other rock. Yeah. Oh, and free aim him from that rock. Yeah, like, you just shoot him. Shoot him in the ground. Okay, I see him. Hello, cutie. Oops. Okay. Nice. And then you just go lock on the last guy and kill him. There you go. Okay. And then go uh go open the crest. Or open yes, the door, sir. or whatever it is. It should be safe now, right? Yeah, yeah, there's nobody else here. Okay. Unless you take the wrong path up here somehow, which I don't even understand how you would do. <laughs> somehow I can manage. Okay, open the door. Yep, open the see. door. And now you basically just go up the left side here. Like, make sure you have your stealth stuff on, and then go up the left side of the, of the forest part. Mm -hmm. Go up the left and side. And then go wide around this NBC, and then you just go through the door. Like, basically, at this point, we're just running this SIF, so. Okay. Like, go wide around this guy. Cross the bridge. Okay. Yeah, if you also need more damage, there is, like, an, this is a damage drop here, so, like, technically you could set, set up Red Tear Stone here. Oh. This okay. little building. Run wide. Got it. Yep, and then once you're through there, basically just go straight. Like, just, just run to the Sif. Like, just go straight okay. through. Was it upstairs or downstairs? Uh. Sorry. Downstairs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, wait, this is another, I don't know how far, far back the save needs to be here, but another boss that kind of gets messed up. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, what's going on in your screen? What the heck? I don't know what's going on. That is magical? I've never seen this before. Oh, it's. Oh, oh. Do you know, do you play with, like, extra foliage? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. There's, like, a waterfall that uh -huh. I hear when I'm not on this, but when I'm on it, I don't hear anymore. Oh. I hear the waterfall in my game, too. Okay, anyways. um, So, run this if, and then make a save, like... <laughs> $40, by the way. Make a, make a save when you're... Um, like before you drop down, I guess, on the okay. bridge. Oh, I see it. Are the mushrooms friendly? Uh, no. Okay. Well, they're chasing after me. No, they're super slow. Like, you're fine. Okay, so make a save here, right? Yeah, save here should be fine, I think, yeah. Hopefully. Saved! Okay. So now it's the Sif fight, so... You're, you're gonna want the Crystallization Catalyst. 
this. Okay. Because we want to deal as much damage as possible. Mm-hmm. I put Red Tear Stone and Bellow Quest as well. Yep, yep, that's correct. And now before we go into the fight, um, homing Somas. Okay. And now we're we're just basically trying to get an opening for Soul Spear. And then like if we get good RNG, the Soul Mass will basically take away all of his health bar. Mm -hmm. So th Not like the this poppers. is a, this is a boss that you need to know the moveset of. Like there's no okay. way around it. So Okay. So he does this one. He actually did follow it up so I can shoot him. These are like a, a lot of my soul mass did miss there actually. Mm. He's so, so he does follow up so I can Oh wow. Yeah, like I said though, like you need to know this moveset, and his moveset is a little tricky. He's got a pretty fast attack, so. Oh boy. Oh <laughs> so yeah, you gotta practice him. Okay. This might be another one I just do no death. Yeah, you'd you'd want to no death practice this for sure. Okay. Like make make a boss invincible. No death, and then just fight maybe, him for a while. Maybe so before you activate, got ever. it. No, I messed up. <laughs> it's fine. It's Goodbye. fine. Wait, did he? Yeah, see, so he just landed on you. That is a hit. That's oh. why, yeah. Puffy, so fluffy, though. Sorry, I can't, I can't, I don't think I can ever get mad at Sif. He's uh, Yogurt, cute. thanks for the eight month reset, dude. Okay. I did. Yeah, let I me show you, let me show you some sword. of the punishes here, I guess. Okay. Like, so that you can actually, like, see what a fight would be like. To, oh, yeah, so my save file, I guess, was too close. So that's why he does the weird turn. So you can outspace this one. Lock on and shoot him. Okay. So this one again. You can outspace the spinny spin. Okay. Um, you know what? I kind of forgot how to fight him. <laughs> <laughs> this one you can roll into, and then if he follows okay. it up, then you can shoot him. Because you're inside. Just okay, like that. Mm -hmm. and, and this fight is all about maintaining your distance. So right there, like... He could have stepped on me if I was at the wrong distance, but I was at the right distance, so. Okay. But yeah, so this one roll in. If he follows it up, then you attack. Got it. So maintain the distance so I can roll through and not get stepped on. You just got to get a feel ah. for that, that distance. Okay, that's the quick back swipe. Okay, this one, if he, if he does a follow up, then we attack. And then just get out from underneath him. Roll in. Okay. Follow up. So we can attack. So we can attack okay. as well. You could also use Soul Mass on this one if you wanted. Oh, okay. So this one, you'd want to... I oh, see, I just got landed on, actually, because I... I should... uh... You want to go back to the front. Right, not be Like, I, I went too far through, get... basically. So you want to go back here. Because you can get stepped down with those cute, fluffy paws. At least I think. Although I don't actually remember being that close, though. Okay. So as long yeah, like as that. That's, that's the correct him, way to do it. Okay, if you're in front of him, he won't step on you. Well, you just don't want to be underneath him, basically. Oh. Um. Oh, that's a back. Okay. That's the, what run you'll, rolling. You'll get used to seeing the cues for when he follows stuff up. Like, okay. it's a little tricky to see at first. And then, yeah, obviously, when he gets injured, you just snipe him. Aww. Um, But, yeah, it's, it, it is a little tricky to, like, actually maybe, maybe see when he's going to follow something up. So okay. I'm actually really surprised this Feels is too like close to him. longer than two and a half years. Okay, let's go on through. Uh, Chris, thanks so much for the the twenty nine month resub, man. Gonna be Welcome simple. back, dude. Hope you've been doing well. So I thought you had to touch the sword, but you don't have to. Yeah, touch no, no. The you sword. just it's like a yeah, like an activation zone. Okay, and go through. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a pretty that's a pretty consistent opener. Like okay, in fact, so that one you can kind time. of expect. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so roll to the right on that one, and then okay. if the follow-up comes, then you shoot a soul spear. 
Roll to the right? Okay. <laughs> I roll right, and then wow. I follow up Soul Spear. Wow, this was mean. I got insta-slapped. Yep. He is, he is a tricky fight. Like, it's a lot of people get stepped on, and you just got to know the punish openings. But we have so much. Like, this is a, this is kind of at the point in the run where our damage compared to a melee route just mm, goes out, like, does it? way higher. Mm, mm, mm. Get wrecked, puppers. And so now we just start destroying the boss. Nice. Sif, no hit. Yep. Sif, yeah, Sif, and Sif with the no hit run. Still won't bring his master back. Oh. Okay. Okay. Be nice to the puppers. Yeah, Snow, you, small, you suck at this game. Okay, here we go. Oh. Oh, I'll space this. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, he's just limping. Okay. He's dead. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I said, though, like, so this sad. is definitely... I still need to practice. I just... That needs to be practiced. Yeah, you gotta, you yeah, gotta learn the moveset perfectly. Because I got here, really so. lucky because he, um... I think all of my stuff hit him. Yeah, if, if all of your soul mass hits him, then he should only have, like, a sliver of HP left, and then you just... Yeah, and then he just starts yeah. limping, so it's like, oh, okay. And like I, I usually free him here as well, so you wanna, mm. you know, get used to like knowing where to shoot him. Mm -hmm. Wait, follow up. He goes into a different animation, like on that follow up. It, it's just it's not super obvious to tell, I guess. Yeah, you could see his ears like prick up a slight bit oh, more. Oh, I just and he actually goes, missed ah! stuff. Oh. Though maybe that's still safe. I don't even know. Hmm. I I just wouldn't do that. Okay, anyways, so yeah, Sif's dead. Wait until you get the Homeward Bones. So you can you can pop his soul here if you want, while you're waiting. Okay. You get blood. three, right? Or you got one, okay. Yeah. Okay, and now we Homeward Bone. Okay. Surely we'll get to the end of this today, right? Yeah, that's it, right? That's all we needed to do. Sif was easy. Yeah, four kings, surely four <laughs> kings. Four <laughs> kings actually insanely good with this route, by the way. Really? Oh, I love hearing uh, that. Culinary that's in the Fall, oh, nice, dude. Hear. Hell yeah. I'd actually, like, I, I was kind of thinking about uh -oh. something similar at one point in time, but... Warp to Duke? Uh, well, you, um, so where we go now is, like, this is, this will be your last rested spot. So you'd be mm -hmm. here, but it doesn't actually matter. Um, mm -hmm. get to 44 intelligence. 16 attunement. Mm -hmm. Actually, in this case, I, I, I have enough for 45, but just, all you need is 16 attunement. And mm -hmm. then the rest goes into intelligence, I believe. Mm -hmm. And now you're going to want to attune Bristol Soul Spear mm -hmm. on that last, like, open slot. Oh. So it should be, the order should be Soul Spear, Great Soul Arrow, um, Home and Crystal Soul Mass, and then Crystal Soul Spear. Done. And now we go back to Firelink again. So, actually, you know what? I guess it's... It's probably better to rest that fire link on the way to Sif, now that I think about it. Okay. Oh, well, actually, you know what? I forgot we can't because... <laughs> yeah, I forgot. We can't? Yeah, we can't oh, because... the setup. No, 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 because no. the... um. So we didn't deal with Lawtrek, so he killed the firekeeper, and now the fire is gone. It's very annoying, oh. but... Oh. Like, what, what you could do is kill him. Or, actually, no, this... Never mind. The way this route goes, you don't like, you don't really have an option, I guess. God darn it! Okay. Unless you free him later. But okay, so now we're so we're going down to um, New Londo. Okay. And this section kind of sucks. Oh wait, wasn't New Londo with all the ghosts? Yep. <sighs> it's okay. It's Do a good strat here. To? Okay. So we go there's, all there's the way like to New Londo. There's one spot in particular that's probably the hardest part. Okay. But anyways, go down the elevator, send it back up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I maybe don't do what I just uh -oh. did. Which is yeah, I was like, oh. I've actually never done that before. You got Angie. Oh my god, I actually got, got 
blasted by him. Oh no! Anyway, so yeah, yeah go down to the left. Mm -hmm. Um, and then obviously get the... Whatever these are called. Transient Curse. Oh. Oh, okay. And then I would make a save here also. Oops, that's S stock. Um It's in it's in the pot down there, yep. Oh, got it. Got it? Okay, so now what we do, so we're gonna mm -hmm. use the transient curse. Uh, uh yeah, use transient curse and then we take this path and we gotta kill these enemies and, and this positioning is like kind of important, so So you go wide right there. here, around this guy. Wide right, okay. Upstairs. Wide right, upstairs. Upstairs, and you can just go past all these guys. And then, um, we're gonna get to this part, like the furthest, uh... Like you see on the ground, on my left, like mm -hmm. my left foot, there's the... A broken like offset one? tile or whatever. Like you go, yeah. you go to that point, and then this at this point, like the enemies will, behind won't chase you. So okay. So yeah, you kill the first guy, uh, and then after that, you walk just into this hallway, and then mm -hmm. you go back. Okay. Go back walk to that hallway. spot. Go back to that spot. And then you wait. So this is gonna trigger one of the ghosts to go through the ground, and then we kill him. And now for the last one we kill here, we go up to like you know this pillar, I guess, and then we just shoot. This one that's blocking the way. Okay. And then we're good to go through. All right. So. All right. Let's do this. I have Ring of Fog and um, Slumbering on. It, yeah, it, it, it shouldn't matter. Um, it shouldn't matter what you have. Like, I, stealth doesn't even affect these enemies anyways. So, oh, at least as far as I'm gotcha. aware. There's one enemy later, I guess. Like, there's a dark wraith that we can use stealth for, but... Uh, so, left, okay. left, left. Up the stairs, left. Oh, right, right, yep. left. Okay. The stairs. Run past here. Yep, and then... That offset tile thing. Offset tile? Yep, that's right. And then you just wait. Okay. Okay, and, and then, then go past run. that door so that you bait the other guy up. Yep, there it is. Okay. You just make sure you don't go too far there. Okay. Because then the whole room will trigger, which is bad. All right. That's yep, done. And then, and then go up to the spot again and then frame that guy who's in the door. This door, right? Yep, that's correct. Yep. Okay, and then free aim for this guy. Oh. That's it. <laughs> Yeah, definitely mouse keyboard that. Yep. Okay, so that's <laughs> okay. good. And now now you can just sprint through and then go to the fog gate. So drop down on the right. And to right. And then go left. And then oh, the fog God. gate is here. You don't want to delay okay. here because there, there are ghosts. So go through the fog gate, you go straight up the stairs and then go left. Make sure you don't stop to recover stamina here because there are enemies that are attacking through the floor. Okay. And then once you're about halfway down this staircase, then you're safe uh -huh. here. This is a safe okay. spot. Can I make a save here? Uh, yeah, you can make a save there, I, I okay. think. Should be fine. So run through. Oh. Yeah, that's good. Go right. Right, and then to here. Through the gate. Just run forward. Do not stop. 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 Okay. Right here. Okay, nice. So I'm good here. Okay, yep. Nice. Yep, you're good here. Uh, probably another save is not a bad idea. Okay. See? But, yeah, so basically what we do is we go a bit further up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Um. You don't want to go far enough up where the ghosts start triggering to you again. Like, if I go this high up, then I... Yeah. Like, they can get to me. But okay. if I if I go like you you can see the ghost down there, right? Yes. Down on the right? Yep, yep. But yeah, like Behind just around here way. is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, and then probably actually the tin crystallization is what we want. 
And we're we kill this guy. Oh. Okay. So the way we do it, so yeah, you like stand, you know, a couple steps down. Like how many steps is this? Like eight? One, two, Something three, like four, that. five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Yep. Use the bow, and I think we want to aim, if I remember correctly, just above his head. So something like probably this is good. Okay. Then swap catalyst and then shoot him. Oops. Looks like that. Oops. Uh it looks like you're too low, probably. Or maybe maybe oh. it's fine. Oh no, maybe maybe it's okay. How far above his head? Yes, just like that, I think it's, it looks about good. Okay. Yeah, if you want, you could also use like a soul spear or something. Oh god. Um. Oh lord. Yeah, I I don't. Let me see what I did in my God Run Three form. Oh lordy. Because you like ideally, I guess you want to hit him in with one hit, tr like make him aggro, so that oh. that doesn't happen. So let me see what I did in this. I see. Uh-oh. I'm just going to retry this. Um. Oh, you know what? I had Bellowing Dragon Crest on when I did this. Ah. Okay. But yeah, it's, he still took two shots, though. So, I guess, like, you could just probably move further up the staircase. But yeah, maybe, like, stand in the middle of the staircase. Oops. Not too far. And aim for this guy and above the head. And then get the tin one on. Let's just double check the aim. <laughs> there we are. And... So I do it again? Yep, do him again. There you Ow! go. Okay, nice. Easy. So yeah, this is like... I, I'm not sure if there's a better way to do this part. Mm-hmm. Because this is a little sketchy. Okay. But I, yeah, I would make a save at this point, probably. Shouldn't mess anything up. If you mm -hmm. didn't already. Um, And then this is what you gotta do. So with the stealth on... We're gonna run mm -hmm. through here. We're gonna jump across this gap into the wall so you don't fall off. And then you go up the go up the left part and then mm -hmm. around right and then see that ghost that just missed me? Yep. <laughs> that is what should happen. Okay. Now there there are um there's three different attacks that that ghost can do as far as I'm aware. Okay. Um two of them miss you and then the other one you should roll. Like it's it's the grab one. You'll you'll see it. Like grab. The, okay. When it's like his the, its arms extending out, right? It, yeah, it's like a slow grab. Okay. That you dodge. But yeah, you're gonna want to like run through this section numerous times to make sure you like are confident with the lineup here. Because if you if you like go too close to the corner, mm -hmm. um, then you can you you don't strafe it and you get hit. So mm -mm. yeah, and also not jumping off the cliff is good. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, so run up. No grab yet. Yeah, it's, it's a, this is a little sketchy. I am not gonna lie, but it is consistent. I, I, I've been doing this for a while, so. For fifty years, do you know has been testing this out? Haven't hasn't failed him once. Oh, that roll. Oh, okay, I see that one. Yep. I got a grabby. Oh, you got the grab and you rolled it. I got the grabby. Yep. Okay, nice. But yeah, you're gonna, like I said, like you probably want to do this quite a few times so that you're confident that this is like the right line and you know when to roll and all this stuff. Okay. This, yep, there's um, the grabby. Got it. Yep, and then, uh, yeah, and then we just turn the, the, whatever it is, the dam or whatever. Damn! Okay, yeah, huh? that line did not look so good. Like you wanna you wanna be on the perimeter of the pathway. Oh. Like on the far left side. Yep. Okay. Or else you don't strafe the other the other one. It like the most common attack. Well you open the door the and then you open the door and then it's the turn thing. <laughs> the do the door behind you, I, I you literally saw it. 
You, I saw it on your screen. Oh. And that was the key that we got, that we killed the guy for. Right, right. I'm blind. That happens often. Okay. Um. Okay. And now. Um. Now we're basically ready to go fight the boss. So. Hell yeah. You can make a save up here. This is a good place for a save. Okay. Yeah. Just remember to practice that like line though through that path. Mm -hmm. But so once we walk out here. Um. There should be ghosts that are approaching us. Like, see that ghost there? We want to wait a bit so that they get a little close, and then we can drop down. Okay. And then, now we go through the fog gate, and this is the red tier zone setup. We go through the fog gate, mm -hmm. turn the camera slightly to the right, and then drop down. Oh, God. Yep. Okay. Turn camera slightly to the right, drop down on that pedestal. And then for Got the ring setup, obviously we need the Covenant of, Art of Artorius ring. But right. Red Tearstone and the Artorius ring. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately we do lose out on some damage on this boss, but it turns out to just not matter. I Like in my opinion, this boss is one of the main reasons why the Sorcerer route is, I think, better. Mm-mm. Because it just mitigates any RNG that can really happen here. So wait for the ghost to come, then drop down behind them, right? Well, you just want them to not be close to the fog gate and, like, hit you. Right. Like, so you just, just wait a bit until they start approaching out. Um, they, yeah, like, right now, as soon as you can see them, then it's probably fine. But, but you want to, actually, you want to drop more to the left, though, because... Oh, God. Like, you're trying to... You, you want right. to drop where I'm you're going. To get there. Yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. But just see how he was right there? Like, that's why you want to wait yep. a bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. I, I'll show you it again. Okay, well... Oh boy. Like it's very slightly to the right you want to drop here for this red tier stone setup. So okay, we're mm. gonna go out here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wait for the ghosts. Boopy ghosts. There they are. Okay. That should be good, I think. Okay. Unless the other one didn't show up, but and... Yeah, the save file probably messes it up a bit, but go through the fog gate uh, and then slightly, okay. slightly to the right. Just very slightly. Very slightly. Just drop down. Okay, got it. Yep. Very slightly to the right. All right. He's busy. But uh, yeah, I do think the, the save file kind of messes up the positioning of the ghost just a little bit. It, mm. it seems so. Just. Okay. Wait, it, he kind of didn't care about me. Um. Oh, he cares I, about me again. Yep. Oh. Yeah, like, you, you should want to see, like, I think you want to see two ghosts coming out there. Got it. So that's a good thing. Nope, that's the third one. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, w without a save file, I think you should be fine. Yep, there we go. That's a good drop. Woo! Oh, my God! Yeah, and I guess I actually, yeah, I, I do normally sp sprint when I do that drop, although you don't have to. Okay. Okay, so yeah, Red Tear Stone and then Covenant, and then also you're going to want to... I, I usually actually swap the Longbow out for the Crystallization Catalyst this time. Okay. Oh, and you know what you can do? Mm. Is you can cast... So you cast Soul Mass up here, you can use the Bellowing for it. Like you can... Oh, so, yeah. Bellowing, and then cast. So then Soul Mass. Switch and go down. Yeah, exactly. Got it. Okay. Um, And so the way this fight goes, so you just jog off here. Okay. This should line you up properly to the first king. So you want to, like, kind of sprint to the first king. Okay. Um, Sprint forward to first king. Now, actually, do I normally drop an item here? I feel like I, I feel like I do, but okay. So this is this is the RNG where this is where like sorcery really negates this. So run around it. Look mm -hmm. at the damage we got. Ooh. With melee weapons, it's like it's a lot trickier to get damage off with the projectile. But this is like this is the RNG on this fight. Is that projectile? So okay, you want so, that projectile? No, you don't want it. It's bad RNG. But oh. if you do get it, then like Just that's run around. Yeah, run around it, make sure your soul mass fires, and then once it's gone, we can re-engage. So, okay. so obviously, you need to know the moveset here. So I'm going to okay. grab this. So the other king just spawned. Mm -hmm. And this is why, like, melee, it's kind of tough, because you have the other king here, and your DPS just isn't this high. 
Uh -huh. but, but the cycle you do here is soul mass. Whoops. Imagine not strafing uh -oh. that. The cycle you do is soul mass. It fires. You cast another soul mass. And then you do a crystal soul spear after that. On each one. Okay. So you fire soul mass. And crystal so soul spear. So let me do this and maybe not get destroyed. Okay. Can I also make a save here? Uh, no. Because uh, no. it'll put you outside the fog gate. And then the ghost will come and destroy you. Basically, gotcha. so. Gotcha. Unfortunately, no safe file here. Uh. That's close here. Okay, so let me do this again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't lose a run by not putting on the ring. That would be <laughs> and then, devastating. GG. Okay, there he goes. Yeah, so like, I, I think I did used to drop an item here, actually. Okay. And what is that for? So the purpose of the item is so that you can orient yourself in the arena. Oh my god, what? Oh, oh. there he is. Oh no. Okay, this, oh, yeah, no. this is not how this would go because if you do drop an item, you would be faster than that, <laughs> but. Okay. I don't know about that. I feel like I'd, I'd still be slow, but. Well, you, you don't need to drop an item. Okay. Especially with sorcery, so now it's it ran fine. Off. Yeah, so run out so we can go back in. Mm-hmm. That's the second one. Now we can lock on and blast him. Okay. If you got really bad RNG, this guy can also do one. Mm -hmm. But... Let's AOE. Got it. Oh boy, I'm actually getting grabbed by this. I'm just... That's, that's a grab. So for grabs, you have to outrun it? You can strafe it to the side. That's what I did earlier on this. Okay. But so, this one, and then... And then they're dead. Oh, you beat him! Okay! Yeah, yeah, so like, so, so again, it's a soul mass. Like, so if mm -hmm. you don't get projectile and you have time to do the full punish on a king, so it's the first soul mass, mm -hmm. and then you recast soul mass again, so that, that second soul mass will kill... And so as you're running towards him with the second soul mass, you can do a soul, a crystal soul spear and then another mm -hmm. soul spear. Okay. Right? So, so yeah. Like, cause you can attack them when they're dying. Like even if, even if they're dead, it still does damage Shoot. to the main boss. Shoot. Okay. Okay. That's good. And so you're going to want to cast soul mass again. Mm-hmm. I would I would look away at this point probably, but okay. oh and uh -oh. well I I just meant like look away and then um just so that the soul mass doesn't immediately fire oh and then um and then where's you know, the second guy? Well, it takes him a while to spawn. Like it's it's oh. it's a set timer. This is why this is just like a DPS oh. fight. I see. Okay, so you got another projectile. So this is oh, like maybe, run around. Maybe. I'll give you the well, best I wouldn't lock on ever. because oh, <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Oh! <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just a stupid attack. Oh my god! Okay. It's like the like I I honestly think that when they made Elden Stars, they were just thinking huh? about this fight and thinking about that attack. It's like, oh, what a great attack! We should make another one of those. Uh oh. Yeah, you're probably a little too slow. But yeah, if you, if you do it properly, you get a two king. I see. As I did earlier. Ah, uh, okay. That was messy, but okay. I'll just do it one more time, and then we can... Go to the next thing. We should okay. have time for Nito, and then yeah, let's do it. Nito. Yeah, I, I honestly like. I don't even think you should worry about dropping an item here. It's probably okay. fine. Okay. Just try to like try to orient yourself. Like try to remember where you've run in the arena. Okay, <laughs> finally I didn't get the the crappy RNG. Yeah. I'm gonna recast again. 
Okay, so this is the grab. Okay. So you can probably just running away is is fine. It is the same. And then okay. This last soul mask is gonna fire, and then I'm gonna shoot two soul spears. And so look at that damage. Ah. Okay. Uh... And 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 so the reason you drop an item is so that. Like, once you kill the first king, you can go back to it, and then you can kind of know where the second king's going to spawn. I see. So that's why you want to... Okay. Yeah. Oh, there he is. We're just waiting for another homing soul mass. Mm -hmm. He's there. At this point, we go in. And I, di I oh. didn't even need the extra soul spear because of damage so high, but... Gotcha, gotcha. But yeah. So it's a very, okay. very easy two king fight, which is kind of insane. Okay, okay. Like, I don't, I don't I know if you know how insane that is, but. I mean, it, is pretty it insane. seems. Uh, you said you had to know the boss moves of this fight, but I feel like it's not well, too hard. Yeah, it's a pretty short fight. But yeah. Yeah. Okay, so at this point, mm -hmm. I swap out the uh, Great Soul Arrow for Hush. This is where we use Hush. Okay. And I'm sure you remember on Nido where... So we're going to uh, Tomb of the Giants, by the way. Okay. I'm sure you remember on Nido how many mobs there are. Yes. So the way we deal with them is with stealth. So if we go in with uh, Ring of Fog mm -hmm. and Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring, then they they don't aggro as long as you don't go too close. Mm -hmm. um, so, so basically what that means is for normal runs, you don't get to use Red Tearstone Ring, right? Because you don't have right. enough ring slots. But if we use Hush... Mm -hmm. That re that is the same effect as Slumbering Dragon Crest. So, oh, we can, so then you yeah. can use a red tier stone. Exactly, and it just like the damage on him is insane. So okay, so so this this pathing here is also very tricky again. So I'd probably make a save file. Okay, you went up the ladder, right? Yeah, up the ladder. Uh, so I think for patches, I I can't remember if we need the humanities from him, but if you talk to him and then say no, okay, then he does give you twin humanities. Talk to him and say no. Yeah, I, I don't I, remember if we need it on this route, but... I don't remember where the ladder is! <laughs> it's it's to the left, I believe, okay. when you spawn in. Okay. I'll just pick okay, but this anyways, up. So you, you talk to him, and then uh, and then you go to the, the wall on the right, and then when you're sprinting through here, you want to hug the right wall. Like, you want to mm -hmm. go right up against it, because there's, like, a skelly dog up here. Okay. Hug the wall. Hug wall. Yep. Hug wall. Now you get in the fog gate, and then this is where, like this path thing, you're gonna have to do this a few times. So you kind of go left here, past this archer, roll through, and then drop where this item is. Okay, drop where item is. Okay. And then go around go the around. bones. Mhm. Mm and then you're gonna drop off here again. Okay. And then you drop again, and that's it. But oh. it's just knowing okay. the path is like you're gonna have to do that quite a few times. Okay. This it is. Yeah, you can't see anything, so. Okay. Oh, up this ladder. Yep. Talk with pa Patches. Uh, he's on the... Yep, straight from there, basically. Why is it so dark here? Oh, here he is. Yeah, and if you say no, yeah. then... I'll give you 20 okay, humanities. I, I just... I don't remember if we need it, but humanities are needed. We need 30. Okay. And then, from Patches, hug... No, no, no. So, so, go to the right of him. Go to the right, yep. Yep, until you get to a wall. There's no... Yes, there's, this yeah. wall. This yeah, and wall, then this okay. is the wall you hug until you get to the fog gate. And so you go left. Yeah, like... I guess it's okay. forward, but... Yep. You don't have to go, like, quite that against it. Because, like, you're trying to strafe an enemy that's there. Oh, okay, okay, and then here you go straight, and then... Uh, yeah, you need to stay up top. So... God damn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah like, you just gotta get used to this running path. Okay. There are different ways you could do this, but... This is how I've always done it. Alright. <laughs> I could just real heal off that wall. Yep. Classic. Classic wall huggers. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Run through. Why'd they make this area so dark? I could barely see anything. Mother! Well, you okay. know what? Like, maybe you can go down that way, but 
The problem is there's a bunch of skeleton dogs. So, yeah. Hello. <laughs> there he is. And you're probably oh. dead, so... Yep, goodbye, life. Can I see your one one more time? Yeah, 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 I'll do I'm it again. I'm sorry. Okay. No, that's fine. You just kind of want to go, like, more straight at the start, and then... And then... So, okay. There he is. Okay. So this part, easy. Okay. You see? Go kind of straight. Run kind of straight. And then go around. Past the and archer, and then drop where the item is. Drop where item is. And then I would go left around the bones. Like, just rolling is kind of scary to me here because of stored rolls that could happen where you like mm -hmm. roll straight off the edge or something. Mm. But yeah, that's, yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, hug wall, hug wall, hug wall. Oh, 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 there's the wall, hug. Okay, 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 run straight. Yep, so run straight. Run straight-ish. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Yep, and then roll through the bones that are right here, next to the archer. Okay, and then, drop and then drop down. Yeah, that message won't be there. It's because you're online, right? Oh, you gotta go uh, left, left, left around the bones. Uh, okay. That message would not normally be there. Yeah, that would, like, yeah, you're playing online right now, which probably you're not gonna want to do when you're, like, doing runs, so. Oh, yeah. That'll be a bad idea. Okay. Just keep running. Keep running. Although, maybe it doesn't actually matter. Like, I, I don't know. I guess you can't get invaded, right? So. I guess so. Okay, run through. The mailman. Uh oh, doggo going here. wild. The mailman is here, indeed. Roll through. Drop here. Yep. Go go left around the bones, right? Go left around mm -hmm. the yeah, bones. Yeah, you're not in a big rush here, by the way, like, once you drop oh, down. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, that's okay. fine. Yep, perfect. Woo! Okay, nice. Okay. Okay. Um, and then, so, yeah, this is a big running path through here. You can probably make another save. Nice. As okay. well. Made a save. Okay, and then this part, so go right past this enemy. Okay. Go right. Regen go stamina, right and then you just go between the two skellies, and then you just you just keep running, basically. Okay, just, just go straight. Just keep running here. Yep, and then go left, drop down. Straight, left, drop down. Go straight past this guy. Go through here, cool. and and you want to go like pretty far to the left of this guy because he can land on you potentially. So okay. and then and that's it, and then we're at the boss. Okay, and you're safe. Yep, yeah, you're safe at this point. Wow. Okay. Here we go. There's one guy. There's another guy. Goes down, run through here. Yep. Get some stamina. I'm not sure if you, I'm not sure if there's any attack that that skelly can do where you need to roll it, but mm -hmm. I usually roll just in case. But I'm not sure if you need to. Yep. And then, yep, that's good. Nice. Yeah, that's nice. it. And then I can I can just show you Nito really quick. It's yeah. Uh, it's pretty simple. Although I do I do swap a talisman out on him. Okay. So, so what I do is I swap out for the Demon Great Hammer. So this is going to be our, like, oh. so we can get Red Tear Stone on this drop. Right. And then you're also going to want a two-hand. Okay. Two-hand your Catalyst. So, two-hand. So, yeah, jump down. Jump. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so this is, so he's doing the scream. I can block. So I'm not actually blocking the attack, but it's just, my legs are spreading. And then you're going to want to run over here so oh. it doesn't get stuck. Okay. Okay. And now at this point, once it's safe, like he's not doing anything, I can cast Hush. Mm -hmm. And then I can swap out Slumbering to Red Tearstone. Mm -hmm. uh, is he? Okay, he's fine. And now, basically, you lock on. He's doing his attack so I can block. And it, it basically just goes between your legs. Ah! He's doing it again. Wow, he's really spamming this. But yeah, it spreads out your legs, and then that's why it doesn't hit you. That's interesting. 
But yeah, generally he doesn't spam it that many times, and then okay. like, usually he doesn't even do it at all, actually. You can kind of just Ooh. cast, but you, you want to make sure you don't get caught in a casting animation as it's happening, because then you'll get blasted. That makes sense. Okay, okay. So first wait for the blast and then do it. Oh, wow! So, so again, yeah, you drop down, uh -huh. and then, you know, you, you gotta listen or just look at him to see if he's starting up that attack, and if he does, you just sit hmm. still and block. But your, okay. your main thing is that you're trying to get over here mm -hmm. so that he doesn't get stuck. Because he can get stuck there, and then he's just permanently stuck, and it's insanely annoying. Ah, Maybe you can, like, run awesome. around the side if that happens, but I, I, I don't actually know. But Spread your legs. Okay! Yep, and, and then there's only fun. Bed of Chaos left, which is surely best boss in the game. Oh, and then after that, uh, Gwyn is literally one parry, and he gets one-shotted, so... Really? And then we're done. Yep. So two more bosses and then we're done. Yep. <gasps> Hell yeah. Although Bed of Chaos is a he's honestly so so stupid, but yeah. Oh god. Is he worse than ONS? No, 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 no. It, it's just Okay. It's just a meme boss and like there's a there's a there's a good cheese for him, but it's just okay. I don't know. You'll see. <sighs> okay, so we're we're pretty much like Like we're yeah, go. we're in the final like couple minutes but it is a very long run to bed of chaos though okay okay oh my god that's awesome though one more session and then oh god i gotta actually do it though well we gotta actually the first do it, which is the first thing hard. is practicing ons practicing sif yes. and yes. four kings ones sif then four kings and the runs <sighs> yeah but the rest oh of the bosses gosh. though you don't really need to learn their moveset so i guess that's good that's, that's true because they just get like two shots yeah, Gwen just gets destroyed shot. and yeah. Nice, nice. But thank you again so so yeah. much for today. I feel yeah, like was today was good less progress. of an overload, which is a weird well, It was more, less, you oh said? Oh god. Yeah, it's less. Because I well, think it's, it's probably, more of like practice, but Well yeah, I think it's probably because I don't think we went through as much just because ONS mm. is mm. but but yeah, no, it, it like it, it gets simpler once we actually get our setup. It's just remembering like the level ups and stuff. That's basically it. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice. Are you staying on? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, okay, okay. Well, <laughs> so. thank you again. And probably by next time, we'll like completely finish this run. Yeah, it should be awesome. done. Yeah, it's taking, I think, I don't remember how long Elden Ring took, but this should be I shorter. I think that took a lot longer. <laughs> yeah. There was like figuring out how to 100% just script every boss. Plus, yep. there are more bosses than this one. Yep, Which and a lot like, more setup and stuff, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, okay, are you free next week? Uh, I should be, I think. Maybe, surely, surely. Yeah, surely free. Surely. Elden Ring was apparently like five weeks. Oh my god. Yeah, that Jesus. sounds about right, to be honest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> There's a and lot this of stuff. was like three, so it's not too bad. But yeah, I hope you have an amazing rest of your night. All right, yeah, you too. See ya. Okay, dude. Some good progress, but yeah, ONS like is ONS is tough, dude. Especially when, you know, the, the no hit run that she did was Elden Ring where everything was pretty well scripted. Like it like I routed that that run so that every boss fight was scripted and you didn't have to learn a single moveset on a boss, which is kind of insane. Like it, it you would think that means it's super easy. It actually wasn't easy at all because the execution was pretty precise, but... Um, but yeah, like you didn't have to learn a single boss moveset, which is kind of insane. But anyways, thanks for hanging out today, you guys. Um, I'll be back on tomorrow, and I'm not 100% I'm not sure what I'm even going to do, man. Like Tomorrow won't be as long of a stream, though, for sure. But... Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. Like, I guess bingo practice would, wouldn't would be a terrible idea, but I, I don't know if I want to spend that much time doing it as opposed to other things. But I'll, I'll just have to think about it. But also, uh, Furious, thanks for the great new premise up, dude. DLC playthrough? Yeah, maybe. I don't know, dude. I should probably, like, I probably should practice for bingo. Just, I'm not sure what I should, what I need to practice and how much I should do on stream versus not, but I don't know. We'll see. 
But yeah, take care, you guys. Uh, I will. I, well, I should be back on tomorrow, and uh, we'll figure out what we're gonna do. Uh, but yeah, have a good one, you guys.